is a giant map made up of maps of my world. As you can see, it's a top-down representation of all sorts of things. However, if you look at my Let's Play house, it's this tiny little blob over here. It's barely recognizable. And if you wanted to do something great, say, let's say you wanted to raise awareness of house fires, something very important, you'd have to have a map which was visible enough that you could see this house and then also see a fire. Which is why, given I have so much ocean around here, look at my ocean over there and over here, and especially up there, I have giant spots of ocean, which would be great to build in and make a giant art of a house, which is what I'm gonna be doing today. By taking a map, which is, if I'm not mistaken, 256 by 256 blocks, I'm gonna take this map and I'm going to be making a giant house so that it shows up on the map. And then I'm gonna be lighting said house on fire as a nice reminder that greater than 99% of house fires happen to be people who aren't subscribed to the IBX Toy Cat YouTube channel. It's very crazy stuff. But yeah, rather than using this map right here, which I think goes great in my big map wall, it'd be a waste to use that. Instead, I'm gonna be making my own maps and I'm gonna be using those instead. And then, uh, yeah, the exact house is gonna be obviously Toy Cat Let's Play House style. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So uh, join me in what is going to be a big mega project. You can watch the full thing. Uh, as we go about this, gonna be a little bit more casual than normal, I think, but that is half of the fun sometimes, right? Or maybe it's not, maybe maybe you disagree with that. Anyway, so with that said, um, yeah, the first step we need to do is we need to make ourselves some maps of the area because I don't wanna just make one map of the area, I wanna make several maps and then be able to like keep track of the progress as it goes through. If that makes any sense, I wanna be able to have uh, like kind of stages of the process because I think that's the cool thing you can do with maps. You can immortalize how something used to look. When you look at this house right here, if you want to see how it looked 10 years ago, you have to go, you know, you have to hope you have videos or pictures from back then, but maps allow you to immortalize something as it exists at the time you take the map, which is kind of beautiful. It's like a photo taking device. Um, obviously, if you open up the maps, you cause all sorts of fun issues of that, but just don't do it. <laughs> and so that also, you can lock maps using glass, by the way. Uh, just to make sure that doesn't happen. So yeah, we're gonna grab some sugar cane, we're gonna convert it into paper, and then we're gonna craft ourselves some maps. And then from there, we'll work out everything else. It's gonna be a lot of fun today. Um, and uh, yeah, let's 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 do this, I guess. Um, so hello everyone, I'm IBX Toycat, and I am having a fun time uh, just quickly working out my... Okay, so we want paper, we want a lot of paper, and then we want some maps, right? Okay, how many maps? To... Let's just craft it all into maps, you know what? Let's not even think about how many. Then we'll get three more paper, uh, three, sorry, we'll get rid of the rest of the paper by crafting some gunpowder or some fireworks because we're running a little bit, a little bit low on those. And then uh, we just need to get some item frames to store the maps of the progress. So uh, what does that require, Lex? We've got, we got, we got leather here. We just need some sticks. We need a lot of sticks, but fortunately I recently upped my bamboo farm game and so we can use precisely that. So, um, yeah, hello everyone, how are you doing? Did you have a good breakfast today, says Jammy Bab. Yeah, I had a, uh, okay, this, the, I, I love going to American stores and just finding weird products where I'm like, why hasn't this, why haven't I seen this somewhere else? And so I got a Bao Pizza. Speaking of uh, Bao Pizza, uh, thank you very much for, yeah, for paying enough money precisely to get myself some bouncers, <laughs> as they're known. You know, bouncer is uh, an especially fun name I'm realizing now. Uh, it's, it's, it sounds like that one Mario guy. But anyway, uh, with that said, uh, let's now craft ourselves some sticks. 64 is only enough for eight item frames, so we clearly need another like three or four stacks. And uh, yeah, look at that. Now we've got we, we've got the two key ingredients we need, except actually we still need a bunch of bricks, right? But let's just go. <laughs> and a lot of wood, I imagine, too. Like, uh, And then also we're going to make a house fire, which is going to be probably made of orange concrete, um, maybe orange wool or something. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So let's go grab ourselves some bricks. Let's go grab ourselves some wood, just to make sure they both look how we expect them to on a map. We'll do like some tiny version as a test and uh, we'll work from there because always before you embark on something so huge, it's always a good idea to be absolutely sure that it actually works. You know, that that should be very obvious advice, but you'd be surprised at how poorly things can go if you don't think about it. So we'll grab some clay. Nice and easy, got a nice stack of it here. I think I also have a stack of it somewhere else around here, but we'll just throw the clay into the furnace. Oh, there we go, we already cooked some bricks up. Wow, here's some I made earlier. <laughs> I always used to hate that on uh, like art shows, like, no, no, you know what? No, don't show me what you made earlier. Show me what you're making right now. Is this, look at this, this is basically bricks too, but no, yeah, it's, um... so let's take 30. 
We'll take 32 because that's eight bricks and that seems like a, a logical number to me, which we can now use to craft ourselves eight of these. Then we actually will craft some of those into slabs so we can test that, might be a good idea. And then we're gonna go get some wood, uh, planks, so oak if we have it, which we don't, yeah. Okay, this is enough oak for now. And we're gonna do our little test in the ocean and then from there it'll be fun. So, um, yeah, I, uh, Art Attacks as Grey Alexia. Exactly! No, I, like, I, I find, um, hey, thank you, Taylor Earl, for becoming the first member of the stream. It's gonna be, a, it's gonna be a good one today. Hope you stick around. Um, uh, this, it's, it's gonna be a long one, I should really clarify. You know, is long good? Chat, let me know, let me know, is long good, uh, as far as a live stream is concerned? Anyway, so, uh, the, uh, the key things to say, I also forgot to specifically mention Amanda Reef, thank you. I, uh, it's good, good to see you as always. Uh, yeah, I, I, that's the cool thing about streams, getting to, like, see regulars, right? The best thing to me. I don't know, like, in, in life, like, sometimes it's fun, it's, it's always fun to see new people, right? But it's also fun to see the people you do know. There's, like, low stress, high stress situations, something like that. Okay, so our, our ocean is somewhere over here. Um, I guess we'll find out by just making a map. <laughs> okay, so we'll put that over there for now, and then we'll just go on the other side of this barrier. It's probably gonna be past, like, 450 blocks. I'm just gonna take the guess there. Somewhere over here is the ocean I'm gonna be turning into a house. Does this look the same as the ocean from earlier? Yeah, sure, I, I think it, it looks about the same to me. So now what we can do is we can use this one map we have. We're gonna take away our totem when dying for today, so we will die if we have to. We'll put it on the offhand, just so we can test some things. And those things are going to be uh, brick-related. So we're going to see uh, where about on this map we actually are, because you can't really tell looking at the ocean what's what. Okay, well, the scaffolding tells me. So now we're going to... Uh, we we're going to remove these torches, by the way. We need, we need a lot of space for this. Okay, so we've got some bricks, and we're going to test, like, what our house would look like. So we'll do a tiny, tiny, tiny miniature version, four blocks wide. And then it's got like two of these for the roof. So you see that little wait, oh I'm I'm covering my this is a bad position for me to be. <laughs> um You know, for for today, what we'll do is we'll just go to the other side of the screen. Oh, I see why I can't do that. Um Well for today, I'll just hold the map in the right hand. There we go. You know, solve my You know, actually it's it's more fun that it's behind me. You know, over here, you can see my house. It's very it looks like a goldfish or something. Um, so, uh, yeah, the, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna test if bricks look the same. Uh, well, brick slabs look the same. So, we'll start with a bottom slab, even though I imagine I want a top slab. The bottom slab does look the same, so we could have, like, an underwater house if we wanted to. Very interesting. Does a top slab look the same? It does, too. So we can use either half slab, and we can save ourselves a bunch of bricks. And, uh, if we do that, we can make a house that looks more like this. Look at that. Does that look... Does this look like Toy Cat's Let's Play Well to you, Internet? I, uh, does this, does it, does it look like the iconic brick house? <laughs> it, it probably shouldn't, honestly. <laughs> and we'll just place the last of our blocks over there. Yeah, it looks pretty, whoa, it's got like, the scaffolding is working as the door by accident. I love this. I, I really think we'd have to zoom in a lot to appreciate that. But this is my, this is my example map now. And what we do is we just lock this away in an item frame forever, which will be great. In fact, we'll put the item frame like, um, we have to be careful of where we put this, but I'll put it on the wall. Yeah, we'll put it on the wall over here, like, uh, just, uh, put it, put it straight on there. Yeah, nice. Oh, actually, no, wait, so, so we need to put this, the, the center of this is going to be, the center of this map is probably going to be about 256, I imagine, because Minecraft works in round numbers. So over here, we, we're going to have how many maps? Like, 13 of them. So it's going to go, like, six blocks this way. So 250 is where we place the first map down. Uh, we'll place the, the rest of them over here. Kind of weird to do this, but there we go. That's our first map layout. Yeah, we, we're gonna have to have spacing between them though. So we're gonna actually move it another five blocks to the left. Or we could just have fewer item frames, honestly. That also works. So just over here, first item frame, and then second item frame, and then third, and then... Then we, then we just do this across the whole thing. And so you show pre-house fire, post-house fire, etc. Except if I ever take them out of the item frames to use them for something, they'll immediately update, right? Which is a problem. So I probably need to move this somewhere else in the grand scheme of things. 
Uh, these should probably be copies of the maps if we want to be really clever. Speaking of being really clever, thank you very much, uh, Don't Look to Dante. Wow, you finished it already. Well, I, di I didn't realize how quick I could do this internet. I, uh, so we got, we got another uh, three hours now, which I'm just going to goof off and say, ooh, how's the weather going? It sure is nice over here. This is... <laughs> okay, look. If I just get really close to it, it gets really big. Maybe I need, like, a spyglass. Chat, look, if I... Rather than making it big, I'll just get close. Why didn't explorers think about this? Speaking of explorers thinking about things, thank you very much, KD. Tax time. I'm going to a Chinese buffet tomorrow. What should I get? Always the Singapore noodles. I love Singapore noodles. Bad, good, okay, fine. Love them all. Um... So yeah, we're actually going to move these item frames somewhere else. We'll leave these here, just to confuse future me. Um, and we're going to find the furthest, the closest we can get to this. You know, we'll probably do it in the, a similar place. So for now, we'll put these in like a chest somewhere, maybe. Um, yeah, I like the idea of them being there, but I think we'll just put the finished and post-finished house fire here. And we'll put like a chest next to that, maybe. Yeah, let's do that. I'm using my... Let's, let's have a little chest over here. Um, and in that chest, we'll have the real stuff. So, move... Why, why is there an ocelot here to begin with? Is this a jungle biome? I guess it is. <laughs> it's so rare you see an ocelot, let alone an ocelot that actively annoys you, but welcome to my world. And then we'll have all of the... Um, we'll have just the finish to be up there. And we'll take the midway betweens. By the way, so weird to break item frames from the side like this, right? This is, this is some very bizarre stuff I'm looking at. And we'll place the rest of these somewhere um, else on the on the ground. I'm not even sure. Yeah, I think the ground might be nice. Um, somewhere where it won't update the map immediately when we open it. So I think I think we just got to go a little bit further away. Um, wherever our bed is over there, I think that'd be a good place to m commemorate this. Like this this area is a nice part of my world. Why not have a little bit of a museum exhibit going on over here? So th given that I'm going to come here to sleep anyway, and I'm going to be able to see the house fire, it'd be cool to see all the steps just ahead of me here somewhere. So we'll just have like one... Wait, let's work that out again. We'll just have like, yeah, one, two, three, and then we'll think about four, five, six, seven as we need to. Easy. Or well, we could place the blocks now and then refix the terrain around it. But this is going to show the steps in between for the process, and now we just have to make the process work. Okay, so we we need to make uh, based on based on the size of our um, <laughs> just to just to reiterate here, we made a house, right? I hope you enjoy your Singapore noodles. By the way, Singapore noodles are not from Singapore. There's a fun fact for you. Um, future toy cat must be in a state of confusion. Apparently, future toy cat is always in a state of confusion. Um, that you know, if it's not. That's my favorite state, honestly. Okay, so you can see this house is made up of 12 bricks and 6 wood, and it's this size. So we need to scale that up probably like 10 times that way, 10 times that way, and so it makes it 100 times bigger because of the square rule. And so we need to have probably about 1,200 clay or brick blocks minimum, and probably about, you know... I don't know, 600 oak planks minimum. Probably more like a thousand plus of each. So we need to get ourselves a lot of clay. But here's the problem. My, my shovel right now has silk touch on it. There's nothing we can do to fix that, except of course there is. We're going to be doing a little bit of enchanting, getting myself a new shovel, and then I'm going to also probably get myself an axe too. And then then I'm going to go mining myself, uh, mine a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of clay. I need to, bear in mind, because making a thousand brick blocks takes 4,000 clay, I need to mine several inventories worth of clay. Um, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So aren't you future toy cat right now? Uh, the end of any sentence you start, you're always the future version of yourself. Um, to answer your question, Mog Swamp is the best. It's pretty crazy to think. Um, also, Dasha says it'll be interesting to see a house on fire in the middle of the ocean. No one can escape Toy Cat's fire. Yeah, I was. I, I I think the idea of building it slightly underwater would really add to the beauty of it, right? Like it's a house fire underwater. Uh, you know, there's only one way to to avoid it, and it's not the way you think. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun, I think. Anyway, uh, we can get terracotta from a terracotta biome and clay from a clay biome. Where's our brick biome? Yeah, it's a it's a matter of time till they fix this. Absolutely egregious issue. So anyway, we need to now get some experience. I'm at like 27 levels. I'm sure I can get up to where I need to be real soon. Pro tip, 
uh, always have some some form of smelting going on. And then when you want some experience, just take the stuff from the smelting. I, I, I think a lot of people prefer all sorts of quirky XP farm uh, layouts to this one. But this is just my... Uh, <laughs> also, I barely got anything from that. Yeah, oh, my... Is my shovel taking it all now or something? Okay, so I want the I want the levels for myself because I want to make a new shovel. A better shovel than this one, I tell you. So uh, we take all of the copper. That exists. Should be a healthy amount, I think. Okay, we're at 29 and a half levels. Can we make that a little bit more? No, we can't. Okay, there we go. That's, that's as good as we're doing today. So 29 levels is enough to get a fully enchanted diamond shovel, which is what I'll need before maybe doing a little bit of an upgrade. That's right, today I'm gonna actually make myself some uh, Neverite. Uh, people have been asking me to make Neverite tools for a while. I'm gonna finally do it. It's gonna be nuts. It's gonna be absolutely crazy. Um, but first, let's put away our copper ingots. We got too many of them. I prefer disenchanting scissormandery. Yeah, disenchanting is always a solid... Wait, is this where the copper goes? I haven't labeled it clearly. Oh, this this used to be a regular copper block, but it aged because it was by itself. So we're gonna have to just throw it all in there. We'll do the organization later, probably. Um, yeah, got lots and lots and lots and lots of copper, as it turns out, which is nice, some would say. Okay, so now we're going to the furnace, grab ourselves some more bricks. Oh yeah, four brick blocks. I can make another whole house if I make it at a tiny scale. But yeah, I, I, I seriously need a lot of stuff, which means let's grab some ore. Uh, you know, should we just, I've always got some never quartz lying around. Let's just mine some, right? Let's just, let's just uh, do some mining. Uh, do I, do I have some never quartz lying around? I do, perfect. So we grab one of these, we grab one of these, and we're gonna go a little bit wild on this. So uh, yeah, I use these deliberately as a store of experience um, because mining never quartz with a normal pickaxe at least gives you a lot of experience. Am I not getting any right here, or is it just really slow? Okay, it's it's full. Um, so this is a fortune pickaxe, as you can see, in no time at all, I've got myself that level 30 that I need. I think, um, I, I think there are all sorts of, like, benefits of just having, like, tra I, I, th I think the smarter thing to do than this would be to have a trading farm near where you enchant stuff. That's probably the, the actual good long-term solution, but you better believe that's not what I've done. <laughs> and so now let's go across the world and bring some, no, we don't need to bring some lapis. Go all the way across our world, and let's enchant. So, um, what is, uh, uh I, I think, um, you could scrape the rust off the copper and wax it, says Balo999. I don't know why, but waxing things just doesn't feel like me. I don't know what I mean by that. <laughs> but you know, like, I, I feel like something about the aging of the copper is the best part about the copper. So letting it not age feels weird. But also I could see that, like, yeah, having a full orange something is a bit more of a flex because it requires so much wax. Might be some fun to that, honestly. Okay, so now I'm here. I've got a collection of shovels, a big collection of shovels. Wow, a lot of them are quite enchanted. And we're gonna just disenchant shovels until we get one that has exactly what we want. Easy, we're gonna leave this wood of us though. It's gonna be a smarter there. Okay, so I want some neverite eventually. We'll make sure to grab one of these. And I need some lapis which apparently I have no short supply of. Okay, so let's let's do this. So first step, disenchant the shovel that we want. And then we pray, okay, everyone chat together. We want efficiency four. Okay, you know, is that gonna be efficiency four? Hard to be sure. We just kind of make it and see. Oh, there we go, I'm breaking an efficiency four. So we actually want a second one of these. So we could get that, but you know, we just have to do this again, I think. So the way we're gonna get that is we're gonna try this thing again. We disenchant another shovel. And then this time we break a lot more never quartz. Apparently that's what we're doing here. Again, to totally think having a villager chilling around here would be a good idea. I, I might just do that honestly, like have a have a uh, villager that I set up around here, just so I have an easy way to get the little bits of experience I need for enchantments. Uh, copper is both, uh, it's great both aged and waxed. It depends on the build. I don't know, I never really like aged copper. I think you could definitely make it work somewhere. Uh, I like I like unaged copper, which, you know, makes it... You know, I I, I feel like uh, there's definitely something in there. Second floor, says Grey Alexio. 
Yeah, what do you reckon? Do you think I should, like, wouldn't it be cool if up there you just looked and you're like, oh, there's a bunch of villagers? Because if you had the villagers stand on, like, I could have them stand on, like, fence posts or something. Like, imagine that's fences instead. And then if they're on the fence, um, I'd be able to trade with them despite them being above me. And then so no one would ever notice it, right? You walk in here and you're like, okay, what am I looking at? And it'd be well hidden, I think. Big enough for a small trading center. Yeah, I do have all this space in the middle here. I could also build a basement. Oh, this this wasn't enough experience, apparently. See, that's that's why we need more of this. Because otherwise what we have to do is uh, we could take two efficiency free pickaxes, but they've all got silk touch on. Okay, this one has mending and fortune. Yeah, we just, we'll take this shovel, just add our existing one. Pretend we didn't want the thing we just tried to make. Uh, put that in there. Find this one. And then we can make an efficiency five uh, shovel. So that plus this costs just three levels. And this is everything you'd want from a shovel, right? So usually I'd put the mending on myself, but apparently I had a shovel with mending on already. Um, the fortune is probably questionable, but I, I guess we probably want it. And so throw that on there. Then go to the smithing table. Right now, you want to make as many upgrades as you can. And so this is a real nice one. A maxed out Neverite shovel that doesn't have silk touch on. Is that... Is there a... <laughs> is there a long-term value to that for most people? Probably not, but it is... <laughs> it's fun to say the least. And we'll also have to make an axe, which doesn't have... Because uh... right now our axe has fortune and main of half pods. So we should get like a smite axe, right? That'd be the... That'd be the logical backup for that. Or sharpness, maybe. Yeah, given that I don't have a sharpness sword, I have smite on my sword, it'd be logical to put sharpness on my axe, right? Yeah, that makes sense to me. So we're gonna find sharpness. I definitely keep it somewhere around here. Cause I, you know who uses sharpness? Who, who do you think I am? And we'll put it on our axe, and then I can pretend that I'm gonna use it for all sorts of nonsense. So sharpness free. What do you reckon? You know, should I, should I just make a sharpness axe? Don't even need to question why. Yeah, let's just let's just have a uh, unbreaking efficiency axe with sharpness on it, or silk touch, and unbreaking. Ooh, um, silk touch efficiency. Yeah, we have like a silk touch efficiency mending axe with also. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea to me. So, if we could get efficiency four a second time, I think that'd be nice. So we'll just we'll just roll the dice here. Like I've got the levels. Let's see what we get this second time. Uh, efficiency two. I can make a lot of efficiency two axes, combine those together, and then that's that's probably not a good idea. Though. The probably better idea is to break one of these bookshelves using efficiency, uh, using silk touch, and then just get a slightly cheaper enchantment. Um, adds back. Um, so yeah, I. Uh, I, you should make an experience farm, or you have to do it. I, I made an experience farm, and then Minecraft nerfed it, and now I don't want to make experience farms again. To be totally honest with you, maybe that, maybe that's, like, not a valid reason. Um, but, like, to me, it's just, like, on bedrock, you, I, I, I don't know, like, the, the, rather than just making a generic farm, which is boring, I like to make interesting farms. But if you make an interesting farm, it might get nerfed. Okay, that's sharpness. It's not really what I was going for. Should we just, should we just, okay, we'll put this in there. And we'll just, I'm breaking one efficiency. <laughs> we can make an axe that's terrible at everything but sharpness. But that's not really what I want either. Um, let's, let's, let's try this again. What are you going to give us this time, game? Fortune 2? Not what I want either. So we'll just re-enchant the axe of nothing. Immediately disenchant this axe. And see what it gives me this time. We do have a little bit more experience, I think. We'll actually see if, if we're not going to get our enchantment, then we can call it a day without having to look. Unbreaking. Do I need unbreaking on this? I do. So whatever it gives me, this would be the one. I just need to get one quick level. Um. So, uh, yeah, what, what did you use for the XP farm? I, I made an Enderman farm. Because I was like, what's the silliest resource to have too much of? Oh, yeah. A little lag. Also, I... Have some green screen issues today apparently oh, i think it's because my light's not on um okay i'm just gonna real quick like no one's looking i'm just gonna kill some cows uh just do 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 need some lever anyway kind of right just kill the cows real quick and pick up the experience i don't know how i killed that many cows and got no xp but apparently what it's 
I'm not getting any extra. My sword has taken it all, apparently. God damn. It is really hard to get XP in Minecraft. You gotta... You gotta do some stuff, apparently. Okay, so... Are we... Are we... <laughs> am, I, am I doing it wrong? Honestly, these cows are causing me lag anyway, but like... Why am I not getting experience? I can hear the XP. Is, is, is my sword just that? That in need of it? I thought you were meant to get a little bit of... Green screen is back. The green screen is back. Unless you're saying the green parts of it. See, if I get up, it'll get worse. Hopefully I can use that. My light is on. I'm sorry. I, uh... Lighting a green screen consistently is one of the things I'm so bad at. I've got six keying passes on it, and it just... It's got so many colors. Like, it's so many different colors of green, and I don't understand that. It's, it's wacky. Um, just will ignore it, because I want to play Minecraft instead. Um, yeah, I'm not getting any experience for this. Huh. My sword is, doesn't seem to be either, though. Like, I just... The cows don't drop XP. Today I learned. <laughs> um, we'll put this in there temporarily. Um, maybe if I breed the cows... Yeah, I could breed the cows and get. I, I just want. I want that little level. Is that is that so much to ask for? Minecraft. Okay, so we got we got some we got some wheat. We'll just run around here, and we'll breed some cows for it instead. Um. But yeah, I uh, cows don't want you to enchant. They really don't. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's it was something something weird to do with the my sword, I guess. Because the breeding works just great. Wonderful. We got all the XP we need. Even got a bunch of cooked cow. That'll be useful at some point, I assume. Okay, now let's go back to... We should probably go to sleep first. So I've also fixed some of the realm lag issues. It's crazy how bad this is, right? Um, You wanted to make a map art at some point, says Dasha. No idea what that is. We got to get some clay, but to get clay, we got to do our thing. But to get our clay, it's, it's all going to make sense, okay? It's all going to make sense. Okay, now we just roll our way over here. I find garden XP farms way too complicated, as useful as it is. Yeah, the, uh, having a, it, it's fun. There's lots of, uh, there's lots of versions of XP farms. So now we can just get unbreaking. It's just unbreaking and that's fine. And we take our efficiency, our silk touch. If we had another efficiency four, that'd be real nice. You see efficiency four in here? I feel like I had efficiency at some point. Did I? I feel like I did. I've got another sharpness though, so we can just sharpness three, sharpness three. That makes sharpness four. Um, and it, there's efficiency four, so we just throw that on. Okay, we got a lot of books we've got to do here, but let's do this. So first of all, we put this in there with that, and then we get a fully repaired axe, which also has this on there. And then we throw the two sharpness books together. No, wait, that's efficiency. And those are sharpness. So we'll throw efficiency on there, which gives us a silk touch axe with efficiency five. Boom. And then we're gonna throw sharpness times two on there. And now we got a sharpness four book, which we can throw on there. Wait, that's not what we want. Then we can throw sharpness onto our diamond axe. Oh yeah, look at that. Now, now our diamond axe is slightly better at attacking mobs like creepers. Is this is the same way I go about doing a task, doing seven other tasks beforehand. <laughs> okay, so now look at that. We take the other Neverite ingot. And now when I go to chop down the wood that I need, it'll be slightly faster. Yeah, look at that. Little little improvement I'm making right there. Um, and now I've got two shovels and two axes and my inventory looks exactly how you'd expect. <laughs> <laughs> and now we just gotta throw uh, this and that, and yeah, we sorted it. It's all gone. Also, yeah, no. Uh, so, okay, we got lots of tasks to get this done, and it's important to do the pre-task before the task. I need to chop down more stuff, so I needed a slightly better Neverite axe, and I need to shovel a lot more stuff, so I needed a slightly better uh, shovel. The difference is it doesn't silk touch stuff up, which is really important for clay, and just I don't know, slight being able to punch stuff at the same time may be important for this. I am, you know, I'll leave them in my hotbar just because it looks ridiculous. I, I like having two sh two axes and two two shovels. It looks pretty nice, right? Okay, next up, we have to go harvest some, uh, we're gonna go harvest some clay. 
Oh wait, no, I've put, I've put down the the bookshelves that I just broke. Oopsie, that's important. Um, but uh, yeah, I uh, I think that the I, I think that the the issue of like uh, any big task is you've got to break it up into lots of small tasks. This was an important step. You got to not get lost in those small tasks, which I'm going to try my best not to do today. Um, and so indeed, let's now let's now grab a shulker box and destroy a lush cave, uh, because lush caves are where you find uh, clay in mass on mass. Also, wow, look at the toy cat's house. Doesn't it look beautiful? Wouldn't it be tragic if this lit on fire chat? Oh, it'd be so tragic. It's a good thing it's not going to, because I am subscribed to the IBX Toy Cat channel. Okay, um, I am now gonna put my lever away. I don't need this. I'm gonna put my this away. Don't need it. I'm gonna craft some sticks. I just, just you know, trying to get my inventory slightly managed as best I can. You never make sticks by default with bamboo, which makes it a pain to get rid of these in the inventory. Throw our eggs on the ground so they just despawn at some point. And now grab a shulker box. This is where we're gonna store all of our clay. This is where we have endstone and elytras and lots of fun things, honestly. But let's just grab a clay box. And I'll get I'll get a second one as I need it. Because we're gonna have to make a mass furnace farm or something. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, so um, I want this world just to blow it all up, says Mr. Gad. Wow, the good thing about this is if you want to check out this world, it's actually uh, available for download if you're on a Minecraft Bedrock platform. Just go to the marketplace. Um, you can support the channel while you're there if you really want to. Um, okay, you can't sub to yourself on YouTube. That's why I had to make a second channel. It's the, it's the whole, whole reason I had to do that. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, there is a lush cave below my base. The reason I believe that is because that's where I found clay. That's where I found um, the that weird block before, the spore blossom. So uh, exactly how I get there, every time I go is a mystery. I'm like, I don't know how I got here. I'm just happy that I'm here. So uh, this is my sugarcane farm, where all the sugarcane for the maps, it, it comes in pretty useful. And this do -do -do, is my place. Um, how can people say support the channel instead of support themselves? Um, I, it's weird. Maybe, maybe it's like pessimistic, but like, you know, do, should I really assume you want to support me as an individual? It'd be nice if you did. I really appreciate those who do. But also, I feel like more people are like, more down on the idea of like, well, if you support the channel, then I make more things. You know, uh, it's like, uh, you kind of saying like, yeah, you like this stuff, you want to see more, you support it. You don't like it, don't want to see more, you, you just don't. Um, I think, I think that there is a beneficial, that this is a really good relationship with like, in the world of like, any project that is like, any amount artistic, right? Is... You know, like, sometimes we'll say, like, support artists, and it's like, do you support artists, or do you support their work? Um, it might seem like you'd want to support the people, because people are people and work is work. Um, oh, yeah. I thought I accessed my cave from here. I have some diamonds lying around, wow. Um, I thought I accessed my lush cave from here, but apparently I'm wrong. Okay, where where is my lush cave? It's definitely below my world somewhere. There's a big tunnel to get to it, and I just don't know where that is. Um, I know I, I know there's some, like, way thousands of blocks away from here. Wasn't there a lush cave at the ancient city you built? Is there a lush cave at the ancient city? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, you're right, actually. Now that you mention that, perfect. I was like, the one I built? I thought you were talking about... The, the, yeah, the one I built, you're right. Okay, so this was just a silly exercise in looking around... I think somewhere around here there is actually an entrance to my lush cave. I just don't know where I'd find it. So let's save ourselves some pain. Okay, let's fly up. Yeah, there's a, like, if you, it's it makes sense that you should want to support people, but you kind of want to support the things that they do. You know, there's kind of the whole, like, give a man a fish, he'll be fed for a day, teach a man a fish, he'll be fed for a life. Um, a little bit of that. But it's also like, yeah, you want people to feel like they're getting value 
not just... Oh, I think it's down there, actually. Is it down here? You know, I have a lush cave somewhere below my world, and I don't know the way in. Yeah, there we go. Lush cave. It's a good thing. It's a good thing this is so clearly labeled, so I can find it. Oh, my Elytra broke, and I don't have a totem. Okay, so, as you can see, this is the clay biome. And I am going to get a lot of clay. Or maybe not so much. <laughs> Looks like I probably ravaged this place as much as I reasonably can already. I can get lots of moss. Do you, do you guys want some moss? Wow, well, no, yeah, this 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 lush cave sucks. This lush cave has no, none of the lushness for which I am looking for. <laughs> you ever you ever you ever look for a cave? And then find one that you've already been to and apparently taken everything worthwhile from. It was also a pretty tiny lush cave to begin with, though. If you look at it, like... If this is the extent of the biome, I'm not surprised I ran out of... Yeah, I definitely need a... There are big lush caves in Minecraft. This is not one of them. This is... This is not even on the list. Okay, so I didn't make that jump correctly. I'll make it better this time. Do 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 Thank you, Darren Hughes, for the uh the the gifted memberships. Appreciate it. Um Yeah, I uh I, I think there's a really interesting um do 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 Um Yeah, I do think there's a uh a, a weird like uh there's a there's an interesting thing in like finding stuff that you used to have. Also, fortune with clay still gets you four. So we're gonna we're gonna fill this shulker box, and it's gonna be really sad because I don't think we're gonna we're gonna get much from this. But we'll we'll do our best anyway. Do 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 do. Get some pig step going on here. It's gonna be great. But um, yeah, we're gonna now use our new pickaxe. I'm gonna make the most of this. Do 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 do. Love me some pig step. Absolutely love me some pig step. Um, okay, so next we got some clay. This is uh, this is a real good thing. And then we're gonna get some clay. And then we're gonna get some clay. And then we're gonna get some clay. And then realize the biome has run out of it. I think we actually probably have a lot of space, but we can uh, easily grow this if we want to. Do 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 do. Thank you very much, Darren Hughes, for the uh, uh, the gifted memberships. Hope hope you hope you're having a, a good time with them. I uh, also uh, 12 months. Hope everyone is well. Me me too, man. Me too. I uh, I hope things are going good. I um always always glad to see. Uh... Hey, thank you. <laughs> do. Do, 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 Apparently there's a whole corner of this lush cave I just wasn't seeing before. Pretty crazy. Um, well, that place sound like a torch somewhere. Do, 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 do. Yeah, this is, is this even a lush cave or is this just a, oh, wait, this, this lush cave would have gone up, but this is the deep slate layer below my world. Also, hey, thank you so much. Um, fire insurance. thank you so much, DSDRN. Uh, I, I, I'm glad you got your insurance in order. Uh, you should be extra, oh god, you should be extra protected from those house fires, I reckon. Okay, so, there is clay here. Apparently, even though I thought I took it all, and I clearly have been here to take it, there is a lot more to come. I'm tempted to compact the clay up so we can do stuff a bit easier, but... Pounds extra in my way hey! Yesterday, so here's half of that to pay for my house fire Wow, that's a very progressive tax rate. Stream too. too late. I have work tomorrow. <laughs> Love this map idea, BTW. I am... Okay, I got some bad news. Um, also, I'm glad you like the... I love map art. It's like one of the, like... It's the hard... One of the harder things to do creatively. But also, something I think... I, I think it's a lot of fun. I, I recommend the end if you want to do one yourself and you don't mind a little bit of risk in exchange for a blanket canvas. Um, oh yeah, there's more Lush Cave over here. Oh no, there's not. I just think there is. I shouldn't have placed down that shulker box so far away. If I'd have realized, maybe I wouldn't have done it actually. <laughs> oh God, there's just, there's just big piles of water. If you're gonna do this, maybe a sponge or two wouldn't go too far the wrong way. So actually, let's let's pick this up. Let's pick the shulker box up. This is this is silly. And also, let's realize that one shulker box is like no clay. You get you're barely even destroying a biome before you get going. 
but no, yeah, thank you so much, Polly E. Um, again, I'd love to see a friendly, uh, familiar face. There's, I think it's going to go on for a while, though. I think I, I, I'm ready for a big project, and that big project might, might, might take us uh, a little later than we expect. Um, yeah, I, uh, I think a fun thing, uh, that, like, I, I, I think it's fun at least, is the, the, the weird world of, uh, like, I, I know, like, the, the cool thing about being paid by an employer is that, like, money just comes, I know there's something nice about money being paid for, like, work done, like, in the past, right, that I feel like the world would be in such a worse place, in, in, in some people, in some people, in the case of some people, it's like, you get paid first, then you do the work. And in theory, that sounds so much better. Like, oh yeah, now I don't have to worry about blankety 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 blank. But like in reality, almost everyone is like, oh, I don't even get any benefit when I complete this. You know, kind of, it kind of goes back to that thing about the art and the artist. Like, luckily, like the way I treat it with this is like, I, I don't, even though you're tipping me now, like the money is withdrawn at some point later. If you support uh, the, if, if you support like the person making the thing and you say, yeah, I don't really care about the thing you're making. It's like, oh, awesome. Now I've been paid to do the thing. I don't need to work as hard on the thing. Whereas I feel like most humans work the best and we're like, the real reward comes at the end of the work. Like, um, I don't know, like as, as a weird example, like working out or something, like you would stop working out if you were given the the, the body, the, the, the physique, whatever you're looking for, that you, but you got that at the start of the working out process rather than the end, right? I, th I think the way people treat debts is a really interesting world. Like, Everyone has a story of someone in their life who, you know, like, uh, yeah, they just got some money, they, they helped, helped someone out who needed it, and then whenever that person gets money, instead of paying back the person who helped them when they are in need, they're like, oh, but this can be used to buy new fun things, because it's it's new money, it's now money, uh, and it, like, it sours a lot of relationships, I think. And in the same way, you support something, ideally, that already exists. Uh, you, you say, oh yeah, here's this awesome thing you did, Hope, the, hope that supporting it allows you to do more things. Is the I know to me that's the the space that you kind of want to be with and stuff. Also, thank you Xavier for becoming a member. Really appreciate memberships. I uh, every now and then I get a message and so on. Like th this is like a weird thing. Like I don't know how to like handle it. You know, Darren, you you you, you can tell me of this one. Like there'll be people like, oh yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get a membership. I'm just gonna hope that someone gifts it to me. And to me, that's like so against the spirit of like. The membership is like, oh yeah, I was gonna buy it, but I'm just gonna hope that it comes in for free. It's like, even if you got it, you'd be getting a taking a membership that could have gone, you know, someone else in a way, right? Like, there's a that's that's the weird thing about any form of like gift, I guess you could argue. Like, well, any money that's yours could be someone else's. Any any property that is one person's could be someone else's. But um, yeah, the membership thing, it's like, oh yeah, that's like sad, a little bit depressing, uh, to to read. Uh, you need to eat food. You know, what? are you calling me skinny? Uh, thank you. You know, I've been working pretty hard on it. I'm glad you noticed. So, I think I'm gonna leave the moss here. It just isn't that useful of a block. And now I'm gonna have to go out and get another, probably two shulker boxes, right? There's so much clay here. <laughs> uh, and then we're also gonna re-clear out our inventory. So we'll find my shulker box. I left it in one of these corners. And then we're gonna set up an auto furnace too. Maybe a couple of auto furnaces. So, shulker box is full. How am I gonna put the shulker box in my inventory? Probably by getting rid of this one scaffolding that I have. And then... Oh, you just put the totem in my hot bar for now. Yeah, that works. Perfect. So, more sugar boxes, because there's a... Even in a tiny, lush cave, you get enough clay to farm your projects forever, it seems. Which is nice. And so what was the way out of here again? I think it was up there. I don't know what this mine... Was this minecart filled with clay? I hope it is. Oh no, it's filled with garbage. So I'll take my... Wait, what was that? There's two of them together, right? Did you did you just see that? Oh, there's one up there. And this one has got clay in it. So I've mined up this biome in its entirety, basically. And then I've just got it stuck in a chest because I didn't build a minecart system. <sighs> you know, I have a feeling this means I've got another project I have to do on the way to my project chat. I think this is some projectception that's about to start. Oh gosh, oh no, oh, what's happening to me? I'm wasting so many fireworks. Um, oh, there we go, we got it. No, no, I'm gonna die. Okay, don't know how I didn't. Man, fireworks. 
what what is happening with this? <laughs> this is why I need a functioning minecart track, okay? Because this just doesn't work otherwise. I'm having a bad time. I'm having a very bad time trying to get these to work. Um, yeah, this is an interesting thing. Uh, this is the real problem we're playing on older devices. I've got I've got an old Xbox One here that I'm using for the next month because I'm in America. I have to sell all my stuff when I'm done. The whole thing. Um, I'm selling all my worldly possessions in a, in about nice a week. To be nice to the nice. Hey! Nice. Thank you so much, DSDRN. That is more than nice. That is so incredibly nice. That is um, massively appreciated. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I mean, I hope you are having a wonderful day before. Hope you're having a more wonderful day now. I, I cannot overstate uh, how over the top that was, but in a way that I really appreciate. That is so generous. Thank you. Need a reliable way in and out of the cave. Yeah, I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the minecart thing. <laughs> Clearly, that's what I need. That is, yeah, that is, that is huge beyond belief. Um, I hope, I hope you're doing really wonderful, DSDRN. You having a good Tuesday? I want to say. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I, the wife say thank you also. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna smell up some, some clay in the, these, obviously. But then I'm also going to use, like, I'm, I just need to put, like, a hopper here, make this a regular furnace, instead of a blast furnace. And then probably do the same for the one next to it. Yeah, and then we'll just put a hopper below it into a chest. There's water there right now. That can be easily worked on. Actually, wait, can can blast furnaces support clay? They cannot, for some reason. Uh, Tuckett's going to enjoy so many lobster rolls now. You better believe I'm going to enjoy all the lobster rolls. Uh, laying in bed watching Toy Cat couldn't be better. Hey, you know, that's... Thank you for adding... Thank you for adding to my day, DSDR, in a, in a really serious way. I, uh, I'm, I, I hope that I can give back a fraction of what, you, what I've received. If everyone hoped that, then the world would get better, I think. Um, you should make a bubble column. Yeah, the bubble column, it's always like a weird thing to work out, but I probably should just do that. Or I should just make a tunnel from there to the cave. Like, I, I've got a bubble column here already, right? I just have to walk to it. it it's a good idea. Um, so now we just need to get a hopper. Wait, actually, do we need one hopper or two? I think I'm going to need one hopper, two hoppers. No, three hoppers. I'm going to need three hoppers now. And I'm going to move my furnace... Uh, let's just say this one, not this one. We'll take, we'll take like a corner furnace or something. Just, just take it. Place a blast furnace there. Hope no one notices. Place a furnace over here, and also hope nobody notices. And uh, this is going to be powered by lava buckets. So that's real good and real important. And we're going to have a bunch of clay in the top of it. Okay, easy stuff. So. I am Ossian Raid. Hey, Ossian, how's it going? You do you having a good Tuesday? I'm in the middle of a very big Minecraft project. I'm uh I wanna make a giant house fire on a map. And so I but like to get that much brick, because a house is made of brick, like the perfect house is square bricks with a with a with a wooden roof. Um do 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 Thank you so much, CenturyNet, uh, for becoming a member. Uh, appreciate the love, the love and the support. Okay, so this is a big one. We need to get three hoppers and then a chest. So three hoppers is easy. It's in the redstone place. I always, I always craft too many hoppers because they're just they're useful for so many like tiny con you know, conveniences. And then it's also, do we even need to place a chest below? Yeah, we're gonna need that. So then we'll grab a barrel or. a chest, whichever one we come by sooner. So this minus that makes a chest. And then we probably need more than one of these. Do you think, chat, like one one auto smelter, is that going to be enough? I get the feeling that no. So we'll put our chest in water for no particularly good reason. We'll place a hopper down onto that, a hopper into that. But yeah, I'll see you. And how's it going? You, you're good? My, my, my human being? Okay, now all of these, we just put, we could put, we could put our shulker box up there and save ourselves some time, honestly. Maybe I will, actually. No, I'll do that next time. So for now, we'll put our clay down. 
mostly empty. We'll load a few of it into here just to make sure it's always running. And so yeah, we now have a fully running system. And if we want, I can go even a step crazier and I can fuel the furnaces using the lava, which I have right here. Nice. Ooh, um, house flames, yay. You know, you've got to have a lot of fire to run the house fire machine. And that house fire machine has to be fed, but it will all be fed eventually. Okay, so have you updated the member camp? Uh, is it not updating underneath me right now? It's meant to go live, right? Unless you're saying like, uh, you know, to account for like cancellations and stuff. It, uh, it always goes up and down at like weird intervals I'm never expecting. So we'll place some of these lava buckets in there because we need to smelt more than just a few of these. Keep the chest running as full as it can. Perfect, okay, so bricks are now running. We have as much of that as we can be expected to have. Um, brick blocks are such efforts as Grey Elixir. You're not wrong about that, you're not wrong about that. It is a, and then we need to keep these furnaces running too. There's just a, there's a lot of steps that have to be gone through, but it's fine. We are slowly but surely smelting our way through this. So we'll take those 58, we'll combine those with these 11, these, I guess we need like, minus one. Okay, and now we can make more brick blocks. Yeah, chat, our, it, our whole day's been leaned to this. We can now get 17 more brick blocks. Oh yeah, yeah, 21 bricks, chat. We're almost there, we've been, we gone for most for now and we got 21 bricks. But yeah, it's, it's obviously about like automating this as best we can. So we can even make a minecart to get down that tunnel or I can make a access point from that tunnel to this bubble column. If I do the bubble column method, then I'll have probably an easier... Yeah, I think that's what I gotta do. I think that's what I'm gonna have. No, actually this doesn't go down low enough. The bubble column doesn't go down past bedrock, I don't think, or past old bedrock. So now let's grab two shulker boxes because I need clearly more than I have. I think I have a couple stored in here. And we're gonna fill both of these with whatever we can. Nice. And we'll put the water bucket. Actually, I like the water bucket. We'll leave that there. Uh, and then the one scaffolding goes in this corner. Perfect. Bubble column. Yeah, we'll, we'll try the bubble column. We'll see if it goes down. Okay, so pro tip. You just swim down this thing. It'll, you, you, we'll get there eventually. Actually, wait, can we swim if we like really activate? No, we can't. Okay, so I, we are indeed member wives. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to, uh, also DSDR answers uh, being old is fun, not knowing how to work technology. Okay, this is, this is your life pro tip that anyone, anyone young would like you to know. It's just, if you're having tech issues, turn it off and turn it on again. It will solve, it doesn't feel like it should work because it feels like the thing is broken. But when you restart things, it all goes from scratch. The, you know, unless the, you know, the, the process that starts all the other processes is broken. You can fix it, and almost every tech issue you have that seems like it's real broken, it's actually just an issue if it hasn't been turned off and then on again recently. So yeah, getting getting to where I need to be in this just always seems like it's a good idea. Never actually works. But for now, just to train myself into it, here is the bubble column. Whee! So I guess I'll bring some stone along with me. And I'll, actually, I've got a bunch of stone down there, and I'm going to make like a little staircase up, because it just isn't going to work otherwise. Technology makes no sense, even if you're trying. Yeah, it's um, it's kind of like if you've never, um, if you don't know how, um, like Chat GPT works or any like AI learning model, it's like, but how is it doing that? How does is there a person inside there? Because it will respond like a person does. And it's like, well, it's a learning model that's programmed by, by, basically we kill all the bad learning models by having a human like check its work every now and then. And then eventually it gets really good at predicting the next word in a sentence. You know, and the, like, the, the, the thing that makes people good at BSing, but not so good at communicating, is being able to keep a sentence going. Whereas if you want to be accurate 100%, you won't be able to do that because you'll be like, well, this is, then it's like, uh, the, there's a, thing and the, the, yeah, sort of, right? Where, you know, like, uh, trying to actually think about, like, 
Oh yeah, the Black Death killed 30% of Europeans. Actually, it might be 33%. It might be 27. Yeah, I think it was about a third of Europeans who died directly or indirectly. Or was it direct? You know, like, trying to actually be accurate with your words makes you sound unsure and makes people like maybe not trust you so much. Whereas if you just say something really confidently and you know how to keep a sentence going, basically, in a way that flows logically, people will trust you. It's uh, it's one of the flaws in our, I don't know, information system that we have as humans as a whole. But uh, yeah, like uh, you know, like the, you you wouldn't know if 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 the if the if the machines start spitting out like I don't know, uh, propaganda for some political party you like and or don't like, you would it'd be really hard to work out why. Does it just really like that one person or whatever? And it's like, well, okay, well, this is a program like this. And you, you need to have, like, a better understanding of things before you can understand why they're broken, right? Like, I don't know how a car works. I I hear, like, oh, yeah, the powertrain is, is a, it's a Toyota powertrain. And I'm like, what? What is a powertrain? I didn't know there was a train. Is that describing, like, everything that makes the car go? Maybe? that That's, to me, my best guess. Uh, you know, I, I don't know how... Um, I don't know how weather works. Like, why is it that we're relatively sure about the weather, like, months from now, but also we can't truly predict it today? Like, how can... Do we just use historical data? Or are there meteorologists looking at clouds and it's it's too hard to be sure? Um, I, uh... I'm, I'm, it's good to see you, by the way, generic you girl. Um, I, uh... Your car is a train toy cat. My car has a train inside of it. Right? Like, what the heck? Why? I... You know? And it it, it... it it can transport as many people as a small train. That's... That's for sure. So we'll put down a second shulker box over here. Because this is... This is a nice juicy set of clay right here. So just fortune... Whole batch over here. Oh, so satisfying. And, uh... Also, we... I hope our render distance is high enough that our clay is smelting. But I secretly know that it's not. So I probably should have put that, like, down here or something. Okay, so that is a healthy batch. A very healthy batch. Oh, wow, look look at just how much is going on here. It's so deep, too. Lots and lots and lots of play for me. Which we can then load straight into the shulker box. And then get refilled, and then reload. Um, as you said, powertrain is what makes the car go. Yeah, but, like, wheels make the car go, right? Or are wheels... Like, where do you differentiate the line? Like, to, to you, that's probably real obvious, old Simon Baguette. But, like, a wheel is required for the car to go. It's not making the car go, but the car wouldn't go without it. You know, like, an engine is required for the car to go, but the car could go without it, because you just push it. <laughs> you know, when a car's in neutral, you can still roll it down a hill. Is that... Is that... Therefore, the wheels are more important to my... To my bad layman's perspective, but obviously to an engineer, you're like, no, because we're talking about the toy cat. They say repeating the same thing and expecting different results is a sign of insanity. Dot. This is not true. When it comes to technology. Here is your allowance. I think most people, if you show them how something works one time, they're like way better the second time. Like I, so, something I deal with a lot in my life is like people being anxious about like, oh god. What happens at the airport? You go through security and then something happens and then like people being like, oh god, I don't understand. But once you've gone on like 10 flights, it's like, yeah, you you go to the airport, they always want to make sure that you're not got some weird chemicals on you. And then after that point, you just go straight onto a plane. When you feel like it, they'll tell you to get there real early. They'll make they'll make you feel like your flight is closing, but it's not, you're fine. Uh whereas like when you first see a a thing that's like flight boarding, you're like, oh god, gotta run, gotta run. You see flight closing and you'll start sprinting even though like your flight's not leaving for another hour. Because sometimes airports just trick you. They they want to start the boarding process early and so they gotta Yeah, there's there's all these all these uh crazy things that you just pick up when you do something. And the same is true for Minecraft, right? I yeah the fact that I just made two Neverite shovel or two two new Neverite tools probably very 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 weird to someone who is uh you know, just, just, just pop, just popping in. This is their first Minecraft, you know, like media they're consuming. <laughs> You'd be so confused, right? You wouldn't, I would, I wouldn't have any idea. I still don't have any idea. What is a Minecraft? Do you know what a Minecraft is? Um, so, uh, gambling is doing the same thing repeatedly and expecting different results. 
That's a fun way to put it. But yeah, it's good to see you, Pookie, by the way. I uh, I hope you are having a wonderful Tuesday. I know I am. I'm doing my best to have one, at least. You know, isn't that what what's really important? Um, I have so many spare Neverite tools and armor just because I can. Yeah, that's what I that's what I basically want to do. Like, I there's a new update. You know, I gotta make sure, gotta make sure that I uh, get my Neverite stuff made now. If I want alternate versions of armor, it gets so much more of a pain to make it later. Um, okay, this is definitely gonna be enough to fill a shulker box with. I don't know where I left the shulker box, but whenever I find it. Okay, there it is. Oh, huh, wasn't wasn't left very far away at all. No, oh, no, it's not. Wow. See, that's it's the weird thing. Yeah, the amount of clay we can mine feels very different. Um, ninety nine percent of gamblers quit before they win big. This is Jed and not. It's true. It's it's the real tragedy. There's all all gamblers out there are just uh are just you know they they might win a jackpot if they just kept going. It's um so there's something called the Martingale strategy. Um. So let me let me give you the secret advice on how to how to win gambling, chat. So if you lose, you know, like usually if you just see each individual bet as one bet, then you lost ten dollars this bet, you win ten dollars that bet. But if you make it so that every time you lose, you just bet double the opposite way, now you can never lose the money, and boom, I have just solved gambling. Except what you're actually doing is just making the bet part of a longer series of events. And really, if you if you actually start to examine gambling as like a lifetime losses or win. Every time you gamble, you are decreasing the odds that over your lifetime, you end up positive. The way that you have the highest odds of winning gambling is to bet one time and one time only, because then you've got a 47% chance of success or something. And then if you, the, if you win on your first bet, never gamble again. And if you lose on your first bet, then you say, okay, now, now it's all over. It's only, I can never, I can never win gambling. Because I am going to be at a loss, statistically speaking. Pro tip. Um, so you can't, the FBI is going to break down your door. <laughs> I've exposed the infinite money hack that no one wants you to know. You know, and it's crazy because um, whenever a game has a currency, right? The, um, like the, the currency is something they'll guard quite closely. Like they'll usually patch out uh, glitches that allow you to get more of it. That used to be the way, at least. It's, it's funny because... Uh, I was thinking of, like, how GTA, like, patches out, like, bugs for their thing. But old games used to, like, leave in cheat codes and be like, yeah, if you want to cheat, it's perfectly fine of us. But then, like, as soon as they realized, wait, we can ban cheating and then we can sell the equivalent where if you want to get lots of in-game currency, just give us lots of real-world currency, you know, exchange money for money. Okay, I think I've fairly effectively destroyed this place, chat. Um, and two, two, two extra shulker boxes should be enough for, like, any plans that I have. Like, I can make a 100 by 100 house now. Uh, actually, not 100 by 100. It's like 20 by 20. Yeah, I need a lot more clay than I've got, actually, then. You know, this 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 is a good start. It's a down payment on the bricks that I'll need. So, throw it all in there. And now, while this smelts, I'm going to get myself a... I, mean, I think what I'll do is I'll get myself some trees chopped down. So, here's the thing. If I go too far from my base then the clay won't smell. So what I have to do instead, I think, is something a bit more tactical. And I'm gonna bring a furnace, a hopper. Uh, yeah, if I just bring a furnace and a hopper with me somewhere, then I can solve that. Also, um, I, uh, what are you gonna do for the white part of the bricks in the map? The white part of the bricks? What, what is the white part of the bricks? Oh, you're saying for the uh, for the house, right? I if we build on a big enough scale, we actually could put something in there, right? We could uh, place a brick slab underneath some. We we could we could definitely do it if we wanted to, but I think on a, on most scales, trying to do that would look way worse than not trying to do that. Uh, maybe maybe you disagree. That's okay if you do. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll give it a look and like show you, but. I don't believe it would go well for me. Okay, plenty of stone bricks now. I'm gonna make a staircase out because I clearly can't be trusted to do this normally. So we'll build it around this, so over here, and then up some blocks. One, two, three, and then another corner. I think every corner we have to, we can't have it be too steep on the corners because 
Yeah, we have to actually move this all down one block. Because uh, it can't go round a corner and go up at the same time. Although I think... Yeah, we we have an issue here. Uh, just just to test this, actually. You know, we got we got some spare minecarts. Tracks. Okay, we'll just take this and we'll take that. Yeah, we have to make it go up. And then on the way up, it goes round the bend. So it would go round the bend here. Because if we try like this, that's not going to work. It's... It would work on the way down, but not the way up. So all we have to do is have this block go one up. And then, there we go, yeah. Okay, so just to confirm this works. You see that? We can do this perfectly fine. And so every time we go around a corner, we go flat for one block before continuing upwards. So we go around this corner, and then we go flat one block, and then we continue up. Or, and then we just do this all the way to the top. And eventually... Although actually it looks like I've made some mistake here already. This is the edge of that. Oh, because I was just underneath it there. Right. Okay, so now we move these blocks. One. Oh god, you know, I don't even I don't even know what's happening anymore. And then... Okay, this, this isn't working, chat. I tried my best. I wanted to make a big old stone. <laughs> I wanted to do a thing. Uh, but I, the amount of effort it's going to take to make this go around the outside would be a lot of mining. And it on the inside would be a lot too. Another task within a task. You know, we, at least it gives me a taller ramp to fly up from, which is what's really important here. And now I've got some spare stone bricks, which I can put in a chest somewhere, I guess. Um, I, uh, I, I think that the, uh, yeah, honestly, having tasks within a task is, like, one of the most satisfying way to get things done. Whether it's intentional or not. Like, um... Oh, yeah, that's, that's a long hole to get. It's the longest hole. Um... Okay, so we're gonna put some stone bricks down. And then we're gonna try... Yeah, we, we honestly, we, we have to... We have to bring a portable furnace with us. Is the only way this is actually gonna work. So three hoppers is what we need. We'll bring six to do it twice. Six hoppers. We'll bring... Uh, we need a bunch of lava too. We need, there's a lot of considerations that have to be made here. Um, so for now I'll just put all this clay in my chest over here. See how much... See, so while I was gone, even though this was running the entire time, it doesn't simulate and so I got 19 bricks. <laughs> okay, so that... It's, it's going to do stuff for me. This is not going to do a lot of stuff. Okay, so I need to go make some furnaces. We'll use cobbled deep slate because I think we can use that. And then we're going to take them to the desert with us alongside a bunch of lava. So is this cobbled deep slate? This is blackstone. It's not often I get to use blackstone, but we'll use the cobbled stuff instead. You know, should I just use cobbled, cobblestone? It's here already. So 32... 16, two furnaces. Then we'll put our deep slate away. Because I've just got one of these blocks. Put this and that away. I've got so many drip leaves. And then let's go. Um, I... I So I actually... I, finding places to chop down trees is a surprisingly hard thing in this world. I've deforested most of the world that I want to deforest. Um, I... Yeah, I feel like, I feel like most of the easily deforest, yeah, I, I don't know, I, I feel like I've got to find somewhere where there's a lot of trees that I want chopped down, or we just find some of a lot of trees that I don't care if they're chopped down. That might be, that might be just as easy an option, honestly. Because it has to be oak logs, right? Ooh, that was weird. Um, okay, where in my world should I go? In fact, actually, here's an easy way for me to find out. This is, this is why I love having it. Never forest. It's gotta be oak logs, otherwise I'd totally love to chop down a nether forest. Maybe we should do that at some point, actually. Just destroy a uh, crimson forest. Might be fun. Um, tree farm. Yeah, maybe I should just go to the tree farm, honestly. Rather than, rather than going over the top on this. If I do it at the tree farm, I could leave the... And so what we need now are the buckets. Filled with lava. That'll be good. Um, 
Yeah, okay, you know what, chat? I'm gonna do something I never... Usually I love to just look at a part of my world, be like, those oak trees don't need to exist, and then I'll chop them down. Like, look at this. Do these do these trees need to exist, chat? Isn't this a little silly? Look at all the trees over here, too. Don't, don't get me started on these trees. Like, this is enough forest for an entire world, I feel like. That's my birch forest up there, by the way. Yeah, that there's there's just there's just so many trees in my world. So why don't I deliberately chop down this little section over here? Because this is where my um this is where my like you know my my little garden is that people uh, tip down to. But this this place right here probably doesn't need any trees. This this place this island I think those are crafting table trees actually. Um, yeah, I feel like I feel like we've got lots of places that need their trees taken down. This, this island, this island could be something wonderful if I remove the trees. Yeah. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go do that. I should have to get some buckets of lava, which is the easiest way to do that is just take buckets and go to my lava farm. I'll make sure it's been working because I haven't been there for a while. Cut them down. Let's, let's go destroy a part of my world. Chat, I'm down. Okay, so up here, there's a lot of lava. Has it been working? I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> so this is snow. I could probably collect some more powdered snow, actually. While it's snowing anyway. Might be something worth doing. Okay, the answer is I apparently moved all my cauldrons. Yeah, oh, or maybe I just never built them. That second one seems likely. Should I build some cauldrons up here? Yes, I'll, I'll bring some cauldrons up too. Okay, chat, I've got another task in the task. I'm sorry. I know you love, I know, I know, I know it seems as though these are all off task. But we're making the little improvements we need around the world. Which is sometimes what we've got to be able to do, right? Um, it's strange to me that Minecraft doesn't have any paper made from trees. I mean, if you were a person, like, if you think about it, it's like, it's a person crafting all these things. If the world, if you were the only person left in the world tomorrow, would you be able to make a tree? If you think the answer is yes, then I think that you're a liar. That's just my that's just my hot take. Only only liars think they can do things. Also, thank you, Jaden Knotts. IKEA accent tips for deforestation. We are gonna deforest the world so hard, and your money is going to help that directly. Don't you worry if you think it's not. Um, okay, fifteen cauldrons. That seems like a reasonable amount. And then we'll just put the other two iron back. I was gonna work out a number of cauldrons divisible by seven, so we could like, but. It's, it's fine, just put, put this back in there. Plenty of iron, because, you know, that, that iron farm has given me too much iron chat. I, people are like, oh, iron farms are so good. No, I have a problem on my hands, and it's all the fault of people who insisted I need an iron farm. Now we should need to get our buckets. I think we have a big pile of buckets over here. We'll just grab a stack at this point. And uh, let's, let's go. You excited, internet? This is a brave new day for me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do two things at one time. I'm gonna smelt things at the same time as chopping things down. Get both parts of this farm done simultaneously. Okay, so there's lava all the way above this, so I can just, oh, place a bunch of these down. And I'll kind of leave this focused on one side. Also, getting, getting past these, quite annoying. It's weird because they're so uniform, but I just don't ever see it coming. And then all the way over here. Bunch of cauldrons, bunch of cauldrons. We'll place these ones in the sky. Although these aren't actually activated, right? A bunch of cauldrons over there. Seem like the way. Perfect. So now we have a lot more lava that can be harvested in theory. And this will this will run my furnaces until I start using my wood to run them. <laughs> For now, it works. We could also make like some coal blocks or something. I should think about this now and not later. But I'm actually just going to do it, the thinking about it later idea. Because that works great. I mean, this is like nine, 900 items smelted. If I don't if I don't get it finished in that time, I just never will, right? So, there we go. Off to the other side of my world. Deforestation time, chat. Let's do this. So, I have a very full inventory. I'll admit. Um... I've got some glowing sacks I don't need, but I want to get the map with me so we can look at the deforestation like before and after. I think that would be enjoyable. 
Um, so, Kat, are you in a speedrunning mood? Uh, I'm curious what kind of streams you're planning to do soon. No, I'm, a, I'm, I'm very deep in my, uh, my survival Minecraft mode right now. Maybe that'll change. I want to do a, uh, I want to do, like, a big challenge via these streams that I can then, like, turn into something else later. I really enjoyed the free editions video I made today. That took, like, a long time to piece together. But I felt like the end result was good. Or at least, you know, it's not good yet. It's getting there. Um, so that's where I kind of am at with it. The dripstone doesn't need to be so close, you can drop it a block and give yourself some room to jump. Yeah, that might be a good idea. That might be a good idea. But, alternatively, don't you, lump, don't you love the ceiling hitting your head all the time? Yes, you do. Okay, um, so let's grab the map for where we're going to deforest. Again, there's, there's something so satisfying about before and afters. You better believe I'm going to take full advantage of this. Watch out for those invisible polar bears, says Evan Schlingerman. That was that was a really fun uh, example, by the way. Also, trees are a renewable resource, technically. Burn them all, and then uh, say you plant some, and then maybe follow through. You know, I see you've been in the corporate world for some, some good amount of time, Unplanned Baby. That is exactly what my strategy is. Yeah, this, I this island... I think this island needs deforesting, but it's a bit small, and it's next to my Catan board. So, I think... I think this is a good option. Yeah, let's let's chop down this island here. Um, this is the before. And I guess we're just going to have to go there to find the after. Actually, I want to I wanna do this one all at once. So we'll use map 178 as our... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll leave this in my inventory and I'll do another one for the meantime. But just, I'll, I'll make sure it's right and then I'll, I'll do it. That's not a Catan board, that's just some random shapes, right? Oh, sorry, that's what I meant. I, di I didn't say the word Catan. You can't say I did. That, that it's, it's just some hexagons. There is nothing more, there's no more significance to it. And if you, if anyone reads into significance that is not there, that is on them and is not, is not reflective of, of Klaus Tauber Incorporated. There we go. Okay. I think I, I think I got that covered pretty well. I don't have my uh, my beacon box with me. I don't know where I left my beacon box. But if we're going to be chopping down so many trees, it would make sense to have it, right? Is it not in here? Is it not in here? It's not. I could bring a beacon with me, but then not power it. Yeah. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to... You know, it's trees are the thing that make the most sense to have a beacon for, though. Let's grab our beacon box. <laughs> Let's do it. We have to probably pick up some new fireworks too. Oh god, so laggy over here. Oh, it's pain. Do I have my beacon box around here? Where did I put that? Did I just drop it on the ground somewhere at some point? I definitely have a box with a beacon in. And I don't know where I keep it. I guess we can just grab some emeralds and then use the one that's there right now. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Yeah, let's just... Let's put these sticks away somewhere. Um, let's put my... I don't have any fireworks. Okay, let's just grab some emeralds from the chest. We need nine of them. That's all we need. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then let's put our spare buckets in this chest here. Oh, look, it, I was even trying to make clay over here. I am visionary on this on this field, it seems. So we'll put, we'll put our bucket of lava in there. And now I've got a space to go pick up a beacon. Perfect. I think I just picked up some eggs instead. Not what I want. Um, I, uh... You might need to spread out your spawn builds and reduce lag. I only have lag because I'm playing on a... Uh, you know, okay, just actually, I think I got halfway for 10 minutes, sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna... I've got the... I, I've got, I get to do the fun thing that people always talk about when they talk about life changes, but mine's like in reverse. I'm, I'm gonna sell everything I own. Uh, and I tried to get Minecraft working on a PS... I have a fun story about... I, I, I wanted to run this... On, if I was going to run this on a console, I figured I'd run this on, like, a new console. And, uh, as it turns out, I cannot run... I have to... Like, this is the dumbest thing for me to get my, uh, my PlayStation account. They want the serial number of my PlayStation 4. What, how would my serial number help them at all? I don't know. And my serial number of my PlayStation 4 is at home, in the UK, and so I can't use my PlayStation in America. Why? 
Because, of course not. <laughs> okay, so I think the island's just over here. This is a nice... Oh, no, please don't tell me they're... Okay, they're not. I thought that I was worried for a second there. It looks like we're good. Okay, so now, is this the same place? Chat, do you reckon it's the same? There's only one way to know for sure. And that's to remove some leaves on one of these trees. So is this is this water feature recognizable? I'd say so. So now we remove two leaves. There we go. Yeah, it's the right. So that's do you see do you see the bit of the map that updated there? So we destroy another two leaves. Uh there we go. Yeah, okay. So now we know that the map starts where that lake is. I'm going to place my furnaces. We'll do like a fun jewel layout going on here. So we'll start with the hoppers at the bottom, and then we'll move up from there, I guess. So hopper face down, hopper face down, furnace, furnace, hopper, 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 and then another hopper. And so then we can just place our two shulker boxes up here. We're not going to go through all of the clay, but it just saves me some effort, right? Nice. Okay, and now we just fill this with lava buckets on one side. And then fill it with lava buckets on the other side. I thought I had more lava buckets than I did. I must have dropped some on the ground or something. And so if we need to do something, we'll just go and do that. And we'll get a bunch of clay in the meantime. Also, free buckets. Whew. Um, yeah, I, uh, I forgot you could make uh, maps without compasses on bedrock. Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of weird when you think about it. Also, we have to remember map 178 is the original. This is my lowly copy, map 330. How high do the numbers on maps go? Like, could we have... Also, look, you can see the shulker boxes on the map. That's fun. In the... Just over over there. <clears throat> That's fun, in my opinion. Um, PlayStation fun, says DSDRN. Yeah, I, uh, I, so I've got, I've got a PlayStation here. I just can't get my account on it, which is really annoying. Like to, to finally bite the bullet on something to be like, well, it'll help me play Minecraft, and then I can't play Minecraft on it because I don't have my account, and you can't play Minecraft without your Microsoft account linked. And it's fine. <laughs> everything's fine. Um, okay, so everything's working just great on that. Now let's chop down some trees. So this is my new axe. Oh, wait, this is my new axe. Made shiny for this. Oh wait, no. Let's not do it yet. We gotta, we gotta very briefly make our beacon. Okay. So here's the fun. Here's a fun thing, chat. I forgot to bring a block to prime my beacon. <laughs> and so now, now I have a beacon here and everything. It just isn't gonna do anything until I get. You know, I could. Okay. Is there? Do you, okay. I see coal over there. Do you see some iron ore or something? We just find a single. Okay, chat. Do you see any? Do you see any iron around here? Are you, I, I did. Do I have any? <sighs> you know, what? it's okay. I don't need iron. Actually, there there will be iron on the surface here because it's old Minecraft generation. We're just gonna find a single block, take it with us, throw it in there, and then we'll have what we need. Perfect. Easy. Where's Where's the iron? Um. I, too, am in the US. 10 out of 10 would drive to Vegas to buy Toy Cat dinner. How far from Vegas are you? That is a... See, that's that's one of those things that's either, like, a very crazy thing, or that's like, a, oh, yeah, like, it's 15 minutes away. <laughs> I, I don't think you can be 15 minutes away from Vegas. I think, like, the minimum someone can live from Vegas without living in what is effectively just Vegas is, like, half an hour. No, it's probably, like, two hours. There's, like, tiny towns of, like, 600 people, like, an hour away. But there's nothing real until you leave the state. I'm 4.5 hours away, says Wild Bill Miller. Oh, where about are you? I might I might be technically driving driving past you. That's fun. I uh I'm I'm doing my first like long solo American drive soon. Uh it's gonna be a lot of, it's gonna be interesting. Driving to Vegas in my car would be a death wish. Where where's the iron? You know what? We don't need iron chat. If we find if you find it though, let me know. We'll Okay, look at that. You see how fast that was? Oh, there's no mending on this axe. That's fine. I'll work out mending later. That's so fast though. Like it, it just melts the it just melts the tree. I don't think I don't think we'd benefit even from having a thing. 
Uh, so what exactly is your main goal to a cat? Oh, it's the title! We're building a giant house fire on a map. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, hope that answers your question. Just south of Salt Lake City. Uh, what you want to do if you want to get to Salt Lake City is you take Interstate Road 15. See, look at me. I know know how to translate for, for your American GPS. You're welcome. <laughs> um, no, yeah, I, uh, I, drove, I drove past Salt Lake City when I first moved here. Like, to get here from wherever I was going. Um, I like how Toy Cat sometimes says chat in videos. It makes me feel seen. You know what? You're all collectively chat. Just remember that. If you ever feel like an individual, if you're ever like at the bank, and they're like, can I see some identity? Just remember, that idea is a fake. You'll always be chat, chat. So map 330 is going to get smaller. We can probably stare at it and watch it happen. Oh yeah, that's so cool. Okay, let's, let's jump down a bunch of trees so we can watch that happen live on a map. Okay, so I'm going to say focus because it takes a lot of doing to get trees chopped down, honestly. Okay, all chopped. And over here, more chopping. Chat is cat in French. Don't do the chat rant. <laughs> I don't want to break too many people today. Um, let's play a game of chat and not chat, so cat. You know, what? if I if I want to break people, that is the game I play. Hi, chat. I'm Dad. Says Alcazar. <laughs> I'm about ten hours straight north of Vegas. Says Interstate 80. And I don't even know where Interstate 80 is, honestly. I, I you could probably work out if I Interstate. 15 is is on the left of the country. I 80 would be on the east. Oh no, it's 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 a it's a east west road. So I think my nearest east west is you know, I don't know how it works. Are you are you by the Canadian border? Is that where you are interstate 80? You know, why are you named after an interstate? Is that not the more important question we should be asking here? Um is it uh 2331 in the UK right now? It's 2031. Yeah, it's add add eight to the west coast, or you know, just just Google what is the real time in the world, and UTC is British time. Um, so um, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I do you think you'll do any videos on Lexi Edition anytime soon, says Alana, or Elena, I believe. If I spell your name how it is, please don't leave for ni milk, new dad. Bet you mo, I've got some very bad news for you. <laughs> That's that's all I intend to do. Okay, so I'm gonna now sit over here and we're gonna watch something beautiful chat. Look at the map. Wait, I'm gonna eat first. Make sure we're at max health here. Okay, look at this. Look at the map. It'll slowly... Do you see it? It's like slowly disintegrating. Oh, that is so enjoyable. So good. I, um... Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, oh, DS the RM, by the way, uh, so you, you, Southern California is, uh, I don't know, I, I feel like on a cultural sense, like, Nevada is just the cool bit of Southern California that doesn't have to deal with, like, being a part of California. I mean, you could argue the other way around. California is just Nevada with, you know, more, more rules and, and taxes or whatever, and homeless people. Um, but, yeah, I think it's, uh, also, we're gonna we're gonna have so many saplings. Wait, all the saplings can be fuel for my furnace. You know how I'm gonna run out of fuel soon. Okay, here's my life pro tip for you all. It's a very bad life pro tip because they're very inefficient as fuel. Do you see how my furnace here only has one lava bucket left? Just throw in some saplings. Vegas is the less ruly, no tax Vegas. With so many fun things to do. All the all the. You want to commit any crime? It's not even a crime here. Finding finding crimes to commit is a challenge. Uh, also, why is the tree not going away? <laughs> also, thank you so much um, for the tip, uh, Doctor Jedi Partisan. I am Welsh. You know what? A beautiful thing. I, also, if you live in America, what are you gonna do with America? Oh yeah, America is gonna have to go. America is gonna be gone. If you want to buy America, um, I don't know. Send me money and an address to send it to. I don't know what shipping a painting costs. You know, I you go go to go to Ross Dress for Less. That's where I bought mine. I don't know if it was one of a kind or not. Um, I assume not because it was a clothing store that sold it to me. But you can never you can never be too certain. Um, but yeah, I uh, I think that the 
Uh, I, 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 I think that the, the painting is going to have to... It, it's probably going to be thrown away, right? Like, I, I don't know. Like, I want to... I genuinely want to... It would be cool if there was an easy way to just... Like, okay, you know when you go to a, in a video game, you just go to the general store, and the general store gives you bad prices for stuff. Like, you paid free GP for your tinderbox, and it gives you one GP. But it's like, well, at least you're getting... You know, you're getting your money. You're getting something for it all. Whereas my stuff's just going to go into a big... Hey, David Salamano being even more Welsh than Dr. Jedi Partisan. One of my, that's one of my favorite, like, old references. I want to know, you know, I, I wish we could find the original I Am Welsh guy. Track him down and just, like, ask, like, what what were you going for with that? I just want to know. It's okay if you can't tell me, but I'd like it if you could. <laughs> but David Salamano is Welsh, too. So, again, we're kind of getting hit by quite a few things, which means I'm going to go find a bed elsewhere. And probably bring it over here. It's always a good reminder when you go somewhere new, bring a bed with you. I might, I, I was thinking of setting up like a little thing. Every hundred blocks have like a bed and a furnace or something like that. I think it might be fun. Like I have a base every hundred blocks in my Minecraft world. Um, You'd have to, it, it'd be a lot of bases when we get far out here. But I think it'd be important. Okay, where are we at? Uh, How do you out Welsh someone? You just wit you just witnessed the out Welshing, Trev. The original I'm Welsh guy must be somewhere in Wales. I don't know, like, I is he? Is that a thing? You know, when if you're in Wales, do people say to you all the time, I'm Welsh? I would suspect not. I would suspect that you would only tell people you're Welsh when you're not in Wales. That's just that's just my suspicion, though. It might not even be accurate. Also, there's free lever and a... I mean, we probably got some garbage scared of here, too. So, there's smoke leaks. Just to make the chest a little bit more confusing for the next time. I'm going to go home and I'm going to pick up some beds. Or a bed. Because I need some of those. And also, I'll put the birch wood away. I spent a lot of time on Insta80. And it's one of my favorite roads. So, I decided to name and make a Google account named after it. Man, I, I want to know I want to know about this this road. You must enjoy it. I, uh, I kind of feel, like, I think it's, a part of me would say it's so silly. But I, I, I like that there is a road that goes all the way from where I am to Salt Lake City or to LA. And it's like, yeah, you just gotta follow the road. Um, like, I think in reality, most people would actually prefer complexity in the roads. But I like that it's like, you can just take one road all the way across America if you want to. Like, there, I, I can drive to a McDonald's in Michigan by taking, like, a road, maybe. Does I-15 go to Michigan? I assume not. Where does it go? See, I I love road law. I'm gonna have to look up your road. Almost killed me multiple times as in State 80. Uh, sounds like any good girlfriend then. If she's not trying to kill you multiple times, then does she even love you? <laughs> is a question you shouldn't have to ask yourself. Please, please Google my wife is hitting me and then and then Google the domestic support hotline. That comes up as a result. Where do I keep my beds? I think there's one in here, right? There we go. A nice green bed for chopping down a forest. Sounds good to me. Um, but uh, yeah, I, uh, let, let's 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 find Canada. I can I can go to Canada in one road. I-15 northmost point. Um, it goes it goes to. What, what are we seeing? Uh, oh, yeah, it goes through Montana all the way to, to Canada. And then it, it gets to Highway 4 in Alberta. Wow, that's cool. What? Are, where does Highway 4 go? It goes to Lethbridge, and I can go to Canada. I can just... that That is nuts to me. That... I can... I just have to... If I'm... If, if I... When I'm trying... I'm trying to go to LA this, this weekend uh, for a... Got a fun thing. Um, so if I, if I make a wrong turn on that road, if I make a U-turn and then I drive for 28 hours, I'd hit Canada. That's fun. <laughs> you know, sometimes you're trying to go to California and you go to Canada instead. It's a very common mistake I imagine people make. Um, the, uh, Toy Cat once meant to my local McDonald's. How wild is that? Is that your local McDonald's, Sasha? Oh, that is crazy. Man, it's affordable. Wait, is it, is, is it still called McDonald's or is McDonald's... Is McDonald's the one that got turned into fresh and ready or whatever it's called? Um, 
As You Like It, maybe? Is that the one? I don't know what it's called. You know, I'm not... Also, I should have got... I should have gotten an iron. Damn it. I was just there. Had a whole reason to and everything. <laughs> and I did not. Um, it's been Russian, I think. That's fun. You know what? If I'm... If I'm president of Russia... I'm looking at this saying, wow, we even got a free fast food franchise out of this invasion. Okay, so right now we've got 55. Oh my god, it goes so slow. We're never going to get any serious scale of brick, apparently. Yay, LA. I'll be waving to Toy Cat from LA. Yeah, it's crazy, right? Because um, the size of the city means even if you're in the same, like, uh, you're in the same county, uh, you know, the same metropolitan area. It's like, yeah, you could be could be two hours east, two hours west, two hours north, two hours south. Who knows? Um, but uh, yeah, I, I think that's a crazy thing. Also, uh, Dr. Jeddah Parsons says, I am even more Welsh. You know, I are, are you even more Welsh, though, uh, Jedi Partisan? But thank you very much for the tip. I appreciate it. I, uh, I hope you're having a, a good day, uh, my dude. I, uh, I, I, I see, I see I accidentally enabled your competitive spirit. And enabling people's competitive spirit for money is, you know, very much an okay thing. But I am sorry that I have done it, and I would like to apologize profusely before probably doing it again. You know, are you the most Welsh? I bet. I bet someone's more Welsh than you. I bet there's... <laughs> um, but yeah, now, nah, okay, now, nah, now we just have to type in I-80, and we'll see... Okay, it goes. Oh yeah, it goes through. It goes through the the north part of. I think I might have even asked about this, and you said you're from Reno, right? Am I wrong? Am I crazy? Did I imagine that interaction? Um, London is bigger than LA, says uh, Diluted Dante. No, London has more people than LA, but it's not bigger. Probably, I don't know. Actually, I'm a Welsh dad. I am a Welsh dad too. Um, DS the RN has an inside man at Disneyland. Oh, now that's ex- I, you know, I, I would love to hear about your connections at Disneyland. Do you, do you have Twitter DS the RN? Honestly, I've, okay, I, I, um, love this social power, social relationship. <laughs> I, I don't know if it's a joke that you're saying parasocial as power social, but I'm here for it anyway. I am, I'm here and I'm enjoying what is either real or maybe not, but it does not matter to me. What matters to me is the joy that I get from your two dollars. No, I uh, for real though. I um, I I enjoy, I enjoy that you did. You took your real money and you said I like this stream that amount or maybe more. I I think that's that's that was nice of you. It was uh, it's something I appreciate. Okay, so this is plenty of wood. This whole forest is is honestly. I don't think the beacon would help me, even if I had it. This is what I'm gonna keep telling myself to make this all feel better. Cause I bet the beacon might help me. Um, I think this island is so nice, I should do something fun with it. Meanwhile, I got connections at Disney World, says Cassie Kaiser. Wow, we getting competitive on this as well. Do you actually have connections at Disney World? Does that, how does that, how does that work? But no, yeah, DSDRN, I'd love to, uh, I don't know how to you hit me up somehow. Parasocial is uh, less than power social. You know, I'm in a power social relationship. I'm so powerful. I've got so much, so much power to my social. I guess that's a thing. I guess that's a real thing. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I, I think that I, I, it's weird. Okay, I, I have to mention this now, even though you know I. I think I enjoy the idea of Disney as like, I like places that you go to to have a good time. That's why I go to places and I have a good time there. But I think um, I moved to a home 10 minutes from the Magic Kingdom and see the fireworks from my living room at 9 p.m. nightly. Oh, uh, that's gonna be cool. That's gonna be real cool. I, I how, how, is, how is living in Orlando? Is that, like, I, I feel like, I, I don't know, like people always make fun of like, Florida this, Florida that. And then Orlando is going to be like the most touristy bit off that. Um, yeah, I I would love to... Uh, you also a DS, the RN. Uh, de definitely send, send a message through Cat. I would love to love to hear the, the deal with that. Um, do you like Star Wars, says Debros? You know, 
there's one there's only three rules in this chat no religion no politics no star wars what do you think you're doing de bros you trying to get me derailed you trying to get me off the it's not gonna work i'm gonna tell you that much um yeah, I should try to beat Minecraft Legends with one cobble golem. Sounds like a fun challenge. <laughs> Honestly, okay, that's actually, that is an interesting idea. Like, can you beat the game with one golem? Um, yeah, I, th I, th I mean, I think the, yeah, I, th I think that's a fun idea, actually. I think, uh, can you beat the game without ever summoning a mob? Could be interesting. Because um, you could, yeah, I don't know. Never been to Disney, don't want to go, don't care in the slightest. I think there's like three major ways that people go on holiday, right? One is the one is the do nothing style of holiday. So a cruise ship or laying down at the beach at a resort somewhere. Um like that that's a that's the type of holiday where it's like I I have you know, I could technically do things if I wanted to, but I want to have no one tell me what to do for two weeks and just enjoy myself as best that can be done. Then there's, like, the type of holiday, which is, like, go somewhere specifically designed for you to have fun. Um, so I think I think theme parks are a good example of this. I think uh, I think Vegas is a fun example. Like, whether, whether that's, like, gambling resorts or whether that's, like... You know, that, but there's... It's where you go somewhere that is specifically about the activity you do there. I would also put, like, uh, if you want to go, like, bungee jumping off a bridge, that's an example of this. So there's quite a few cities and towns around the world that are based around, like, people do fun things and they come here to do them. Then the third type is, like, I would like to live my life as if I was somewhere else. I guess this might fall into traveling for some people, but, like, people like city breaks, as you might call it. Like, oh, yeah, go, go to a city and experience something... That is not put on for people to holiday in, but exists in of its own right. Um, so uh, yeah, I I think I think that lots of people don't have an interest in the types of holiday they don't do, because you know if you if you're the sort of person who works, it, it, you know every day you come home and you're exhausted, and you just dream of one day not having to go to work, doing for for two weeks a year, just being able to lay there and not doing it. Might be great for you if you if you've got a if you got a personality where you like to recover a lot and you feel like overworked, that can be great. If you've got the sort of personality where you're like you only live once, you got to get the most life in you can, then going bungee jumping off a bridge might be real good. And if you've got the sort of you know, if your priority is like cultural experiences, like you want to be richer as a person, then going to museums and libraries and and uh, you know like temples and and uh, experiencing food in a different culture and language that might be for you i i think like i used to think that just everything was you know like whenever you go somewhere new that's traveling and it's all the same thing or like it's always the same unless you're unless you're doing it like in a in a real way and you, you you're experiencing like the locals are but the truth is there's just i think three different categories travel agent toy cat <laughs> you know would you like to buy a holiday to orlando cassie I, uh, I hear the weather's real good there. I actually, I, 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 people who live in Florida for the weather don't understand them. They don't. They've never heard of the term humidity, and by the time they do find out, it's too late, and they're too embarrassed to admit they've made a mistake. That's the only reason I can conclude people live in Florida. No offense, <laughs> person living in Florida. Um, I love Alton Towers, says KD. Oh, I love Alton Towers too. I uh, actually, you know, I don't know, I. I think I I like Alton Towers a lot, but I I always feel a little bit like I know the way I want fast passes to work is like oh yeah pay us a tiny bit more money and now you wait in fewer lines, uh, but also no one else has it you know and uh, so I I think like Disney system where you get a certain number of free fast passes then you pay for more makes you like it gives you like a taste of this lets you know what you're getting in for before you do it. I feel like on Towers is like, yeah, give us like 400 pounds and then you can skip some lines. It's like, well, it's not worth that much to me. But also, I don't know, it's, it's, it's a fun thing. Speaking of fun things, um, I, I live there for weather because it rained all the time and I'm from Arizona where it's dry. Hurricane party, let's go. That's interesting to imagine that you're like, yeah, I want it wet. I lived in a desert 
And now I want to live somewhere where it's not a desert. I think the uh, I think the term for the the whole like south part of the U.S. is the Sun Belt. Like it's just it's very sunny over there. Um, I uh, we get fast pass to free due to the kids not being able to queue. Oh man, that's that sounds like what I need. Is there a way I can like rent your children for a wait? Renting your children sounds. Can it, does it, does it, is anyone here get get free priority access at theme parks? And would you would you be in on a scheme where I paid for you to go to a theme park and for us both to go to the front of the line? Because I I think I got a little secret. My my goal for vacations is to see all of the animals. Says uh, Doctor Jedi Partisan. Honestly, you know I I like playing Pokemon Snap in real life too. I love to play Pokemon, real real life Pokemon Snap. It's it's the dream, right? That's what you want to be doing. Um, but yeah, I, I, we've, we've all got our own ways of, like, doing holidays. Because everyone has their own... You know, like, uh, I, I think I think about this a lot. But really, the, the benefit of having, like, time off and, like, stuff like that is it gives you, like, time to, like, reflect on... So much of your day-to-day -day life has to basically just be um, getting from day to day, surviving, doing the stuff you already know. Like, you don't have time to come up with a new, you know, like, workout routine. you just, like, waking up is such a hassle. Getting to where you need to be is a hassle. Doing the stuff you've got to do there. It can be, like, really draining just to do the bare minimum that's expected from you sometimes. Because the world expects from you so much. Like, you, you know, like, uh, it's... A lot of people try to pretend this is, like, the, the work of some evil deity or some evil... You know, uh, you know, rich rich man who is they they give the power of a deity because we we need to have someone to all collectively hate and that's the people they choose. Um, but it's like you know, in in reality, it's like yeah, no, actually, just we all deem electricity to be a standard basic for human life, and then at the same time, we have very expensive electricity. You know, it it takes like you know, it takes some number of hours a week just to earn the money to pay that bill. We also all like to have somewhere private, and so uh, paying money to to have a dwelling in which you can live privately without outside interference. Like the cost for these things just kind of kind of stack up, right? Um, the only Disney anything I would do again is Epcot because of E. coli. Wait, what did I just read? Um, because my golf cart accident battery acid acid burns on my foot. Man, if you have a golf cart. I need to, you know, I will, I will let you know if I'm ever near Orlando. I would love to, I want to ride in someone's golf cart. You, you clearly have enough land to have a golf cart and that is exciting to me. I, you, you know, let me, let me know if I'm ever in Florida. Just, just, just tell, just tell me you have a golf cart and I'll, I'll be wherever you are in no time. Um, if that's true, I live in the cheese belt, says James Weston. <laughs> I... What I don't understand is, like, those places are known for their cheese, but as an outsider to the US, like, I've heard of the sun and, you know, like, the south of the country. I've heard of... But I've never heard of, like, Wisconsin cheese. Like, I, I hear about it because Americans make fun of it. I've never seen... Like, I've, like, I've never heard of a cheese in a real place. i not American. No offense. You, you don't live in the real world. Uh, I've just never heard of that being made from cheese. Oh, man. The golf cart is in Arizona. Okay, just give me give me a copy of your house key. And I, I I live near Arizona anyway, so I'll uh, I'll go get it in the next couple weeks. Also, two homes, Cassie Kaiser, living the life, living the life. Um, I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you. Um, I try not to think about cheese. This stream isn't doing me any favors. Oh, cheese is good. If you're not thinking about it, you're not doing yourself any favors. That's what I would say. Why, why are you doing yourself such a disservice by not thinking about cheese? What did cheese ever do to you? I ask you. Um, yeah, I, uh, I think, um, I think that we have a cheese factory in Oregon that's extremely popular tourist attraction, Tillamook. Isn't Tillamook an ice cream company? Am I, am I imagining that? Nah, probably not. Um, but no, yeah, cheese is great. You, you just haven't had the right cheese, Trev. You just haven't had the right cheese. Um, like, no, I, I used to think, like, cheese is pretty... Like, I, cheese was like a kid snack to me, just eating a block of cheese. And then one day I had a blue cheeseburger. And it revolu... I was like, oh, the blue cheese is hitting so good. And I, I realized, like, oh, cheese is not just this cheap... Like, because, you know, like... 
the, there's some things where you just don't like the cheap version of it. There's some things where you don't like the expensive version. Like I, I love cheap mac and cheese. It's great. But um, there are lots of things where the cheap version gets so diluted and becomes such a poor representation of the thing that you don't even realize. Like, oh, yeah, it's amazing. Like, you know, ice cream is amazing if you have good ice cream. If you have bad ice cream, it's just frozen dairy dessert. Um... And so, you know, if you like some people love frozen dairy dessert and some people prefer ice cream. But if you think that frozen dairy dessert is ice cream, you might assume that you hate it. Um, I don't know, same way you might be like, it, I think generalizations as a whole are really tricky, but they're really tricky in a world where we're all under-informed and don't know we're under-informed. Because, you know, how can you? There's so many things that I think I know that I don't know. I'm, I'm just wrong about. You always got to question whether you truly know something, because what does it mean to know something anyway? Like once, once you really start to dive into that question, like what? How do you? How can you ever be sure? You know. Also, oh, this is like behind where I need to be. Oops. Um. So yeah, my saplings are now running the show for a bit. I really don't need the saplings. We'll just look at this. So we just throw saplings in there, and then the saplings get me bricks, and then the bricks get me brick blocks. I'll take a stack above of each of these just to keep the furnaces running. And make some bricks. Um, I'm going to throw... So the, the last blocks of these is where I'm going to put my wood. I might accidentally make charcoal, but I'm, I'm hoping I don't. Just move all of that up there. And I'll make a big old box of oak blocks. Okay, just take, take some time, but we'll get it done. We are slowly but surely getting the oaks that we deserve, internet. And I'm very, very proud of myself. And then, um... I... I think that, uh... Chat is like a green screen today. Is chat, is chat invisible? Or is it, is it very visible? I, I don't, I don't quite get that one. Um... And now we put our birch logs here. Perfect. Okay, so by the time we're done with this, we'll have a whole box full of bricks, and then a whole bunch of this. Also, thank you very much, um, KD, favorite cheese and why? Honestly, okay, I I like any super soft cheese, but brie, like a real good brie is just the, the stuff. I, uh, I want to try some fondue, I think I'm going to do that soon. Um, but as far as just, uh, I, th I think like... I, I really, 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 really love, um, I, I love a brie if I'm like, if I'm, if I'm but if, 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 if it's like an additional flavor, if it's like going in a burger or a wrap or something, I just like, I like, you know, like, uh, mozzarella with a little bit of spice added. Like mozzarella just tastes so good. Like the stringiness of mozzarella is one of the best experiences in the world. Not one of the best flavors, one of the best experiences that exists. I just... I'm getting, I'm getting, getting very excited thinking about it right now. It's a, it's a real problem. Speaking of real problems, um, I, uh, and now I'm hungry. Should I do the thing where I get you hungry, chat? I feel like I do this by accident a lot. I just, I love food. I love talking about food. It's the, the second best thing after eating food is talking about food. Um, I miss Brie and Carambeer. <laughs> uh, Carambeer. I never say Karambeer just because it, sound, it sounds so pretentious no matter how you say Karambeer. Um, it's a shame. It's a real shame. Um, I'm uh, already hungry. Do your worst, says Preems. So if you're already hungry, I find your your hunger shifts from being diverse to being like just something big and filling. Like, you know, imagine like a whole pizza, like a fresh one in the box, and then you're pulling away a slice and the cheese is coming with it, you know, like a... It's like that type of doughy. Or oh, imagine there's like cheese in the crust too. Imagine it's uh, it's covered in your favorite toppings. Oh, imagine you know, my favorite toppings. Sorry, you know what? I'm I'm pay I'm paying for the pizza. It's getting my toppings. It's covered in it's covered in that like uh that like taco mince style thing. Yeah, love that. It's covered in it's covered in some uh, some pepperoni. Got to get some of that on there. Uh, get 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 some sausage too. I love the sausage they put on pizzas. Real good stuff overall. Um, then I, I, you know, I, I feel like, uh, you know, after that, more pepperoni, and then after that, some mushrooms, a little bit of ham, or oh, yeah, I've got to get some ham on that pizza, um, 
And then you, got, you put some onions on there too, and you're like, well, the onions basically make it healthy. And then sometimes I'll go with peppers, and sometimes I'll put like some jalapenos or some sweet corn on there. Um, but yeah, that's 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 the pizza I want. But yeah, when I'm hungry, I get like I just get cravings for like something like a wrap or a burger or something. Like I I don't want complicated. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in that pizza. I um I'm so glad we're talking about cheese and not incest today, says KD. I didn't realize how uncomfortable incest made people. Like, it's like, I don't like the idea of being murdered, but I can picture murder just fine. But there are people who are like, no, I don't want to even hear about murder because then I'll start thinking about killing my sister after we... <laughs> I'm not going to make that joke. But, um, you know, like, it's... Uh, the, the truth is that people find it uncomfortable, which tells me, okay, you know, this is my hot take theory. I think that everyone, because I've never had a sister, you know, I've never had a opposite gender sibling. I reckon everyone has some weird thing going on where they thought about it and then had to be like, oh no, that's gross. And then when someone else brings it up, they're like, oh no, stop making me think about it. Like, I don't get uncomfortable thinking about like, also if Toy Cat is yes and cheese is yes, then is ca yes, cat cheese and yes, yes. Yes, cat, you, that, I agree 100%. That is a good point you are raising and I understand. Um, I, I think that people are like, yeah, I, you know, they clearly have something going on inside themselves that makes them so deeply uncomfortable. And that's concerning. That's really concerning. You should speak to a, a licensed therapist about that one. Um, but, um, yeah, I, uh, I, I, I know it's like, you can, you can make a joke about like, oh yeah, imagine like eating vomit or something. And I'm not going to be like, I must picture eating vomit right now. You know, like, uh. I, I, this is, this, I, okay, maybe, maybe I have, like, a, I've heard this is, like, some people have very visual brains, but if you say something to me, like, um, you know, like, some people are, like, oh, if I'm eating chocolate, please don't talk about poop. It's, like, I can eat chocolate and talk about, let's get some chocolate, actually. Give me a, give me a minute. I, I definitely have some chocolate somewhere. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Let, let me, let me find some chocolate. One sec, one sec, chat. Um... And then we're going to talk about poop, okay? And I'm not going to be picturing the chocolate. Oh, look at this. What do I have? A couple of Thin Mints. Oh, it's it's made of chocolatey. Mmm. Speaking of chocolatey, I've had this real problem with my bowels recently. So I often have, like, this IBS, which causes my bowel movements to be very, you know, like, sludgy. But they've been, like, especially, like, concentrated. So you'll see it, like, it starts as, like, a snake on one end. And it looks like a bush on the other. And that's like a concern that I've had. Is it after eight uh, there, says uh, Dilated Dante? These are suspiciously like after eights, honestly. IBS toy cat. There's a good joke, DSDRN. I should make that joke more often. Mmm. So good, by the way. I love mint, mint chocolate. It's like, a, it just works, right? Honestly, the first person to, like, discover mint must have been like, oh, this is, like, a vaguely fresh feeling afterwards. There's, like, redefined humanity. Hey! Darren, thank you so much for the gifted channel members. Appreciate it. Hope you're doing wonderfully yourself. Um, do do do. It's interesting because sometimes it shows up as, like, a bunch of individual notifications and sometimes it's, like, one big one on the list. It's very bizarre. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, Darren Hughes. Uh, I hope you're having a wonderful time. Do, 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 do,
That's so good. Do 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 do. I can't believe that topic got you 10 more members as Dasher. Maybe he gifted the members as like a... Please stop. If this makes it go away, this will be worth it to me. Okay, so now we got the wood that we need. I don't know if this is enough wood necessarily, but it's enough to make a start, I imagine. Do 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 do. Okay, so that now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take all of my do 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 do. Okay, I'm gonna get ready to move all of this over to where I'm making the ocean. So we want to ideally keep the do 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 do. We'll move that out there and put some oak saplings in its place. Do 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 do. Then we're gonna make all of this into bricks. Okay, my 53 bricks. Watch this chat. It's become oh a hundred something bricks. I can make a 10 by 10 house now. Do 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 do. Okay, then we're going to put some more birch saplings in here, because they're clearly fueling the furnace just great. And then we're going to put all of our oak into this. We now have all the oak you can imagine. And then a little bit of birch in here. We'll have to do something with the birch later. It's clearly got some high potential. Um, and then while we start placing the bricks, we'll have all of this with us to help us. So now we just wait until... The furnaces are both running on saplings, and it'll be all good. Oh, I love these. I forgot how much I enjoyed them. Girl Parks of Toy Cat jo uh, joining the channel. You get to hear Toy Cat singing. Thank you, by the way, for the 20 people who have joined today. So did the number go up? Oh, it didn't. Oh, the member count is broken. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> There's a member goal, but it hasn't been working. I'm sorry about that. You deserve better, Internet. You, you deserve better, and I'll make sure you never get it. Okay, what? I can't even see where this is. Okay, member girl, there it is. Okay, so let's just remove that. Well, that was fun. But now I'm floating above nothing, so now I have to move myself. Do, do. Okay. We deserve better, he says. You know what? That's what you've always got to say to people, so that they do... So you can do whatever you can to make sure they do, in fact, not get better. So I need s two spaces for the furnaces and the hoppers, and two spaces for the shocker boxes. But then I'll also need spaces for all this clay. So we're gonna have to now break these. <laughs> oh, Christ. Um, and we gonna dump all the clay in there. Oh, we didn't get for enough clay to actually... Oh yeah, that's a big problem. Oh, yeah, no, it's fine. We just about... No, yeah, okay. We have to wait until... Uh, we'll just put one bucket in there. Just one, one big batch. And then we can take out the empty buckets. Because these are going to take up slots. Um, I have an inventory crisis right now, chat. What do you reckon I do to deal with it? I can... Yeah, I, I could leave this all here, but I kind of need to bring as much of it as I can. Okay, we turn our planks into sticks. Also not gonna help. I'll just put some away in my shocker box for now. Okay, that's all my fuel. Can go in here. Cause I'm gonna use it later anyway. And then these leaves can go on the ground. I'll just place them where this used to be as a reminder. <laughs> and then, yeah, that's about as good as we can do. Oh, well, we've still got these are full. Wait, how did how did clay even get in there? I guess that must have been. So we have to put the clay, the spare clay, in here. Oopsie. And then, yeah, there we go. I'm ready. I'm ready to move it now, chat. We just kind of wasted one of these furnaces, but it's, let's say okay. Block the clay. Um. So now we just mine it all and see where it all goes. 
Oh yeah, just just ignore all of that. Oh, that's some good XP we got there. Hmm, eight levels. And then the perfectly, we've got the right number of slots left. We are good. This beacon's gonna have to move, but I'll probably be back here, honestly. If I if I don't come back here, remind me at the end of the stream I left my beacon, because I will not remember. Okay, and now, I haven't, I haven't deforested enough for this to be a big reveal. So, but just for fun, Let's do it anyway. Okay, look at this chat. So here is the... Okay, this is all gonna update all at once. This is a big satisfying thing. You ready for this internet? Oh yeah, wiped it out, all in one second. Love that. This this is why maps are beautiful. Uh, okay, now let's fly away. Let's go be wonderful on the other side of the world. Nice. I It's... There are a few moments that satisfying in Minecraft. I enjoy them when they exist. What did the XP taste like? It tasted like Mountain Dew. If you think about it, everything either does or doesn't taste like Mountain Dew. The whole world can be categorized as just two things. Things that do taste like Mountain Dew and things that don't taste like Mountain Dew. Every single food, every single thing that has a taste, can be fitted directly into those two groups. And isn't that beautiful? Love the videos, you've inspired my builds a lot, says the Jinzo. I hope I get to see them one 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 time for Realm Review. That'd be fun. I wonder if I taste like Mountain Dew. You'd have to get someone who tastes Mountain Dew to find out. Um, I, um... Getting mentally ready to bathe in Mountain Dew. <laughs> you know, that that is what I am doing. It's true. Um It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a good day. Um it's gonna it's gonna look very weird me at the store of just a shopping cart full of Mountain Dew, but sometimes you make the sacrifices you've gotta make. And it's totally worth it. Also I think I'm gonna now put this map back on the I need like a space for this all. I'll put I'll put these in the item frames. I'll put these in the chest for now. Gotta remember that. So, no, you know I, I, I can't. I'll, I'll forget about these. So over here goes my coal shulker box. We'll probably do it on the other side. Of the, you know, right right here is fine. As long as I'm within like sixty four blocks or whatever. Yeah, and I think I can be. Also, a tax. Vegas will miss you, alien. Hey, Coco, cool, cool. are you from the Vegas area? I'm I'm sorry to tell you. I'm sorry on your behalf, therefore, that I'm gone. Uh, thank you for missing me. Um, we'll put one here. Uh, we'll just put one over there. And now we're, we're good to go. Okay, furnaces time. You know, do, do furnace, do hoppers work when they're waterlogged? There's no good reason why they shouldn't. But I feel like Minecraft is a game be defined as there's no good reason why this is it just is sometimes so now we're gonna put a these in there just to see if it works from the front it does that's interesting didn't realize you could fuel these from the back I've, I've done it for the side for so long i just never even considered that that's not a requirement and now we're cooking up ourselves some clay then we put two hoppers at the top over here and then on top of these we put our big shulker boxes so yeah with the the amount of clay that we have versus what we can smelt. I, d I didn't realize how slow clay smelting would be. Every every 32 seconds, we get a new brick block. So it's like it's like playing a, a really slow mobile game. Mmm. You know, stop eating these. They're good. Really good. Like mint flavored things when they're cold, even better. The future, I tell ya. Okay, now we're going to put some clay straight into the hopper. And then we're going to put some lava buckets straight into these. We've only got a couple, so we really need to fuel those up. Now we use our crafting table. So we, we, we've got a lot of wood, right? We've got like too much wood. Whereas our brick supply is very, very low. So we're going to see how much brick we have now. And we're going to start by like building a house. 
and then kind of just expanding it as we go so that we never like get to a point where the project is unfinished. So at 256, that's going to be the middle two blocks of this house. Um, yeah, 256. So I'm going to need to place a big row of blocks to get out here, actually. Just keep on placing. And then I'm going to make a new map as soon as I'm anywhere close to that. Okay, so the bricks will eventually go. I know I just said these are so important and I'm using them literally as stepping stones, but that's okay. Um, okay, so you see, I did the task to do the task to do the task to do the task chat. But look, now I'm here and it's all coming together. Oh, I don't know. I made a map, but I don't, I don't have a space for it. Okay, so... Wait, what did I just do? Oh, that's my other, other map. Um, 331, that's the one. Okay, so as you can see, I'm now just about where I want to be for the start of this. Yeah, this, this looks like the middle of the map to me, I would say. And we're going to kind of start with a little bit of a division so that there's something below the house. Um, yeah, I'd say right here is a good start. And so now this is 256 and 257. I'll break this away from the rest. Just so there's a clear line there. These are now the two blocks that represent the start, which means this is now a square in the middle of the map left to right. Um, okay, and then we, we expand it an extra block in every direction. And look, now it's a four block wide house, but we can go further chat. Oh, yeah, we can. Yeah. Look at how it's now a six block wide house. It's so much bigger than the other house. That house looks tiny by comparison to this one. We'll go, we'll go a little bit wider. One, and then two. And then let's do this. So now we now we've got like a solidly definable house that oh wait you can't you can't see it because my head is right here. Uh I'll move over to the right again. <laughs> uh oh Christ, I can't do that. Okay, I'll move I'll move way over to the left. You can pretend I'm not here, internet. Okay, so um probably gotta move slightly further down though. Okay, so as you can see, it looks amazing. And uh, honestly, I think we're good at this point. Thank you very much for watching today's live stream. I hope you enjoyed. it. <laughs> um, I do have to leave to eat at some point in the not so distant future, but that point is not now. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this map somewhere special. Because this is map 331 and it represents special things. Okay, so this is this is progress map one. Oh wait, this it's in my offhand. It's annoying the offhand slot isn't accessible when you're trying to go into chests. 331. Yeah, progress. You love the progress? Get your beacon. <laughs> um then grab some clay and put it in here. Just so we we're not smelting blocks by accident. So we're gonna see how much extra brick we got. Apparently 51. Okay, so we are we are making some real brick progress. And now um, we're gonna re-pick this up, put it in my inventory, and let's let's go over and work on this some more. Okay, so now we're gonna make another map, and we're gonna we're gonna do some some real progress this time, like our first big batch, right? Um. If it was about to accidentally throw the map in the furnace, I got scared. <laughs> you know, I care. Also, whoa, look at this. Why is this block like this? What is wrong with this block of water? Will it change if I mine that? Hmm. Have I done something special? Why is it different? <laughs> what is what is the reasoning behind this block? Um. Okay, so map three thirty two. I, uh, man, this is, this is so, so curious to me. Oh, it's within, if you look at this area on the map, it's like crisscross patterned, but you don't see that in real life, unless you mine enough of these blocks. Oh, wow, what have I, what am I, what, why, what have, why, why is it always going to be visible there now? 
What am I what am I discovering by accident? Because I don't like it. Biome change? A biome change from block to block? Is this is this a is this a free free block wide biome? <laughs> uh, I don't even what 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 am I meant to Okay. Let's let's do this. So okay, now we're gonna make this uh, house just a little bit bigger. So we'll go two layers at a time now. So that's two on the out. Oh, we'll go three at a time on the outside, which means six on this by making it a nice odd number. We ensure. Okay, this is three. I think this is four. This is five. This is six. I think I got that right. We'd have to check it later. And then we do another three layers over here. And we'll see what this has created. Honestly, you can see how the house is coming together, but you can also see how this is going to have used every brick that we have. Because I think that was just about all of it, right? Yeah, I've now got 39 more slabs. So I could do like one more layer around the outside. Um, hopefully we can pick up some more of these. Hopefully we can make some more. But uh, yeah, it looks real bad. Looks pretty bad. My guess is some bizarre lighting bug. Turn it off and on against this KD. Ah, you're learning. You're learning tech support. That's. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad to see. Yeah, we 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 got at least enough for some more bricks. So let's make 22 more bricks, which makes us 48 more slabs. Okay, so I'm gonna jump up here, and then from here I'm gonna. I just want to jump over the wall. It it feels like I should. But yet I cannot. Um, so, bricks are hot, making the ocean warm in that one particular spot. You know what? No doubt, Grail fan, thank you. That is a more reasonable theory. Yeah, I, I think there is something to do with biomes that happened that just... I don't quite understand. And it's okay that I don't understand it. Um, so here we have it. This is the most we can get from the blocks we've got. All of this video so far has resulted in... Wait, have I got another stack? i got 31 more. Okay, I could make a house this big. It would be a very tiny house fire. But it would be a house fire. You know, we could we could definitely do one more, right? Like One over here. Oh no, we, we literally cannot. We literally could not. I am going to run out of blocks. Okay, so yeah, the the if I want to build this on a mass scale, I have to wait overnight for all of these bricks to smelt. I think. Um, not sounding great, right? It lost its source block in those places. Do you think that's it? This is non-source block water. Do 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 do. So yeah, we just sit here and we enjoy. The sheep. Why is it so small? <laughs> do, 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 Brick slab biome, obviously. Honestly, that's what it will look like when we're done, if we do this correctly. So, this, this can be made a lot bigger, but the cost to doing so is gonna get exponentially more, I think. So I'm gonna take all these brick slabs, because they're just here anyway, I'm gonna use them as well. Thank you so much, by the way, uh, uh, Dazed and Confused Sean, for gifting some memberships. Hope people appreciate the gifts. Hope it's a, uh, hope it's something that, uh, still makes people feel good. on all the membership stuff. Dude. Also, look, I, I didn't make any more of them. That was the end. It was only the first patch that did it. Um, so, Kat, you can come out of your corner now. No one's gonna hurt you. You know, I, I like it here in this corner. I, I can hide really easily. Why is my chair not green screen correctly? Got a green chair for a reason. Uh, doesn't even doesn't even work the way I want it to. Okay, so now we 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 grab the extra bricks. We see if we can get these these two layers done from those, and then we get as far as we humanly can without the waiting game. I guess all we have to do is actually just add more furnaces, right? Okay, so two buckets, thirty-eight. That is enough for nine bricks, which is enough for eighteen slabs should hopefully just about do what I'm going for. But otherwise, yeah, we are now at the point where we are... We have to start pounding these bricks out manually. 
Okay, so finish this little corner. Leaves leaves the space to be desired. And then two layers this way. Can I do two full layers? Let's find out. No. Okay, so we want, I want to have this house a lot bigger. I think it goes without saying. I think at this size, it still would show a point, but it'd be a waste of the whole map space to do so. Um, and I definitely can get the bricks that I need for what I'm doing. It's just going to take a lot of this. I mean, a grilled cheese sandwich for lunch. Cheese talk. Man, grilled cheese is so good. Do you know what's called in the UK internet? We call it a toasty. Isn't that a fun fact? You can learn more fun facts by saying subscribed to the IBX Toy Cat YouTube channel. The best place for British fun. Okay, so that's map 332. And we'll just, we'll, we'll do something with all of these later. But now I, I really like this tiny little house here. Definitely gonna have to do something with that at some point. Okay, so we're gonna take as much clay as I can. We'll take like four stacks from here. And four stacks from here. And we're gonna go back with it. And we're gonna see what we can accomplish. Also, I'm gonna put this, these uh, leaves away. Also, maybe some extra lava would be good. So, um, cheese makes you weak. Honestly, the weird thing about cheese is most people are intolerant towards it. I wonder what it is about it that makes it so good towards humans. Like, I've heard scientists have actually done studies trying to find this out. And their best theories are like, yeah, we really like the texture, the mouthfeel, the fat distribution. <clears throat> I know, it's, it's really interesting, like, we're really good, um, like, all good food now basically simulates what would be the perfect meal for, like, a caveman version of you, which is fun to imagine. Okay, so, like, you know, if you're, if you're a caveman and you find, like, a bunch of berries, you know, that taste a little bit like mint in the forest, you'd be like, oh yeah, got me some mint berries, um, your life would get amazing all of a sudden. Okay, we're just going to start running all the furnaces we humanly can. That means taking... Does this have mending on yet? It doesn't have mending on. I need to get mending on two of my tools. Chat, you want to go on a little bit of a diversion? Diversion time, anyone? Who's ready for a diversion? I'm ready for a diversion. Grab all of that out. And all of this. Ooh, and also... Probably start running that with, with lava. Or we could switch out to coal, because we got so many coal blocks and no lava right now. Grab a full stack. Place, we just, we just start bringing stacks of this wherever we go. I think that's what we need. We'll take a couple stacks of this. And then we can just stack of coal, get the clay running. Stack of coal, get the clay running. Just we want <clears throat> to max this out, basically. I also have this, which is still going to be permanently running. Giving me a not insignificant supply too. And then, um, yeah, just every furnace. Max it with clay. So this this is how you, this is how we're going to smelt just a little bit faster. You know, when, when you run out, it's always important to re-up. Okay, up here is copper. Up here is copper. But not for, oh, I'm actually all out, so. Now we take all of the copper, which is sort of messed with us for a while. And we put this away, somewhere polite. Um, I, I think, I think everyone has, like, it's weird. One of the interesting things about, like, nutrition is how there's some foods that are liked by the most people, but we all have, like, our own individual tastes. And if you think about, like, how pretty uniform we are as a species in so many other ways, like, we all agree, um, pretty universally, right? Um, also, thank you so much for, uh, for gifting a membership to you, Hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, I, but I, I wonder about, um, for the calendar, you know, did I, did I miss something? Uh, is there, what's, what's, what, what is for the calendar, you know? Do it for the calendar. I, I agree with that. Um, I don't know what it means, but I agree with it, damn it. <laughs> Have you watched Doctor Who? And who's the best doctor in Doctor Who? Says drunkly. I'm 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 sorry to hear that you're so drunk all the time. The wife calendar. 
Oh, so we have a wife for every day of the year? Question mark. No idea. No idea what the, what, what that is, but I'm entirely on board. Okay, so um, yeah, I uh, I I I really I I used to watch Doctor Who a lot. I like the like Doctor Who has a lot of really good recurring villains, right? Because they they're really good at making X number of villains, but not too many more. Like the Cybermen or the the Daleks are always that they're, they're always interesting every time they come up. But then because they reuse them so often that it becomes a trope, it becomes like, oh no, we gotta hide that it's coming. I'm not, I'm never, I'm, I'm not such a big fan of that. Um, but yeah, I, uh, fa thank you very much, Josh Jones. Uh, the also wait, no, thank you, um, it was, uh, Alana saying you watch many shows, whereas Josh Jones just gifted a membership and it went to Everett Lewis. Long time fan of the channel, I'm glad, glad someone, uh, got it who, who will appreciate it and cherish it. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I, am I watching any shows? I, I want to watch, um, I really liked Into the Night. It's this show about if the sun killed everyone. Uh, there's apparently, like, a Turkish spin-off, and I was like, I wasn't going to watch it, but I've been missing Into the Night for long enough, I think I might. You ever get that where you miss a show for so long that you're just like, fine, I'll watch the bad version, just so I can have a version. <clears throat> maybe that's, uh, maybe, maybe that's not what most people end up doing. But you know what? I'm, I'm watching the cheap substitution for a show that I really enjoyed. Um, if you can fault me for that, you probably should. Um, I think I'm gonna now load up this furnace with a lava bucket, and then this furnace with a bunch of coal. And I kind of switch them over, basically. Then this one, take the bucket out, put the lava in, and now let's fill the rest of these Buckets up with lava too, um, but yeah, no, I, uh, I, 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 I've been watching something, but I can't tell you what it is. A lot of podcasts and playing a lot of Netflix, honestly. That's my secret toy cat. I'm always drunk, says uh, drunkly. I just realized, you know, first of all, that's. Uh, I hope that's a good reference. But if it's not, I, um, you know, you're Australian. I think it's assumed that everyone in Australia is just permanently drunk. Like, first of all, how? Why would you be there if that wasn't the case? Also, apparently this doesn't run while I'm underground, or it is running. Maybe it's source blocks only, and that's why this isn't working. Oh, it is source blocks only, isn't it? Yeah, that's why this isn't working. I need to put a lot of lava sources up there. But to get a lot of lava sources, I'd have to, like, do some things. Which I definitely should do, but, like, I burn a lot of things down when I do that, so we're just not going to. Okay, so... Um... I guess we'll stick with my miniature lava farm. I usually like a nice big lava farm, but I'll, I'll take a tiny one for now. Okay, so, yeah, it looks nice. I feel like there must be some missing blocks in here somewhere. Like, this corner can't be a lava source, right? Can it be? Let's find out. Okay, so, why is it that it's slightly slanted, then? You know, I, I never can quite understand lava physics. And this is one of the reasons why. Okay, so this shulker box is filled with more clay. Jesus, okay. So I've got all the clay in the world to smelt up. I just need furnaces to do it. And that is a predicament I can at least handle. So this furnace has just coal. Now it's got just lava. This is the furnace I put the thing in, so that needs to be remaxed. And this needs a stack as well. Okay, so we're going absolutely wild on our our quest to get the most uh, stuff done here, and I'm hoping it pays off. Okay, how many how many bricks have we got now? After all of that chat, we have ourselves precisely or oh, eighty five bricks. <laughs> so many, so many. So we'll go back through again. Um, make sure we grab some clay to replace stuff with. Uh, also put away my thing. Can you hum the Doctor Who theme lol says Drunk Lily? Okay, wait, because you're drunk all the time, i got to do that in your actual voice. Can you uh, hum the Doctor Who voice, please? Yeah. Hope that hits your... the exact thing you were hoping for there. If not... Then I'm sorry. No, I um. 
Okay, you're welcome. Your streams are really useful for sleeping. Scream music. What you need is a toy cat stream. I'm never quite sure how I'm meant to feel about. A, a fair few people do say that they like they like talking as they're sleeping. And they're like, you talk so much, toy cat. I um, I always think it's one of the fun criticisms I get is like you talk too much. It's like, would you rather me talk too little? I don't think so. Uh, so we don't have mending on this. We need to actually have a mending tool out. We've got mending on this shovel at least, so. Let's repair it. Throw in some more clay. Yes, we shall. Throw in some more clay and some more coal for this one. Okay, so the good news is by running 15 furnaces instead of two, we're getting a lot more done. The bad news is, do I even want to get more done? <clears throat> also, yeah, it's, it's a ton of experience. This... Maybe I should just have like an auto smelter sit next to my... That might be the idea. I've uh, seen commentary channels be told they talk too much. People are idiots. Yeah, people... I think everyone has a level they're comfortable with. But not everyone realizes that their level is not the same as the world's level. And that's a really hard thing to realize, that the world isn't you. Like, you know, I really like cheese, but not everyone does. That's hard to think about when you think about how great cheese is. And it's like, but how could they not? What, what, what is wrong in their lives? Did someone hurt them as a child or something? Okay, so we've got like three stacks of bricks, basically. A um, little bit more than three stacks of bricks. Let's see how many slabs that converts to. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Five and a half slabs. Okay, so now we can make some real big progress, I think. Why, um, I'll just use YouTube as a means to sleep. I'll start one of your streams and then put a video about Stalin as early, isn't it, or something? <laughs> um, I used to only sleep to Toy Cat live streams in college. You know what? It's me, the person who keeps you all asleep. I, uh, just remember, I am the sleep god. I have the ability to give, but I can also take away. So keep that in mind. <laughs> I am glad people like it. I find it personally super hard to cope with the fact that Toy Cat doesn't like beer. You know, what? there's no way you're a real person who likes beer. That's they—they they don't exist. People who like beer are the sorts of people who are like, yeah, my hobbies include. See, this this is the opposite. You know, what? my hobbies include uh, watching the sport. I don't like to do any sport. I just like to watch it. That's my favorite hobby. Is I just. When that's, I don't do other things as well as, no, 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 that, that is the entirety of the hobby. Hope, sorry I didn't, sorry if I confused you by implying that maybe I did also do things as well as that. But no, the hobby is, just to be clear here, I, I watch the sport solely. I don't, I do not do the sport. Okay, so we got seven more bricks, which is an uneven number, but that's okay. Twelve more slabs, now let's go crazy. Um, I seem to be watching Minecraft instead of playing Minecraft. That's the hobby. <laughs> Honestly, though, I, um, I think, uh, I think the only reason with sport is crazy is because, like, I, I, I think with any hobby, the, the most intense way to be onto it can never be done by you as an individual because you don't have access to the things to be at that top level. Like, the, the next level of the hobby is always going to be someone above you, right? Like, if you're really into... Um, maybe that's just one layer. Now we do another layer. If you're really into pizza, you can't try the best pizza in the world. It's all the way in, you know, New York, Italy, wherever the heck pizza comes from. Um, pretty sure it's New York. I uh, here's how, here, This is how you can get, like, active, actual, like... Real, real people mad is just be like, oh yeah, pizza. That's like that New York delicacy, right? It was invented there in the uh, 19th century. Um, I, uh, y'all are weird. I love beer. It tastes like hops. It tastes like hops. Do you know what real drinks taste like? They taste like things that are delicious. Hops are only used to make beer because no one would eat hops otherwise. It's like being like, you know what my favorite thing is? See, this is the thing, I literally, you can't understand that I don't like beer. I can't understand that you do. I, 
I have genuine difficulty being like, is this... This is all people who enjoy the social context around it, right? Like, they don't enjoy the beverage itself. It tastes terrible. Um, louder for the people in the back. It just... Like, it's one of those things. I... I find that hard to understand your perspective on it. As the same... Hops are in the same family as hemp and marijuana. Yeah, you ever consider how we don't eat hemp and marijuana? Because it's bad. It's real bad is what it is. No, I, um... I drank beer when I was a 14-year-old, like everyone else. And then I realized this is... This is not for me. Um... Okay, so now I'm going to do two at a time. This is a really inefficient way to bridge. But I'm going to have fun with it anyway. And, um... I eat marijuanas from time to time. You know, that's that's A-OK, -okay, some would say. Others would disagree with you, obviously. Um, I'm already drunk, I'm just missing words. You know what, what time is it in the day there? I feel like it's morning in Australia. Explain your joke, I'm gonna take one vodka for work. Works in like two hours, so I'll be all right. Okay, so here's what I like to call Toy Cat's irresponsible phase, where I say, no, 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 not one, two. You don't, you're not, um, no one, you don't, don't weak out of this by doing a little partial one. Make sure you have a fun time at work today. You, you're not, two, two's not gonna be enough that you're gonna get fired or anything. No one's gonna notice. But, but make a socially irresponsible decision so that I can enjoy it. That's all I ask for you. Go big or go home. Exactly, KD. You know, if you're gonna, I'm glad, I, I'm 24, never drink beer or any alcohol at any point. What, Matt, wine is better than beer. I, uh, I've never, I've never really, uh, like, wine is something I can at least understand, like, at least supposedly has flavors. At least there is a theory that there is some flavor to be had. I don't know. That's just what, also, wow, we used the whole three stacks of bricks, and it still looks like this. I'm gonna need so much more clay, aren't I? Yeah, this is gonna take some time. Um, it's TC, so I have my drive test coming tomorrow, and I was watching tests, and yours came up, haha. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. I found it fun. Um, I Apparently I found it too fun. People are like, you can't have fun and also learn things, Toy Cat. I can't believe you would attempt to do both those things. I, I wasn't even trying to learn things. I was like trying to show some point about like, oh yeah, did you know as soon as you're done with it, you don't need to be a high quality driver anymore. Um, and that is my proof. Um, like I, I, obviously anyone wants to be the best they can be, but I, I, I know it. I thought it was fun, and apparently I picked the wrong audience for that. But I'm glad you saw it. I have a, I've had a fair few people reference that to me. Um, two it is then. The other shop needs a friend. Exactly. There we go. Poor decisions of Toy Cat. You know, wait, chat. Do you have any poor decisions you'd like to make, but you need to pin it on a third party? Oh. You ever have that on your own world? Just get disconnected from a server? I, what, <laughs> what, what am I, how am I meant to react to that? Um, how is it uploading the world files? How can I be disconnected from the sub? You know, I have like enough internet to upload the files, but not enough to play. That was really like bizarre. There was no lead up to that. It was just like, yep, here's a thing, by the way. I blame Toy Cat for most things. I am responsible. I, I think, I, you know, I, I think I made a major career decision for you, right? So every time... Also, what, what am I doing over here? Well, that was interesting. I think we just went back in time. You know, that, those sorts of bugs never happen just before... Just after you make a terrible decision you regret. Never happens that way, does it? It's always the, the, the positive. Always, always the bad version of that. I want to finish this Navrak Mountain so bad. I mean, the Deep Slate Mountain. I think it looks kind of nice, right? Like, it's got some clear areas that need improvement. Like, I think I'm going to remove those gravel patches and fill them in. Um, looks pretty good though, right? Because they look too much like stone. Maybe I should turn all the dirt into dirt paths too. Um, my world tells me it's out of storage occasionally. Oh, do you want to see my, uh, do you want to see the storage size? A lot of people are asking. Uh, recently, uh, a little a little fun heads up because it's always on a server. You can always see the world size. You can even see how much it's gone up or down by. So um, it's nine hundred and seventeen megabytes, 
But the weirder thing is if we go back, like, I don't know, a few months. Oh, it goes, oh, whoa, I can download a 2021 copy of the world. So it was, it was a gigabyte two years ago. Well, that's nuts. I didn't realize this was a thing. The backups go all these years back. This, what, what's the what's the frequency on these? Why do I have free backups from February? But then, you know what, chat? What's the deal with that? Probably based on version. But if you look, oh yeah, these are all one point. No, yeah, okay, that. Why why do I not have a one point nineteen point sixty save? It just goes from fifty one to. Okay. Um, need your expert opinion. What do I do? Um, <laughs> Fireball, tomato sauce, Vegemite. Man, Vegemite. Ve ve one of veg. Wait, one of uh, have a Fireball and then have a Vegemite chaser. There you go. Um, yeah, Fireball's good. Fireball's good. New video ideas are formulating. Yeah, man. Apparently, remember one point seventeen. Those were the days um, when I was questioning Mojang. Okay, I, I don't know where to mention this in the video, but literally, because this is one of those like fake things a politician would say, but I was in the grocery store. I had too many items, because I, I never hold a basket or a trolley, because otherwise you get too much stuff. I limit myself to what I can carry in the store. And so um, I was carrying around stuff like this, and I, uh, like a, I was in the shampoo aisle, because I was like, my shampoo's running out. It sucks I'm going to need a new bottle just for two weeks, but like, it looks like I'm gonna need it. Um, and uh, while I was there, spoke to a like a, a random, you know, like a, it was like, it was really young, like it was like he was like 12, 13. Uh, and he's like, "Oh, are you IBX toy cat?" And I was like, "Yeah, awesome." And then we did the whole thing. And then he was like, "Yeah, my problem last few updates just did not, uh, just had no excitement for me." But one point twenty is the first one that is, and that's like I don't know, like. You know, when, when you're, like, really involved in something, you don't see the, the ocean for all the water or whatever the phrase is. I was missing the ocean because of all the water in front of me. And I found it recently. And boy, is it cool. So, yeah, we are picking up a ton of bricks. I'll, I'll grab all the clay I need, actually, first. Um, got lots of space for it. Maybe, maybe more than that. So every time we pick up bricks, we throw in clay to replace it. And then we should end up in a wonderful, wonderful place. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, chat. I feel like my my dreams of making this as big as I wanted it to be might just be dashed a little bit. So that's that's going somewhere at least. Um, yeah, I'm I'm feeling chat like I am going to. Okay, put a whole stack in here, but like just the three and the two in there, and then whole sixty four in there. Oh, 64. Oh, we, we, we've got to start taking out the bricks. A lot of bricks that I'm leaving in. Oh, 20 of them there. Can't be leaving this many bricks on the table. Um, I think I, how many uh, fan interactions do you usually have, says uh, Drunk Lily? Uh, that child got to be the king of the UK. <laughs> it's true. I, um, <clears throat> I'm really lucky that I don't have many. I, I started including face cam in videos more recently just to be like, more personable. I think it's started to increase the number of people who know what I look like. Which is something I really should start considering, like... Being anonymous is actually a very good thing. And losing that anonymity... Is gonna be... Interesting. It's gonna have- it's gonna have consequences. For better and also for worse. At the same time. Um, so yeah, we just, we've got another like 27 clay. Just throw it, throw it into whichever one of these is the most untopped up. Okay, we throw it, throw it all in there, and then look at this. We got now enough bricks. So yeah, we. As much as I love making these bricks, I think this is one of those like things we have to go AFK for basically. As far as I know, you're talking us a lot. If I saw you in public, I would definitely recognize you. I I should just get a more generic look. So people across strangers and ask them if they're IBX toy cat, and they'd be like, "No, dude, what are, what are you imagining?" Um, that might be mo that might be fun. <clears throat> okay, so we get two stacks now. So yeah, making making progress on this takes some time. Oh, so I keep using the wrong axe, but it's fine. Um, so is there a donate button? Says Cake Pop Dog. 
I've always found it funny that streamers call it donating. And it's like, donate to the Toy Cat Fund. Wait, if you want to know what I'm spending my... If you want to know what I'm spending your money on, let me give you a list. Okay, I'm... I'm getting, uh... I'm getting Spanish-Japanese fusion food tonight. I'm getting some fish tacos tomorrow. And then I'm... And I'm probably gonna... Because I'm, you know, I'm gonna leave, leave Vegas in a week. I'm gonna... You know, in a, in a week, it's gonna be all in the hands of a giant corporation. Uh, who probably, probably has links to the mob. So make sure that if you like those things... <laughs> you know, as I imagine you all definitely do. Uh, you, you tip. I just had fish tacos for lunch. Uh, big salmon. Love it. Love it. Wait, here's here's a question. If you zoom into the the the, the unclear part of the glass, do you just see a giant part of that texture? Oh, you do, and it almost lines up perfectly. Oh wait, let's see if we can get it to. Oh, okay. But if I get like right next to it, hey, there we go. Wait, okay, now let's get back a bit. I'm gonna line up this square perfectly, chat. There we go. Oh. Okay, a little bit further forwards. Look at that. This is the this is the white pixel on a glass, but zoomed in super far. This is what we do when we run out of things. Okay. So now let's run. Yes, cat is toy. Thank you, uh, Josh Jones. Appreciate the tip greatly. Um, how are you doing? Are you doing good? Things things all good in the hood, Mr. Josh Jones. I hope they're doing wonderfully. Okay, so. I am going to conclude that this house is going to have a maximum size. I can work out that maximum size real soon. And then I also am going to have to do something for the... So I need to have windows on this house, right? And I need to have a door. So the door is made of oak. I can make a door pretty, probably pretty easily. I like the white being used for the door. So I'll just I'll make some white like glass that I can use for windows. So this is glass. We'll just take a stack of it. A stack is too much. We'll take a half stack, and we'll make it into white stained glass. Um, here, that here's the donate button, my green little friend. You know, I like the wait, wait. If you, the more drunk you get, the more, <laughs> the more you'll give me money to spend on on Spanish, Jap Japanish, Spapanese. Oh, Spapanese feels like a feels like a slur. Maybe I shouldn't be saying that. Like it isn't one, but when it gets close enough, you got to be careful, you know. Like it, it doesn't matter if you say a, say something mean. It doesn't matter if you want to say something mean on the internet. It matters if someone receives something mean in the modern in the modern world. And so I've got to make sure I say things that could not be perceived by anyone to be mean. That is my my life's purpose here, at least. Okay, so we got a ton of copper ingots by accident. It was not what I was going for, but I'll take it. There's a Japarican restaurant by me. Oh, Japarican! Ooh. I like, I like, I don't, I don't know what Puerto Rican, Japanese, that's the, okay, you know, so a lot of people, like, there are a huge group of people who don't like multiculturalism in the world, but almost all of them will change their mind if you introduce them to the right food from a different culture, where they're like, oh, I can personally benefit from multiculturalism, because like a lot of people see multiculturalism as like, oh yeah, what if we, like, we have the best way of life, so why would we mix it with other people? Like if you're, um, you know, I, you know, there's, there's a, there's some argument somewhere in there that makes sense. If you genuinely believed that you were the very best, why would you mix with people who weren't the best? But there's a, okay, so grab both of these lava buckets, throw one in here, it's not where I wanted it, and throw one in here. This one's apparently done. Okay, where's, where's the other furnace running? Okay, it's here. So. Make sure we put plenty of clay in there. I I feel as though almost anyone is like, yes. You know, that that is what I need. That's why cookbooks exist as NL. I I saw something recently. I saw it was a I don't know, it was from a very particular community. Maybe, you know, there's high distrust in certain places versus others. But I saw someone arguing that the reason groceries are getting expensive is because the restaurant industry has been noticed, has, has noticed that people, they go out to eat 
and then they make their own copycat recipes at home. So they've been making it so expensive so that you can't save money by eating there. And I, I sometimes wonder when I hear these things, like, man, the, I would love to believe the world revolved around me so much, you know? Like, it's, that, that's the nice thing about conspiracy theories. They offer you an angle where someone is thinking about you all the time. Like, it doesn't have to be positive thinking about you. It's, it's usually not in the, in the worst of these theories. But someone is always doing that. And isn't it, wouldn't that be nice to have someone there always, always thinking, like, you know what? What would Toy Cat not want at this moment? I'm going to do that. <laughs> um, I'm all for multiculturalism. I want all of the food. That's what I'm saying, right? It's, um, for me, multiculturalism is a case-by-case -case issue. Yeah, the, the thing is, is, like, it actually is a really complicated issue of, like, trying to work out, like, how do you, how do you take a bunch of people who believe very different things and somehow have them all believe anywhere near the same thing? Um... But like everything you make at a home is at a rest. Everything you make at home is at a restaurant somewhere. So restaurant supply. Okay, here's the weird thing. If you ever some recipes genuinely are more expensive to make at home because restaurant suppliers is a whole different like industry. So their costs go up and down at different rates than consumer costs do because it's it's a different service. Like they, I don't I don't fully understand the why, the how, the what. But so there are genuinely some cases where it's cheaper to eat something at a restaurant if you consider that you're making it for one person. By the time you make it for four, it's never cheaper, is uh, is my is my feeling and my understanding. Um, also, wait, wait, chat. Okay, okay. So this is my idea. I brought my spyglass all the way here for this. This is the size of my Let's Play house, right? It's very small here. But if I just zoom in, <laughs> look how huge it is. Whoa, it's giant. Isn't that cute? Is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen? I, if you if you think it isn't, I'm disappointed in you. I suppose I only make food for two. Even making food for two, I think you might be above the average household size. Like, the average number of people in a household has to be, like, 1.7 or something, right? Now that is architecture, says Unplanned Baby. <laughs> this is so cool. I love this. I'm gonna... Oh, it's getting bigger. It's getting bigger. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try and keep my, my cross on the on this thing here. Isn't this just a beauty chat? Isn't this just? So it gets a little bit... Okay, yeah, that's about as good as we get in. Um, yeah, I want to I tweet this out. Do you mind if I take a minute, internet? Um, okay, I'm just gonna... I hope, I hope I don't have a silly face in this... Oh, I, I don't have any face in this picture. Um... Okay, yep, yeah, nice. Okay, I found I, I found the use for the spyglass in Minecraft, right? So making very tiny things look very big. Okay, so we're, we're waiting for these furnaces to to get us the good stuff we want anyway. It's, you know, it's, it's slowly smelting up. I might as well stare at the furnace itself so you can watch it all go through. Um, okay, I've just got to tweet this internet. Um... Do, 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 Okay. This is the real re use for the spyglass. I probably needed a before and after screenshot for that to work, actually. You know what? Let's do it. Okay, let's take a screenshot of that. Okay, you know, it's it's a nightmare. I need, like, a fast way to take screenshots, really. Um, you know, when I, the, okay, so just save a screenshot of that. And be like, oh, this is what it looks like. Spyglass 2. Okay, hello, internet. You're looking at me. Oh, no, I saved it as spyglass. So I just overwrit the previous thing. Oh, no. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, I, I, I missed out on S. We're fine. Um, you know, this is why bad file naming is important. If you always name things poorly, then you can never make a mistake. This is the real use for the spyglass. Still streaming, creating the house fire map art. 
Okay, and then I copy pasted the link, but it didn't work. Okay, I got. I'm getting that chat. I don't have a Twitter account. Yeah. Okay. I've been. I've been thinking about this more. I think I need to. I think I should really minimize the amount I tweet and maximize the amount I do community posts. Um, I did a. I did the maths on this recently. All right. I did a test for this. Make coffee for two and get some mugs at ibxtoycat.store. Aren't they just the best mugs, Alcazar? I. You know. I. I hope, I, obviously you're a biased source here, but you know, if I didn't want to buy a, buy a source, then I wouldn't be asking the question. But aren't, aren't those mugs just a thing of beauty? Aren't they just? Uh, my GF has a habit of hitting uh, save and then coming to me in a panic a few hours later, wondering uh, where she saved it. <laughs> That's such a silly form of tech support. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um... Okay, so now we're gonna we're gonna plan this thing out, chat. Okay, it's gone dark. I'm gonna go. I spent too long. I I really I really just love the idea of like because I I totally made this mistake. Of like you hit save. Like whenever I um whenever you render videos on a new laptop or new PC new device, it will pick a new, a default save folder that like you you just don't know. Um, and so it's so funny. Um. It's super, it's super fun to be like, please come help me. I saved it, but I didn't look where. Like, needing someone else to save you from that, it's kind of funny. Maybe cute. Depends on your your relationship dynamic, perhaps. Um, I, um, she's a writer, Lamau, she's good at words. I'm a computer person. Oh, yeah, you know, I am, I, I think that's fun. I, uh, I think what's more fun, though, is my giant house. Okay, so I'm now gonna, so that I can build the roof for this, I've gotta work out how big this is gonna be now, chat. So this is one last, like, layer just to complete it. I guess I should not complete this. Okay, so we're gonna need a lot of brick slabs. I can get the brick slabs. Like, I can say, like, another 10 blocks out if I really want to, right? So this is how big it'd be after another five blocks. One, two, three. Oh, what happened there? Four, five. Um, and then we'll do another five over here, just to show you. One, two, three, four, five. So we could go like this. I didn't get the white I needed to make this into stained glass. Um. <coughs> Sorry, I was being attacked by a by a germ-based <clears throat> threat. Anyway, um. So yeah, this is what it would look like if I went five extra blocks all the way around. If I do five on each side of that, I need to do like 10 up the top there. So we're just gonna give this a glance. Okay, so now it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, is this a big enough house? Would you say, internet? Okay, how many slabs have I got? I got plenty. Or do you think we gotta go even bigger than this? Do you think this is... Because I would I would like to go much bigger than even this, but I think we just run out so quickly. Um, yeah, I, uh, bless you. You know what, exactly, all the... I got all those demon aliens out of my body or whatever it is. It's, uh, I'm glad. Um, I, uh, looks like a big top hat with the extra bricks on the side. Yeah, I can... It looks like a Minecraft helmet, right? The, uh... Like, look at this. Oh, not a Neverite helmet, but like, uh, all the real helmets. Wait, does Neverite have a different texture for the helmet? Or do all helmets look like that? Okay, let's not, let's not think about it. Um, it's so small on the map, there's room for words above it, though. Yeah, that's the, uh, that's our benefit, I guess. It's still, this is still a very small, it looks like Onigiri, you know, like the, you see it? Um... I think we'd want to go even bigger than this, though, yeah. I think, in reality, we might want another five blocks after this. Although, maybe this is, like, this goes in the middle, and then you fit, like, some text on the top left. And then that's all good, you know? Um, yeah, maybe maybe just a little bit a little bit bigger. Okay, just a little... I feel like you can... Once we add the roof, it's really hard to, like, resize it properly. So we'll, we'll add a new... We'll add an extra five blocks. One, two, 
three, four, five. We, so now, now we have to destroy this this miniature house. I think we could put the mini house somewhere else because I think it's real cute. Um, I ra thank thank you, baby. By the way, David, for the random meme for engagement. I don't know <laughs> hamburger helper. I didn't realize hamburger helper was so old. Um, I uh, so we we should probably build. We we should probably move this somewhere. Honestly, it's it's so cute. I like it. Um, but this is as big as we can get without having to overwrite its space. Also, we got some extra slabs over there if we need them. Yeah, and this this extra five blocks will be, like, big enough to be a huge amount of work to fill in the gaps. But still, like, big enough that I think we'll appreciate the extra size. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we go as far as we can this way. And then once we hit the same end, if you're going to move the tiny house somewhere, make a tiny house fire. That's a fun idea, yeah. We'll, we'll have like a little orange on it. Something like that. This is, okay, you know, I have to admit, this is really enjoyable to watch on the, um, like watching this on the, the thing up there. It's it, it, like, you know, what building the blocks is fun, but watching the blocks be built, but like via that, very enjoyable. And so now we continue down there. Yeah, that that extra size was needed, I think. Oh, wait, do I need thunder? Not in this world. Why is it thundering so much, though? It's a tiny house. Me staring at the map. Yeah, right, isn't this just, oh. Isn't this something special, just watching the lines slowly get longer? It's like an Etch-a-Sketch, but like real. As we all know, Etch-a-Sketch is a fake. They're a deep state conspiracy. Made up to to confuse us. We don't fall for that though. Not on this channel. Um Yeah, like at this point, filling in these gaps will take a lot of brick. But a, an achievable amount of brick, I think. Also, is there wait, is this the right number of blocks? I feel like I might have gone wait, this is one, two, three, four. Oh, we need an extra one over here. Oopsie. Okay, so. Now it's gonna look a little bit extra weird. Yeah, let's let's put this this map in a in a chest for now. Horizon super flat free. Super flat world has to be bugged, right? No, I think um oh, so after 1.20, what I'm gonna do is uh I'm just gonna wait it out overnight, like leave my thing recording, see when the pigs get there. Uh, maybe that'll be good enough. Maybe it'll kill them all. I'm not sure. Might have to be a copy just to be a backup against that, but that's the plan. You could use the spyglass to try and match the colors. Honestly, yeah, at this size, maybe it makes sense to have some some brick pattern on there. Um, the fact that there's no locator map throws me off. Yeah, I uh, I know some people are fans of their their locator maps. Not me, I say. Not me. Okay, so this is map three thirty three. So we're making it. Oh, the, they've lost their numbers already. What the heck? How how are they unknown? Oh, I guess the world crashed and that was a problem. Also, KD. Uh, this song called KD. That's that's funny. It's, uh, you're famous now. You got an impersonator. Okay, so to confirm, the clay is still going strong, except we don't have buckets of lava anymore. So when that fire runs out, they'll no longer be smelting. Kind of a big problem. Okay, so when you use the spyglass, you have to say, aha, aha. Do you like the look of it from here, chat? It looks a little little less impressive than when you look, when you zoom in like this. Oh no, okay, there we go. Yeah, this is this is the use for the spyglass for sure. Um, okay, so let's make another map and let's get back to it. So we first will eat because not eating is bad for you. I'm going to leave myself deliberately at nine hunger points, because I feel like there's a lot of people who get upset when you don't eat all the way. And if I can upset those people just a little bit, then my life will be worthwhile. Also, thank you for showing up, Tenver. I, uh, I hope you have a good good rest of your day. Have you ever noticed the spyglass is held upside down in Bedrock in first person? Is it? Is there an upside down? You, that can't be correct, right? 
Oh, wait. Yeah, what? Wait. Huh. <laughs> Why is it held? Whatever, you know, let's not think about this. Um, Is that the wrong end? This is fun, by the way. You like this chat? You feel, you feel watched? Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna... So you can't... Can you change perspective while in the spyglass? You can. Oh, that's fun. Whoa, that's really cool. That's... This This perspective change there. Super fun. Look at that. Like, oh yeah. Wait, chat, look. I'm... I'm zooming in on my favorite person. It's, it's you, chat. As a big collector. Okay, so... Back to bricks. Back to bricks. So, this house... It's going to use a lot of wood. And a lot of that wood is going to be at the top over there. Um, yeah, I, uh, I, I think, also nice, 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 but yeah, th this, this is kind of a bit ugly having this, like, wool be too thick. We could go a little bit bigger, but I think this is good enough now. I think this is, like, it's a good compromise between what we gotta have and all that stuff. And then we'll have some spare bricks we can do some fun, silly stuff with. Um, okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use wood to make the roof. Like, it'd be nice if we could build a whole bottom to this. Don't get me wrong. But I don't believe that we can. You know, we got 64 of it, so let's... Let's make this whole second line too thick, deliberately for that reason. And then let's also destroy the miniature house and move it somewhere. I really like the mini house, but sadly, it's it has outstayed its its uh, usefulness, and so it must be moved. Tragic, though that may be. And then we'll destroy this. We get our scaffolding back to. Okay, so this miniature house is going to move way off to the side somewhere. I know, I think it'd be fun if there's... I think, like, top left would be the best corner for it. Right? Like, or, or maybe bottom right. Yeah, bottom... Bottom right is, like, the... Is the... Is the way you hide, like... Uh, well, you have, like, a little signature corner. So we move 64 blocks from here. About 50 blocks from here. So about 300 blocks. We're gonna move... Over here. Okay, this is where we're gonna place our tiny... Our tiny little thing. Okay. So this is the door. Oh, it doesn't go high enough up. So now we have to... We have to remove some of these. And then... Wait, I did that wrong. And then we'll place down... Wait. Yeah, let's let's try that again. Then we'll place a... a okay, we, we'll, we'll replace... The, wait, I, I get it. I got this. I got this internet. I'm very slow. But I'll, I'll get it eventually. Okay, now we just break these, and we because we don't need them anymore. We use the scaffolding to place the wood, so we can place scaffolding. And now this is our door frame, and we've just we'll make it we'll make it slightly bigger than it was before. I think. Uh, was was it four by four before? I think it was right. So we go five by five, so that it's in the middle, maybe. Yeah, I think we'll go five by five, make because the door is in the middle of the toy cat house, traditionally speaking. And then, then we can make like a true point at the end of that. Look at that, cute. It's a tiny little watermark. I'd say it probably needs to be further off in, into the corner, but it's nice. Um, I probably should get to sleep, by the way. Yeah, probably. Cute little house. <laughs> you know, what? making making little miniature things. That's the real lesson from this. Like, don't don't build something big. Just build something tiny. Um, hey kids, don't swim during a thunderstorm. Okay, gaming flow. I, I actually don't know if this... Okay, you know what? So lightning is a thing I've never had to deal with in my life. No one has ever given me advice for lightning. I'm just hoping I don't get struck by lightning one day. I don't assume it's actually a very big deal. Maybe it happens all the time. But my feeling is that it doesn't. Okay, so... Don't know if my feelings are right or not. But, you know... That's, that's a point for a different time. So, but here is the question, if you dare to answer it, internet, is, uh, 
I I've been wondering what if you are in the ocean and lightning strikes, will that kill you? If if you're in a car and lightning strikes, does that kill you? I just don't understand the premise of lightning, you know, let alone there's just there's so many questions I have about it, and I feel like no one knows the answers. Um Okay, so let's place all of these. We we are gonna fill in these gaps later. It's gonna be real nice. But for now, this is a, a happy middle ground. Safe in an ocean, safe in a car, not safe in the middle of a field. So you wanna get as close as you can to things that conduct electricity. That's that's what you want when there's okay. That that seems counterintuitive, but I'll take your word for it. Um Okay, and now we're gonna build the roof to this thing. So we should probably use slabs. Let's see if we should use slabs. So we're gonna build a crafting table here. And we're gonna confirm it looks the same as oak. Yeah, that's the same. So now we can make a trillion slabs. And we'll use those to build the house. We could use stairs here too if we wanted to, probably. But I don't think I will. Um. So we'll go for the Toy Cat classic house roof. It looks something a little bit like this, right? You liking you liking this idea, chat? Is it going well? And then we eventually have a little thing on there. We should probably put a pumpkin nearby. We'll have to build a door and stuff. But we got it. Um probably safe in the forest unless a nearby gets if a nearby tree gets struck, it'll explode. What does an exploding tree look like? That I have a lot of questions. I don't know if I'll get the answers. So we have to place a huge amount of wood now to build the roof to Toy Cat's Let's Play home. Which will be nice. Um So we'll it'll probably it probably makes sense to build it along vertical first. Okay, again chat, if you want to see something really satisfying, watch this be built in the in the map frame rather than the main one. What does Neverack on fire look like on a map? That's a good question. I don't think fire... I think fire is transparent as far as maps are concerned. I could be wrong. Um, don't tell me you're too blind to see. Oh, I think that's... Uh, I think you're singing the, the Rick Astley thing. Hope it's going well for you. Okay, so let's... We'll make some more brick slabs, because just, you know what? We do need to fill these in. Might as well make some progress. And then we're gonna place our map in the chest. I, I think all these progress maps are like gonna be a cool thing to show off at the end. Um, map 334. And then we'll make another one. Do, 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 do. Thank you so much for the tip. Diluted Dante, you're safe from lightning in a car because it's a Faraday cage. Oh no, I don't drive one of those. Um, I'm uh, I'm not familiar with Faraday as a car manufacturer actually, but I I hope that you're enjoying your purchase at least. Um, there we go. That's the best, that's the best joke we're getting from this, I'm afraid. Okay. Um. I by the way, drunk Lily. I hope your your work day is going very well. Um. You know, she's definitely too drunk to be at work. Anyway, so um, getting so very sleepy. You know, I've been streaming for three hours, huh? I I really would like it to get um I I think uh your neighbors weren't subbed to Toy Cat. Clearly not. Oh my neighbor's house caught fire. Yeah, I think um Oh wait, well, we did it. Okay, so now every time we do a lair, we just go in slightly. Until we get this complete roof. This is this is this is so satisfying. Building anything in Minecraft while you've got a, uh, a map out. It's the way it's got to be done. So I am now out of planks. I mean slabs. But luckily I can make more. Um, I'm going to put these two brick blocks down. Just so they're not my problem anymore. And we're going to make a lot of planks. You should make catchphrase t-shirts like that's future me's problem. And thank you for getting me through tough times with your long live streams. Honestly, okay, so I, um, first of all, thank you so much, Shy Guy, uh, recognize you from, from other social media, Twitter especially, uh, I'm glad, I'm glad the streams have helped you through tough times. I would love to know what, what you internet think of my catchphrases, because there, there are always, like, fun pieces of merch I'd like to make, 
Um, the most the most recent one, like, uh, we're making it around today as a Monday, which I think is fun. Um, but, like, I, I'd love to know, what do you think is a good, a good catchphrase from the Toy Cat world that you're like, I would love to see that. Like, it's one that you, one, one that you identify with. Um, share them right now. Well, let's, let's work out the best one. Let's, like, uh... Because, uh, yeah, I, I always am, as well as doing, like, the fun occasional drops, I like to do I'm Welsh. <laughs> I'm Welsh is such a bad t-shirt. People would just assume that you're Welsh. And you'd have to explain, no, this is a, I just watch a live streamer, and then his, his catchphrase is I'm Welsh. Oh, you watch a Welsh live streamer? No. <laughs> It'd be such a bad conversation. You know how, like, a good t-shirt can start a conversation? That's a good t-shirt to end a conversation. Um, if you have to ask, you don't know. <laughs> that's future me's problem. Do you like that's future me's problem? You know, I'll, uh... uh I, I think that's future me's problem is actually pretty good. I, uh... Because I, I think it'd be good because you don't need to understand Toy Cat to get it. But, it, it, you know, it's something if you do understand, you'll be like, oh, that's extra awesome. Um... Well, see, so yeah, we're going, we're going to go for a lot of slabs, apparently. That's that what I'm learning today. Okay, got lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of these. So how are we going to make the fire, by the way? I haven't even considered that bit yet. It's going to go well, though, I bet. Um, safe from house fire, says KD. Why does Toy Cat have two Neverite axes and two Neverite shovels in his hotbar? Oh, it's so I can shovel things and axe things way better. Hope that answers your question. Making some questionable life decisions. I've been saying that's future me's toy cat prob uh, problem for over 20 years, so maybe you owe me royalties, says Ronstar. Maybe, I think you owe me backdated royalties. Sounds like you've been retroactively abusing <laughs> my copyright. It's like a strip club for cats. You know, that's a good one. It's like a strip club for cats. Um, that That is real fun. That's real fun. Could put fire on the roof and maybe on the sides like it's coming out the windows. Yeah, I was picturing the roof on fire, but like, uh, should the roof be damaged or should it be like perfect? And then, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll build the house first, then we'll light it on fire. Cause then I could use this as, you know, it would be fun. Um, I, um, yeah, it's like a strip club for cats. It's so funny to me. <laughs> it's describing cat cafes, by the way, I think. Um, uh, a what for who's now? Yeah, I, uh, I, I, I would enjoy an invisible polar bear t-shirt. Oh, you can buy invisible polar bear t-shirts by going to your nearest store and then, you know, every, every plain, every plain t-shirt has an invisible polar bear in it somewhere. Uh, wait, no, the joke should have been, if you go to ibxtoycat.store, every t-shirt has an invisible polar bear on it already. If you'll believe it. Um, sub or burn. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll, I, I like it. Future me's problem. If you like it, it's future me's problem. Or gonna make some questionable life decisions. This honestly looks pretty cool. It's it's surprising how small it is, but you know, even though it takes so long, but that's something I'm I'm willing to accept. And now let's just place our slabs along here. Make the roof just a little bit more put together. Uh, there are gonna be windows in here somewhere. I don't know precisely where they should be. I should probably measure this thing, honestly, if I'm gonna. But yeah, for now, pretty good stuff, right? So 42 more slabs. Yeah, we'll just build another layer across here. We've got the slabs, we might as well use them. Um, Please do another plush, maybe one you can sleep with or something, says uh CC52. I would love to do, uh, at some point I'm gonna do another plush. Um. Because the, the keyring one thing failed, that's that's why I'm like, oh yeah, I have to really commit to promoting it a lot, clearly. Uh, like, if you think, you know, we have enough viewers right now that we need every single person in stream right now to buy a keyring to make that work. Was it 250? It might have been like 500 or 600. Um, so it's like a lot of, it's a lot of pressure, um, in my opinion. Okay, so... We're gonna go get some lava so that while I'm placing my stone wood, this thing burns. If you have Twitter, please tweet me your favorite quote suggestions at Alcazar on Twitter. Yeah, I, uh, 
If you, uh, yeah, right now, chat, what's your favorite toy cat phrase you'd like to see on a t-shirt? Let's, let's, let's all go through them together. I'm gonna save you some effort here, uh, Alcazel. Gonna, gonna have everyone do the suggestions here instead, okay. So we're gonna get rid of the second axe, and we're gonna get rid of the second shovel. And then we're just gonna move everything slightly closer together on my hotbar. Because now I can keep the cooked beef on here. F cave spiders. <laughs> if you have to ask, you don't know. I, I, do you, okay, you know what, chat? Um, cat, can you do polls or is it just me? Okay, I think it might be just me, actually. Um, let's do a poll. Um, so what, what are the favorites? Right now, we've got, um, I, I, I like that it's a strip club for cats, but I don't think it'll work. Um, big salmon energy. You never said this, but it's marketable. Okay, I'll, I'll throw it on the list. Okay, so far we've got, that's future me's problem. Um, then we've got, it's like a strip club for cats. If you have to ask, you don't know. Okay, chat, you're about to make some merch decisions here. Okay. And then we've got big salmon energy. I like the strip club for cats. I feel like I might have some issues with that. So I'm, I'm gonna, child labor is the best labor. Why can't I simp for my grandmother chat, says feed stuns. Oh, that's a good one. That's, uh, you're influencing me right now. Um, I would love a shirt with a picture of a comically large fish of salmon origin. Yeah, okay, you know, these are the, these are the, <laughs> hundred ways to die in lava. These are, um, these are the free. Oh, I didn't put a question. Uh, which of these three do you like the best? I can't add a question. Which of these three would make, which which of these, if there, if there was three t-shirts, you could only buy one of them. Which of these three would you like to buy? Um, please vote in the poll. It's in chat right now. Would love to hear your your takes. Uh, Future Me's Problem and Big Salmon Energy are pretty neck and neck. Uh, I said, if you have to ask, you don't know. This is such a dumb quote. <laughs> um, but Big Salmon Energy, I, I think that's good marketing. I think that's, I think that's, uh, I think that's a real good one. Um, you know what? This, this is, this is fun. Um, what about the house fire joke? I think it'd be fun just to put like a little house fire somewhere on the, on the stitching or something. Okay, so I need some bricks and that is what, oh wait, I need lava. That's what I'm doing, yeah. I can collect all the stuff for bricks. I'm mostly just here to sweep up any and all lava that happens to be chilling in the side here. Okay, do we have some lava in here? We'll, we'll borrow some lava from this furnace. And then put some of our buckets down in this chest. Or we can just take some lava from here too. You know, we'll do that. We need lava. We got lava. Okay, so then let's grab all of the bricks. And let's get back. This axe does not have... Oh, I've, by the way, just through all of the XP I've got from this, I've now mended up all my stuff. I should probably mend up these shovels too, though. Like, we're going to leave them in a chest somewhere. It'd be nice if it was slightly more prepared up. Okay, so all these furnaces are now running out, which means the clay is gone. That could be a good sign, even though it's not. Um... Okay, so chat agrees that's future me's problem, or it's fine, probably. <laughs> it's fine, probably is a pretty good one. Um, okay, uh, yeah, I, uh, I, um, I, uh, just watched your driving video. I, uh, the, did you watch my driving video? The one I, you can actually see the crash itself. I'm glad I didn't promote, I'm glad I didn't mention that anywhere. Um, like I, I had a lot of fears about people watching that and being like, oh my God, Toy Cat, what are you doing? Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe interesting to you. Maybe not interesting to you. Um, that could be a good sign, even if it's not. It's fine, it should be on stickers. It's fine probably is pretty good. I kind of like that. Let's make some questionable life decisions uh, t-shirts selling at Walmart somewhere. 
Okay, okay, let's 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 do a second poll. Let's make some questionable uh life decisions. Okay, it doesn't fit it doesn't fit in the poll, so that's that's a that's a thing. Uh that is a good sign probably. Oh wait, no, that's not the one. It's uh this is fine probably. Okay, we need we need one more. We need one more chat. Probably. I hope that sign has insurance. No, the sign the sign was uninsured, so I I, I counted as the at fault driver, even though the sign clearly clearly was the one that did it to me. Um I uh but yeah, Andrew Andrews is the channel you're looking for, Everett Lewis. Um Yeah, I uh that's that's where you wanna go. Okay, so we're gonna grab my bricks from here, just to slightly up my my supply here. Grab another nine. Saving all your suggestions, by the way. Um yeah, big salmon energy is definitely the best one. Okay, I'm gonna I'll, I'll just use these two. Ask a community. And we'll so just we'll we'll go between the best two of this poll. We'll pair it against Big Salmon Energy and the one from before. So it's let's make some questionable life decisions, but it doesn't fit in a poll. Might might ruin it. But yeah, let's 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 work out let's work out some uh some merch decisions, huh? Oh it's 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 getting it's fifty fifty again. It's fine probably as get a slight lead. We're all gonna die someday, t shirts. <laughs> <laughs> I still think we will all die someday on the side of a mug with a little cute thing to the side of it. It's just the best thing I've ever done. Or well, you know, I, I I'll say we. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give myself full credit on that one, I'm afraid. But it's it's the best. I I really can't overstress my appreciation for we will all die someday on a cute little mug. It's designed to be sipped from. It's just too good. The mug is the best thing we've done. Exactly, I agree. No, no question about that. Um, I'm voting for my suggestion because I'm very biased. It's fine, probably with a pick of a house fire. Honestly, yeah, it's fine. It's fine, probably with a pick of a house fire. It'd actually be a pretty good one. Okay, yeah, that that and big salmon energy are definitely the two best designs. If you if you wanna if you wanna emotionally or mentally write them down, write write something down. Alcazar, I'd say those are the those are the two that I'm like. Most most hyped for. Uh, the fact that you have the idea for so long and then it came to fruition. Oh yeah, the so the thing the thing the thing you might not know, internet, is uh we we were gonna do that forever ago. Uh like so long ago. And then um let me make another stack of these. And then something about the pandemic meant they couldn't make heart handle mugs. And then after a couple years of like, okay, well is the pandemic over? They just hadn't done it. So I specifically had to find someone else who made heart mugs, and it's not a common like product. And then you, you gotta you gotta find the products, but also they've gotta be able to like print custom things on them because you know we need to have those on there. And I don't have a big enough audience that I can bulk buy ten thousand mugs, so it's gotta be like a on. It's gotta be also in the shipment facility that they have these it, whole thing. But anyway, now now there is a mug that says we will all die someday because we will. One sec.
it was uh I thought it I so I I I I I requested maintenance and there was a note on my door saying like oops you missed your maintenance call or something like that. But then just now my food are right. This is this is five meals. There is five pre prepared or something like uh Hello Chef meals in. How is it such a it's so heavy too? Anyway, yeah, my food arrived. I ordered this three weeks ago. I mentioned this. I, I did a Let's Play sponsorship for like way less, like for an amount of money I usually wouldn't. Solely just because it was like, I want one of these. I'm going to buy it after hearing this is a thing anyway. And so, uh, yeah, I, I have no idea what's in there. I'm curious. I'm uh, excited to try it. Okay, anyway, let's, uh, let's finish up this roof of the house. It's a very important detail. And then we're gonna work on the, the the like the other details, like the doors and the like once we've done the doors. Uh well there's only one door, I guess, in the house. Uh we could add like a pumpkin to the top here. Or like a what what should we have at the top? Because there is definitely like a flat. Like I'd say that's an accurate Toy Cat Let's Play House roof, right? I think I think the extra pointiness would be wrong. What do you reckon, chat? With or without the point? With or without the point. Make a flower by the door. Yeah, that's a good idea. A little little cute flower. Food is my favorite dish. Oh, food is my favorite. Open it. Open it on stream. You want to see an unboxing? Oh, yeah. I have to move myself very slightly more. Um, out of the corner. What's in the box? Let's hope it's nothing identifying. Um, okay. So... Hello, I'm IBX Toy Cat, and I am doing a food. Honestly, I, I I don't know what it's gonna look like. I so if you don't know, this is a food service where they just like some dietitian supposedly prepares some meal. It's ready meals, but like healthy, and they come in a box from a big company. And so, if you want to see what the box looks like, it looks like this. If you want to see what's inside the box? It's all this fun. Uh, it's this fiberglass foam that's really, really bad for your lungs. Don't inhale this or eat this. It's a giant block of ice. Oh, I see where the weight comes from. This is, have you ever seen ice that comes in this format? It's like an A4 piece of paper, but it's ice. That's crazy. Um, apparently you can recycle the ice. Um, and on the inside, uh, oh look, it's got like a, I can get high quality, it's like a promo code for another service. Then the meals look like this, apparently. They actually look surprisingly, like, fancy, right? It's made with F- minus quality ingredients, as you can see. Wait, you can't see. Oh, you can see. Um, really, I should have switched over to... Wait, do you want to see me big? Here you go, internet. Um, it looks like this. Fresh, never frozen meals. You know, can I... It's... Is never frozen act uh, it's is never frozen actually a thing that I want in my life? Like, should I should I care that it's never been frozen? Here's here's your nutritional label. Um So if you're curious what I got, I got tomato and walnut beef rigid. Yeah, this this looks a lot like an average like frozen meal though. I uh again, I it's not frozen though. They're very good for you, they want you to believe. So this is like a Sweet corn, jalapeno, polenta, and chicken. What is polenta? I genuinely do not know. Oh, it looks fun, doesn't it? But yeah, I needed I need something because I'm so busy doing stuff here. I needed like just food that I can eat without having to go do a thing. There's my food. Hope you enjoyed looking at it. I'm gonna sit on this ice now. And so if you notice me getting very cold soon, it's because I'm literally sitting on an ice cube. It's cheaper than AC, right? Glorified TV dinner vibes. Honestly, a lot of people treat the, like a cheap TV dinner, like one that costs like a pound. They'll treat it like with real disdain. And it's like, nah, this is the future of the world. What if you could have food without, oh, it's so cold. Don't sit on an ice cube chat. Polenta is like grits, but more solid cornmeal stuff. See, saying it's like grits does not help me. You've given me more questions, <laughs> but that's okay. Um... I, uh, I, I do have to say the house is like, it's, it's, it feels like coloring in slowly, 
slowly adding all these bricks onto it. Satisfying to see. Okay, so now we're going to put a door in here somewhere. So that will give you hemorrhoids. Won't it give doesn't isn't it the cure to hemorrhoids? Fine, I don't want hemorrhoids. They sound bad. I had a doctor once be really upset that I called it hemorrhoids. She's like, we call it piles in this country. Or well, maybe it's the other way around. I think it no, it's definitely. It's definitely. She was upset. You know, when a doctor's not upset with me though. <laughs> maybe that's my lifestyle. That's coming out here more than anything else. Um you can make cornbread outfit. That's uh it's good. You know, oh, the ice, not the food. Oh, I just put the ice in the food so it stays cold until I put it in the fridge later. Yeah, problem solved. Um, but I'd be upset over cinnamon. Uh, a lot of British people, like, um, kind of understandably, a lot. Of, there's a lot of Americanizations that slip into British culture that a lot of British people don't like. Um, and the... It sounds like a really petty thing to be like, it's just a word, get over it, right? Um, but it's like sometimes the American word is like way less descriptive for the same thing. And so people get like real upset about that. Um, is it actual ice or an ice pack? What is the difference? But I think actual ice. I think it's like you can feel the water in there. Um, okay. Okay. So let's let's now go build the door. So the door's gonna be right in the middle here. And how big should it be, chat? And should it go all the way down to the ground? I've I've got a lot of questions. Not a lot of answers. Also, are mobs gonna spawn on this? We'll, we'll work it out. So this is 256, and I think it was 256, 257 I used as my center. I don't really know. I could look all the way up there just to see. Yeah, let's let's use this as my center. Vegas is like an oven in the summer. You could have just said Vegas is like an oven. It's it's so many months in the year that it's like an oven. So 256, 257 is the actual center of the house. Glad I looked. Don't know if that's intentional, but either way, that's what I have to work with. And uh, we'll we'll have it be two by three blocks for now. Uh, yeah, it's, Vegas is a very 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 hot place. Uh, it is it is intense. <laughs> if you never visited, one, you should. Very fun place. Don't bring children. I see people here with children all the time, and it's like, what what did you think Vegas was famous for? Because I don't think you know. Yeah, that's cute. <laughs> I love it with the tiny little door. Okay, so it, it needs to be a lot bigger, clearly. Um, we'll try this much bigger. So it's going to have to go a lot taller because it's about two times as tall as it is wide. So if it's four wide, it has to be eight tall. Whereas it's now four wide, four tall. So... We go like seven, just to test the idea though. What do you reckon, chat? Does that look like... Is that the right size for a door? I technically have to add little dark spots to the door. Um, would a trap door do the job? Is that the right ratio, chat? Or do you think it goes a little bit bigger? Um, yeah, I don't know. Remind yourself of your mortality of a new mug set. IVX toy cat dot store. Exactly. Um, Vegas in the oven. It's full of hot chicks. <laughs> uh, waterlog slabs stop spawning. Oh, the waterlog is doing me some secret favors. Useful to know. Bigger, says Amandary. Yeah, I think I'm going to need to go bigger. So where would... Yeah, definitely, given the... Wait, no, no, I think this is... It's got to be, like, two elevenths of the height, and this is, like... It's not a far-off guess. Um, Yeah. Wait, can Toycat see deleted messages? Funnily enough, I can't see when a user deletes their own messages, yeah. Um, But only... I can see any other message deleted by, say, a mod. Um, it's actually set up right now so that I don't, though. Um, I can set it up so I do, but, like, I don't want to see... Like, it, it's it's a handy thing. Okay, so... Now I'm going to work on the windows. There's two windows on the ground floor. 
Uh, I didn't get the white die for this yet, though. So let's let's go get some bone meal. Um. Yeah, I uh. Two eleventh was very specific, says uh, a Jimmy Judd. Oh, I did the. I figured my my house is eleven blocks tall. I don't know if that's true. I think it is. And the door is two blocks tall of that, so two elevenths. Um. Yeah, I uh. Very curious. Okay, so. We're now going to put some windows in. I need some white. Where does white dye come from? Is there a way to get white dye besides bone mill? Oh, well, we get bone mill anyway. Four bone mill, four white stained glass. Easy. Um, okay, so I have a crafting table over here. 32 white stained glass. That is going to be... It'll be enough to make to simulate some some windows. Um, cat beanie, I uh, yeah. The the fact that waterlogged slabs don't spawn in monsters that is a game changing rule. It doesn't make any sense to me, but I'll stick with it. Dye your head green. It'd be funny with the green screen. <laughs> you know, if there's ever been a good reason to do something. Also, look, you can see the slabs floating through the... That is very odd. They're, like, stuck inside of the, the wood here. Slabs are non-spawnable unless you have them as a half slab. Okay, I'm not going to think about what you just said there. Okay, so now there needs to be a window, and the window is at least two blocks from the window. So about... I mean, from the wall. And so they're off the ground kind of like this. So let's just remove four blocks here. See what that looks like as a window. What do you reckon, chat? Is that the right size for a window? It's definitely not. No. Okay, what about... What about now? That looks so weird. I can't place why that's wrong. <laughs> it's definitely going to be further to the left, right? That's definitely it, yeah. So we'll leave the, the left side in as the right side. And then we'll see if that fixes my concern. Okay, so what do we reckon, chat? Is this looking like a window? Ah, uh, it's it's pretty decent spacing. Something something feels wrong. I don't know I don't know why. I don't know what to be totally honest with you. Um Yeah, I you need slabs under the window. Yeah, I, I guess I need to get some spruce. That's that's the big thing. Is it looking like my window? I feel like it's not. Yeah, it's so odd. I can't I can't quite even put my finger on this. Okay, so from this, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's nine blocks inwards. So let's go do the same on the other side, just so we can compare. Okay, so that's Two blocks here. Three, four, five, six, seven. So eight, nine. This is the edge of the window. So we're going to place it on both sides just so we can get a better feel for it. Yeah, I... Oh, this one's a block higher for some reason. Yeah, oopsie. Something, something is off about these windows. Should they be taller than they are high, maybe? Um... The scale is weird. Should have hired an architect. <laughs> yeah, the door needs to be bigger. Because these windows look about right with their extra size. Um, that's the lesson I'm taking from this. Yeah, we add that to it, and it all makes sense. So we just make the door a little bit taller. Um, there we go. And we could just add like little holes in the door if we want to. Um, yeah, I, uh, hope you're doing great, by the way, uh, Pat, or Miss Pat Van Driver Lady, to use your full title. Um, too white for sure. Yeah, I figured white would make a good window, but it actually doesn't, weirdly enough. Well, you know, we'll go with this for now. We'll, we'll at least place the blocks there. And now we need to also have, like, top of windows, so we'll make these windows line up with these ones, but they're like way higher up. So just to, just to test 
the concept. Like, over here. Is that too high? No, that's about right. So there'd be a window over here. Right? Yeah, that, that scale does look weird on that one. This has to be a little bit higher up, I think. Again, this no the window isn't going to be made from wood later. This is a temporary measure. Looks like a derpy new mob. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, it's a little bit closer to balanced. Um, once it's all coloured in, we probably... Probably want just a little bit more space there. So we'll grab all of these slabs. And we'll call that... A placement. Yep, looks great to me. Um, I, uh, boarded up Windows, lol. <laughs> you know, this is, this is the Toy Cat Let's Play house, but I'm living in the hood for a bit, and some stuff has happened, let's say. Um, okay, and then we'll have another window be over here, and we'll try to line it up with that one. So these are three blocks out, I'm pretty sure. But instead of boarding up this window, like we did over there, we will instead, we'll board up everything around it. So it's basically two blocks in on both sides from this second wall. So if we just go in two blocks, like so, we'll kind of make the window by default, right? And then we can have the window that's temporarily blue. <laughs> You know, it's it's a little bit messy, but it works. Okay, then we just fill in the gap so it looks as unweird as possible. I think I might be making it look stranger though. And then those are some windows. Okay, so that's pretty good. Um, we definitely need a lot more slabs, but I've got some of them. If I I'll build some more over here. Yeah, this is this is something. Are you gonna frame this in your house? You better believe it, Boogle Boogsworth. Um. Yeah, I, uh. I. One boarded, the other broken. <laughs> yeah, it's a very. It's, it's, it's in a very bad neighborhood, okay? Um. I think it's wonky because of how far off the scaling of the building, uh, is compared to what you're basing it off. Yeah, I bet I could uh, scale up the windows a little bit more. If, if I scale up the door and then the windows, it'll look a bit more accurate. Um, it'd, it'd be better that way, I think. Okay, so now we're just going to cover up this corner here, because we've already started doing it, so we kind of have to finish. Just last few blocks. Let's fill them in. Around this window as well. Like, we might as well. We've got the spare blocks. Just to make it look a little bit more like it's actually complete. There we go. And then we'll do the same on this side. All these holes, let's patch them in. And then the house will look just a little bit nicer for the effort. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> Fill in this hole. The more random holes there are, is, the less it looks like it's in progress, and the more it looks like a crazy collection of wireframes. Okay, chat. Here is the Toy Cat Let's Play Condemned House Airbnb. Man, I've been to some weird Airbnbs in my day. I I want to mention, I, I want to, at any point I can, I like to mention to people, if you think Airbnb is cool and or a good deal, it is only one of those two things. It can never be both of those things at the same time. Anytime you think you're finding somewhere good, you are not finding somewhere good. You are, you are being tricked, and I am helping you right now by letting you know. Okay, so we're just going to get this break it into two. I, like, I, I, I've been into some, some very, very strange ones. Um, I love pick block, it makes building so much easier. Yeah, I can't believe there are people who still don't know about pick block. Still don't know about it. Pranked by Airbnb. Very seriously pranked by Airbnb, yeah. So, Kat, could you not afford a 3D house in the bad neighborhood? <laughs> no. I'm sorry. It'd be cool to build underneath that a little house that you could walk into. That'd be really, that'd be really trippy, but also really cool, right? Um, yeah, that'd be real wild. 
Is pick blocks not bound by default? It's not. Only bedrock edition. At the very least. Uh, which is wild to me. Okay, so 40 bricks is 78 slabs. So we can make a little bit a little bit of improvement with that. So I think at this point our biggest thing is just waiting for the slabs to come in. Because I kinda wanna have a perfect let's play house before I light it on fire. And how are we gonna light it on fire? Most expensive thing in the house is a shocker test chest. You know, you gotta Also did I just jump through the middle there? Did you see that? <laughs> we don't question it. When the game works out, when the game bugs, but it's in your favor, the rule is you agree not to say anything. And if we all agree not to say anything, it doesn't get fixed. Okay, yeah, that was... That was very odd. You know, Minecraft is an odd game. Um, pick block is on bedrock for proof. Look at your control settings. Yeah, but it's not bound by default, which is a real shame. Because it's such a useful option. Like, you have to bind it yourself to a key. I think I'm placing some. Yeah, it's fine. Um, so, yeah, we'd probably fill in these gaps between the windows next. And so, if I'm looking at what we have left, we've got, like, probably another couple hundred brick blocks for another, like, three, four hundred brick slabs. So, how do I get 200 brick blocks easily? Uh, let's Let's start on it. I think it's bound by default on PC. Yeah, it's the middle click on your mouse on PC. Middle click is kind of misleading, a bit of a misnomer, but uh, it's the clicking your mouse wheel in if you're on the personal computing device. And if you find yourself not on one of those, then it's a little bit different. So we'll grab some clay from here, a little bit from each shulker box. And I'm going to go put these maps back now. They're getting in the way. No, not in that. Yeah, I'll go... I'll go Put the maps back. And I'll also take the, the logs at some point. Yeah, let's do it. Um, Lego Show TV says, thanks for answering my question on yesterday. Yeah, Lego Show TV, you're, you're one of those names I've seen for years now. I, I, that's, that's an amount of loyalty I appreciate. I think a lot of people say, like, loyalty is bad. Like, you should value other things more. And, like, I, I can see a logic of saying, like, it's not the most important thing. That's, if you say anything's the most important thing, you're probably wrong. But, uh, something I do disagree with is, like, now nah, I, I think loyalty is one of the most important things. I think, like, being with someone while times are good, really easy. Being with someone while times are hard, that's the thing you get points for doing well, in my opinion. Um... And so those of you who have done it, well, I, uh, I hope, uh, I, I appreciate you, and I'm glad you could stick for some even when it's hard. That is hard. By definition, that is hard. But you did it anyway. And that is something I appreciate from you. Okay, so I'm gonna refill this lava bucket. I'm sure one of these is done by now. No, it's not. I've got water in this, though. Quickly empty that. Put it over here. Don't even question why. Um, and then we'll just, I don't know, put this in the chest and grab another lava bucket. Fuel this one instead. Put some clay in there. Yeah, I, I, I think uh, times are always good number with Toy Cat Sistasha. See, that's wholesome. Yeah, I, I for, for real though, I, I think uh, it is, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a hard thing to be... Be there when something is low. But people need people to be there when they're low. People... And so... Being like being there for someone will make a big... Big difference. Big connection. Big something or other. Um... So, uh... Yeah, I, uh... I think, uh... I remember when the turtle helmet leaked in the pack for the newer textures. Um... When they were being worked on 1.14 and you used my picture. See, that's cool Lego Show TV. That's a fun, fun story. Uh, glad you've got one. Glad you've got some, even. Okay, now I'm gonna... Okay, I've got a little bit of... Do you see that? That's like a weird, like, left to right lag. Uh, the first stream I remember watching was Draining the Never. It was Thanksgiving. I'm glad that stream uh, encouraged you to watch, huh? It's awesome. 
Finding low friends isn't easy though. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, I, I, I should, I should clarify. Yeah, that's like that's why it's so important. But also, most people are in it for the right now, the the easy, the good. Um, you know, it's the reason that people find it so easy to make friends when they're just surrounded by people. It's because making, you know, being friends is the easiest thing to do. But having friends when it's not the easiest thing is more important. Also, look, I've now cleared a nice little section on this island. Yeah, I should I should make this island into something fun. It's it's pretty nice. Let's go a little lava patch on it. That lava patch makes an arrow. Ooh, making a big arrow is a fun idea. Okay, but let's stay focused. It's a shame this this whole thing. Do you see that by the way? The way it's just like never act covered. Very enjoyable. Um I there's a country song called Find Out Who Your Friends Are about being at a low point in your life. I I think it's a little bit of a stretch to say. Also, like, do you like my cherry biome? Chat, can you give me compliments on it? Thank you. Um <laughs> Do you like I I really like the one cherry tree mixed into the, the birch. I feel like this biome I could take or leave. The one cherry tree? That was a fun idea. Um so Cat's 8-bit house looks very burnt already. <laughs> yeah, I see it. I see it. Um, it's so pretty. Compliments. Thank you. That's all I need. I think it's like uh, you have different levels of friends. In the same way, I have different levels of subscribers or stream viewers, right? There are viewers who are here like, yeah, honestly, I like when I like what you do when it's some news for Minecraft. I need to keep up the news. You do a good job at that, but I, I don't really care what you have to say about anything else. That's not not being a fan. It's just only being a very particular fan, uh, and that's that's okay. You know, people are allowed to people are allowed to be, you know, what they need to be in some ways. But um, yeah, the the difference is um the wait. Let me let me. We get this, the words right on this. The 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 ones that you'll appreciate more are the people who say like, yeah, I I would like to be here even when things are rough. Don't do the chat rant. I would do another making Toy Cats World better stream, but it may be impossible. <laughs> I um yeah, I I, I very much. I'll put these in there. I I enjoyed uh, looking at your betterized version of the Toy Cat World. It was a lot of fun. I'm glad I put the world out for download, if only for that reason. I've been here for three months. I saw some video recommended. It was something like 10 times Minecraft trailers lied or something like that. Did I make a video called 10 times Minecraft trailers lied? Because I was, I've was i been planning a video about Minecraft trailers for a while. Let's see. Trailers. I'll just type in trailers. 13 times that Minecraft trailers lied to us. Is that video doing well? I'm surprised. It's doing... Uh, People, people love when they watch it. Ah, this is this is a prime example. Oh no, people click it a bunch too. Doing pretty well. Um, yeah, it's a uh, the blue redstone thing for one thing. Yeah, and the explanation is just oh, we hired an outside company and they didn't know Minecraft. It's like, well, that's a big problem. <laughs> you should also wait. Let's let's get our shears out so we can we can repair these. They've been pretty damaged. Bet they'd appreciate a little bit of mending action. Oh yeah. You know what, this is this is why you need mending on your shears, chat. For these moments right here, where you get to finally, finally enjoy a mended up pair of shears. See, I have to wait for all of these stacks to finish, and then I don't think I'm still done. But it's at least progress. What should we do while we wait for this? Like, go underground? I'll go. I'll go silk touch some some diamond ores. Let's do it. Um. I yeah. Let's let's go. Let's go pick up all our diamond ores. Because if we're down, then our furnaces will still run at least. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Thank you. Glad the game is so gracious. Have I picked up all my diamond ores yet? Actually, oh, I think I did. I think I might have went out and did that. I'll go make sure. Let's see what's over here. Have we got any diamond up? Have we got any? Oh wow, I'm approaching four hours on the stream, by the way. 
Looks like it will be slightly longer than four hours to make a giant burning house fire. And then we'll go, we'll get some orange dye. Because we're gonna, okay, so for a house fire, we need what, chat? Like orange dye? Like orange, like orange concrete, right? And then do we need red as well? Red, orange, and yellow is a fire, right? Am I, am I right about that? Did I pick up all the diamonds from down here? I don't remember if I did. Also, this doesn't go anywhere. Um, diamonds on the sugarcane farm. Yeah, I'm gonna go, gonna go pick those up. And then we'll, we'll have some more diamonds, which I can do some fun stuff with. While I'm here anyway, actually, since I'm going to the war chest anyway. Okay, so, oh, we got some deep slate. I've got the, oh, I, I do not have spare spaces, but I can make some. Very easily. Okay, so, get some deep slate lapis going on. Don't forget about your beacon, says Shy Guy. <laughs> yeah, I need to, I need to go back and get that, really. I was surprised at how much more brick it is than wood. This is really a project about getting the most bricks we can. The wood is just kind of secondary. So this is where the ladder is here. Oh, and then here's the second ladder. I need to put like a block there to make this. I'll put I'll put a deep slate lapis in the ground next to it to draw my attention towards it. That is, because this block above it is not doing the job. Okay, so let's go down and let's pick up some diamonds. When I saw more of your videos, I was very confused by your world. So Citric um, Mantis by 4 free. <laughs> Yeah, I think, like, it's, like, th this is a normal thing that, like, people find you at different times, but whether they stick around or not is the thing that makes loyalty. It's the same in the real world, right? Like, you don't have to say someone's a fake friend because they met you in a time where you were just in the same school or whatever. Um, but at the same time, if they leave the moment, it stops being, you, you, you stop being just the easiest person to hang out in their life, then it wasn't that there was some special thing. It was just, you were easy to hang out with for a certain time. And that's okay that you stop being at some point. Okay, are there diamonds hit? There are. We got it. Love this little house fire I've got while we're getting a little bit of diamond mining. It is crazy just how fast we're getting all these. Or like just how um, easy diamond mining feels by comparison to uh, the opposite. Is there any more diamonds here? I think I got all the diamonds. Yeah, I think we're pretty good. We can pick up some redstone while we're here, but I think I'm fine. Is that all the diamonds? I think... Oh, no, some down here, too. And then there's some in the... Oh, wow, right at bedrock. There's some at the sugarcane farm. And then by the time we're done with all of that, we should have a fully smelted stack of stuff. Uh, there's no shame in not being there at their worst, because sometimes people aren't mature enough or in the right mental space. Yeah, that's what I was saying. So that's not that people say you find out who your friends are. I always like to add the just the tiny little bit of clarity of like, well, it's not that they're not friends, it's just that they're not that type of friend. You know, it's it's okay to not be the perfect. It's it's okay that there are people in your life who are not the same. Uh, you know, like I know it's okay to have friends that aren't the very best of friends. Uh, at some point in your life, maybe you you run out of. Um, at some point, I think there are people who are like, yeah, I don't even want more of the best type of friends. I want more casual friends, etc., etc. And sometimes you want the reverse, you know, it's uh, something crazy about the world. Personally, I, 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 I you know, like, I, I like the idea of meeting strangers and being like, it's okay if we're not best friends forever. That's fine. That would, I, I wouldn't feel any resentment about it. Um... But yeah, I, uh, so I can't, it's the power social <laughs> rare of this. You know, I love power social now. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I, I, one of the things I'm always trying to do is like find the next video that will draw some people in to maybe find the rest of the channel. It's a funny thing to like have to say out loud because it's like, no, what do you mean? You want new people to watch. But this is this is what this is why there's always a balance in videos of like I need to find videos that make people go yeah let's check this out see what he has to say about Minecraft. So it was only two diamonds, but still two deep slate diamonds. Are there more deep slate diamonds? Probably not. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so now we're gonna float back up, and my internet dad is being more present than my bio dad. <laughs> you know, there's fun reasons for that one, I guess. Um, okay, so now we need to get over to my, my 
big my okay it's over here perfect okay look at me chat i'm going fast now you proud of me i said i'd do it and now i finally have and now that should have gotten me to where i want to be he's saying he doesn't trust all of us to stick around you know ron start yeah no it's i i think it's fine i have some people watching right now who are super casually just like yep in the butt you just you just a minecraft guy i like i like british minecraft people whatever the heck it is that you like and you are providing that thing for me right now. It's okay that I'll be gone. If if you don't have a new exciting video that hits my particular spot by tomorrow, then I will not care about you any longer. You know, that's it's kind of rough, but it's also very normal. So here is my diamond ore collection now. Um looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. We we get to do like a big diamond mine now. Like how many how many diamonds this is even gonna be? It's like two hundred ore. I'm gonna have like 700, 800 diamonds or something. That'll be fun. I'll make, I'll make a bunch of diamond blocks. I'll get to enjoy the one big benefit off it. I, I'll, I'll be able to make a stack of diamond blocks and it'll make the world look so fake. <laughs> okay, so, ooh, I've got protection with Frostwalker boots. I should move these to the other side of my world. These seem pretty good. I should put, um, put mending and put, uh, make these never right I think that's what I want to do yeah let's do it probably put more protection on there too as well or some feather falling because you can have feather falling and protection right yeah let's let's upgrade these boots they need it those stone diamonds are beautiful I've got 228 diamond blocks in my world we have a suspiciously similar number of diamond blocks suspiciously no I don't know what I'm hinting at but I'm hinting it very strongly <laughs> okay, so let's throw some extra clay into it. So this should now be enough bricks to hopefully finish my my brick thing in its entirety. I hope. We'll find out if I am right. Um, oh yeah, look at this. Now we have to turn these into bricks because we're running out of inventory space. 74 more. Okay, so we got just under 200 bricks. I think 200 bricks is what I predicted is what I'd need. Um, oh yeah, so many. I think that's about right. And I've probably got a bunch that have brewed themselves up over here. Yes, we do. Okay, we're finally going to finish the house and then put the fire on it. So just before we go and do that, as mentioned, I've got some just deep slate chilling here. Put it in the chest. Um, okay, so I'm going to put my planks away too, actually. I've always got... Actually, I, I always look for chests. I'm just going to make these planks into a bunch of chests. There we go, 20 chests. Now I've got the spare space I need to make the things that I want. Okay, so I need some orange. Orange comes from yellow and red, and I think I just have a couple of those lying around here, so... 25 dandelions, is that too many? Yes it is, I'll take 12, 13. And then I need some red dye, I've got 20 red dye, perfect. Now we make the dandelion into yellow. Now we make like 10 orange dyes. Then we're gonna make concrete powder for each of these three, like a full stack, so eight of each. Which conveniently enough, because I, I recently did something with concrete in an upcoming Let's Play. It's one I'm really looking forward to people seeing because it's like, it was such a good idea that just kind of like, got rough. Is it 500 members till Texan Toy Cat stream? I think was that was the goal 600. I I wait. I can I can show you what it's meant to be. Um, it's meant to be. Oh, it doesn't even show, does it? I can't even. I can't read that. I don't think we're gonna hit the goal chat, but I don't know what the actual goal amount is. I'm gonna have to. I I didn't realize it wasn't going up. I just assumed it was going down at the same time it was going up because it. The, the number of members has been slowly dropping despite this month. It's always sad to say, like, I, you know, it's a, it's a interesting reality of the world. So 64 of each should be a good healthy amount, I think. <clears throat> so we're going to replace these in there. Just some red. And then we're going to put one of my yellows in there. And let's do this. Hey, thank you! Speaking of, uh... Have you ever eaten a dandelion? I haven't, actually. I ate all sorts of things when... I, when I was a kid, I was the weird kid that was just like, I'll eat that. 
Why? Why not? So I ate some sticks, I ate some grass. Never got around to eating... Um, never quite got around to eating a uh, dandelion. Bet they taste good, though. I mean, they must do. That, I, dandelion and burdock is a common, common uh, like, carbonated beverage in the UK. You know, it's got to be good. If it wasn't good, we wouldn't have it, right? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna heal up this second axe I have now. My backup axe, as I call it. Um. Okay, so nice. We got all that we're gonna end up with. I'm just gonna check, make sure I didn't miss one of these furnaces. Like six bricks in there. Like where did where do these miniature piles even come out from? But yeah, twenty five more. This should finally be enough to finish it, chat. It's, it's finally here. It's finally happening. Cannot believe it. We're gonna fuel the mega thing with more of these. Throw that in there. And that in there afterwards. Make sure it's still running. Um, how, how well is this chest doing? It's absolutely empty. So we'll move the last of that in there. And now I'm gonna bring this shulker box with me because this is going to bring all my wood home. Okay, let's go. I am ready, chat. This is this is my total amount of bricks, 256 blocks, which is 512 slabs. That should be enough to make and I think we got I think we got a really nice size in this house. I was worried it'd be slightly too small, but we got plenty of space for a fire and then we could also write something fun like subscribe. Um I could have like subscribe or if I want to do subscribe or I need a black box. What's the easiest black block in Minecraft? Is it is it gonna be black concrete powder? Probably black wool, actually. I can make subscribe all my out of black wool. And then ironically it could burn down, but. Yeah, we'll grab some uh we'll grab some black wool. Also, thank you for staying around so long, cat. It has been very, very late. Um Yeah, I uh th I thank thank you for staying around so long. It is I I've been streaming four hours, Jesus. Okay, so <laughs> Now I'm going to grab some black wool. We'll just use black wool for now. We'll see where that takes us. Um, just put you were warned. <laughs> you, you were warned is nice and ominous. I like it. I like it. Okay. We're finally here. Let's, let's, let's finish it up. Um, lengthy stream, not an early one though. This is a big project, but you can watch the entire thing. From start to finish, isn't that what we all want, though? <sighs> okay, let's let's a go go. Wake me up before we go go. Da 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 da. Wake me up before I go go. Da 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 da. Okay, very very ready for this now. I'm gonna put my my wood in here, just so it doesn't get smelted by accident. Oh, I, I can't do that right now. Let's let's pretend I didn't say that then. Okay, put the wood away, all the slabs in there. It's great. Okay, then we'll put my extra map in here. I've got all these progress maps, which I'm later going to do something fun with. And let's grab another progress map. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Grab another one. There's no such thing as too much toy cat streaming, unless you're in paint, paint or something. Aren't we always in pain all the time? <laughs> Hopefully not. Um, okay, slab time. So many slabs. Slab, 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 slab. Okay, so we could also grab some more if we wanted to. Got a whole 33. Leave one in there. That gives us eight more brick blocks. Is that enough? No, but let's let's enjoy it anyway. Okay, so yeah, the biggest the biggest like halting process is the number of furnaces you have. But that's why I, I think when I think a project like this would justify on its oh wait, did I I put the wrong map in the chest. Oopsie. <laughs> See this this is why we need better inventory sorting. Solely for this one reason. Okay, we'll just throw these in the ocean because I know I'll pick them up because they're very important. Why does Toy Cat always have so much slabs? I believe in slabs, and you should too. Okay, put 336 in there. 
and then leave this somewhere else. We'll put it in the corner, I don't know. It's just an unrelated map to the progress. And then we go back in. Also, big salmon's here. Lovely. Um, like the absent far I am, I must leave. Thank you all. Good night. <laughs> Thank you for showing up, Algazar. I appreciate you, you stepping in. Uh, I, it's crazy you're saying good night. You know, it's, you know it's bad when there's an American time zone saying good night um, during a Toy Cat stream. Okay, so then we'll put this there, and we'll finish up the bricks in this house. And once we finish this, we'll have like a Toy Cat Let's Play house that I can at least point to. I think it might need the spruce for the slabs, honestly. I, I think that might be a good point. And then I've got to have the windows all be the same color. So we'll get some bone meal. I think I'll make them the same color. Um, I, I kind of like the idea of the boarded up window. The, the other one should be filled in. It's only 8, 19 p.m. EST. You know, that's a good point. So early. Got so, you know, chat so long to go. Um, who made time zones? I mean, before, before time zones existed, everywhere had a different time. Because right now we split the world by hour. It used to be that midday was when the sun was atop. And so if the ta if there was a town like five miles east of you, then midday would be a minute later or before. So funnily enough, time zones made the issue that time zones feel like they make worse. It made the issue way better. It's just, we feel like there should be a universal time. And there could be a real easy universal time. But the problem is, is everyone would feel like, no, but midday should be, it should, you should wake up in the morning and sleep at night. And people feel like night and day are specific times. Whole fun thing. Um, okay. So, lovely. Um, this, this is finally coming together. It takes a lot of bricks to build a toy cat house. But the end result is something beautiful, I think. No universal time. But we have a universal time, we just don't use it. Like, if everyone just spoke in British time all the time... So instead of... Right now, it's not 5.20, it's 1.20 a.m. It's fine. We can just adjust opening hours. We can adjust when we sleep. And 1.20 a.m. could just mean the equivalent of what 5 p.m. means here. And so if everyone just said that, the only thing we'd need to know is when we're talking across time zones is, oh yeah, um, just so you know... Uh, over in my time zone, 1 p.m. is- 1 a.m. is actually I'm eating heading time. to bed. Have to be up at 4 a.m. to give my kitty some meds before I head to work. Will be lurking still, I'm sure. Thank you so much, uh, Riggins Rally Girl. I, I- I can't believe I missed you. I- I saw you a little bit earlier, but I'm- I'm glad to catch you now. Thank you for $23 and 19 I wonder what- is- is that a- is that a- is that a fun conversion, or is that a fun amount? Or is 2,319 a catchy- you know, either way, thank you so much for the tip. I really appreciate it. I hope you're having a... Hope things have been getting better. Hope the cat is not too sick. Or, you know, I hope the cat is so sick you get... Uh... You know, like... I don't know, like... Cool... Po yeah, the vet gives you a freebie. Because he's like, oh, this is so bad I can't even charge. Because that is what happens when you have a sick animal, probably. Anyway, um... Yeah, have a good night. Hope you're doing well. Wow, I just realized... You know, Dasha, how late is it for you? How do, how do you manage to stay up for these streams? Speaking of staying up for these streams, to you know what keeps me for the good kind of late cat. <laughs> you know, thank you very much. I I appreciate appreciate the tip. Um Yeah, the fun thing about being around so late is being able to uh is the result of being able to do these fun things. Okay, and then we'll finish up over here. Oh no, am I out of slaps? Oh, I was so... Oh, I'm not even close to done, honestly. We're just gonna leave a big blue hole in the house. I... Yeah, I fought 400 blocks, but I just way underestimated. It's it's an incompletable project. Um... Yeah, I'll leave the big blue in the middle there, I think. We can at least argue that's intentional. Yeah, we just, we just do not pick up blocks at the right rate. We'll have 16 blocks here, which makes 30 slabs. Um, I could test my house fire in the corner, I guess. Yeah, that might be fun. Like a little... Let's, let's test out a fire. Let's see if I have what it takes to make one. And then we'll break it and we'll have concrete. Um... 
Okay, chat, what do you reckon? Do you think I can make a fire? A convincing fire, too? Okay, so this... This furnace is gonna run out not too soon. But this one is gonna run out in, like, 99 smelts. Which isn't that big of a deal. Um... But yeah, I, uh... My credit card will still be into your account. Five bucks a month when we're both deceased. On that. See, what's weird is, um... Surely your credit card gets cancelled every few years and you have to, like, reset one up. That's how it works for me. Like, only some things still go through after that. It's a whole problem, honestly. Okay, um... Okay, we're gonna just build a little house fire over here. Okay, this, this is just a test. So this block is gonna be on fire. I'm gonna use red, I'm gonna use orange, and I'm gonna use yellow. Let's see what we can make it look like. So I, um, I think it's yellow in the center, right? And then it's orange, and then it's red around the outside. Like, the main fire is orange, but there's a lot- or is the main fire yellow? A little house fire is a treat. Okay, it's been forever- I've never drawn a house fire in Minecraft. So it's yellow in the center, right? And then it's a bit of orange around that. What do we reckon, chat? Is this- and then there's like a single layer of red. Yeah, we can't have the red go all the way around though, or it looks silly. Yeah, I think it's got to be more on the top. So we we remove these blocks here. Okay, do you, does that look like a house fire chat? I should leave this out. You know, this is cute. I want to leave a little one of these in the corner. I'll put it next to the the. Okay, yeah, let's so let's try it again. Look at your thumbnail for inspiration. <laughs> oh, we're, we're gonna remove all the source blocks if we do this. Oh no, we're making more- we're making more patches of water that are blue. Rather than blue. Big problem. Okay, so let's- Let's- let's try that again, but next to the house. I think it's cute. It looks like fire in the ocean. Looks like a house fire, try making it a bit bigger. Yeah, I'm gonna build it, um, at a, just a bit bigger than a 5x5 five five scale over here. Okay, so... Just r right next to this. We'll start with a 3x3 three three blob that goes like that. I don't know if that's what we want. That's what we'll start with. And then we'll kind of, we'll lean this one to the right. So, there'll be orange going all the way around it but like an especial amount of orange on the right here. Like do something like that. And then so now when we add the red, it goes here and there and everywhere. But we add like an extra... Yeah, I don't think, I, I think, I think a house fire going both ways is a bit weird. But yeah, we can actually have this be bigger. Um, but yeah, there's, there's the toy cat house fire. I, I kind of like the, the little tiny versions are cute. The hot fires are blue. Coldest fires are red. So just to confirm, have we removed these two blocks to make it a blue inside? Yeah, it doesn't really add anything. Um, but yeah, the, there's an idea there. There's something to that. Okay, so we have the idea. We just need to get the scale right now. Okay, so if I'm going to build this on the house, instead of being five blocks wide, we're going to need to be like, what, like... Uh, how many, how many blocks wide is? It's gonna be like, one, like 10, 15 blocks wide. So we'll have a big blob of yellow, which means we'll need more yellow, because yellow's the inside color. Um, and then we probably got the right amount of red and orange concrete powder. Okay, useful. So I'll go back home, I'll get some more yellow concrete powder. And, uh, yeah, that'll be a thing we'll do. It's dark, but the fire will light things up. We could use glowstone for the uh, for some of the yellow. Add a little bit of craziness to it. We could use nevrak for the red, and then we could light the nevrak on fire. That's a good idea. You know, then then when you see it from the... Okay, let's see how red nevrak is. I bet I have nevrak somewhere in this. What? Are, how red is nevrak on a map? Wait, I can see it. I've got my... It'd be on my, my big map wall. So yeah, we'll use that as our... Our guiding thing. For now, we're just gonna move all of our wood into this. 
Uh, I think my furnace is still doing just fine, but just could be doing better. All the birch logs too. One, two, three, four. And the same. There we go. Um, shouldn't the wood slabs light on fire with a flint and steel? But then they'll burn. <laughs> and then they'll be gone. Um, actually, can slabs ever burn? No, it's crafting tables that can't ever burn. So we'll use crafting tables for the particular pieces that it touches. Um, yeah, the fire won't go onto the map, but they never will. Okay, we've got something. We've got an idea. We've got something that works. So, just to free up some inventory space, take these 57, and I'll make some bricks. Only 14 of them, and that's not freeing up inventory space at all. So we need another two. Perfect. Also, speaking of perfect, uh, thank you very much for the tip. Cast pause, paying my taxes. Uh, and then a fire, and then a, a saluting facade. Thank you so much, Cast Pause. I hope you're doing wonderfully. You know, and I mean that. Or I meme that. Who knows which one I really mean. Um, we'll put the brick block in there, just for now. And then because this house fire has gone through some improvements, we'll take this map out, and we'll put it in there. Again, these are all, these are all in-progress maps, so we can take them all later somewhere. It'll be a lot of fun. For now, we'll grab another map for the hot bar. I'm going to put this shulker box full of logs down somewhere. And, um, yeah, I think I think I might start the, uh, you, I, I think you were warned is such fun tax, but I think just subscribe is all we got to do. Okay, now let's go, um, we're going to go crazy on our, on our brick stuff. We have to... Wait, actually, should we bring some clay with us? Ah, we don't need to. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna go, okay, I'm gonna go just, I only got three spaces. I need more clay, I need it quickly. And I need to smelt it like crazy. Um, I, uh, can, uh, can someone, uh, can, can't, please someone, uh, America. I love, I love the America, it's beautiful. Kaiser, Kaiser, my username is Caspaws now, so stream loves us for that. Um, oh, it's you, Cassie Kaiser. I was like, you know what, Cass, Cass feels like a familiar name. I feel like it's a little bit too uncommon for us to have two, but there was someone who had the same name as, uh, Ali, Ali, K, Ali, K, D. Who's Ali K? <laughs> you know, basically the same name. I, um, okay, let's get to sleep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get mending a couple of times. Actually, I don't need the experience. Uh, but at some point, I'm gonna remember to go put... Mending on these boots. Um, for now, I'll oh, just put the empty maps of the pile. Let's put all the clay we can into a thing. So just, just, just to, just to help myself along here. Let's let's do this. Let's just place a bunch of these down, and then break them, and throw it right into whichever furnace is closest. Over there. Sounds good. Wait, I didn't take any... Did you see that? I didn't take any uh, durability damage from that. Was that just a crazy coincidence? Ah, oh, it was. And now we get more clay, which we can throw right into here. And we just want to keep running our furnaces at the absolute max. We need probably another 200 blocks to be finished, so... We'll be we'll be here a little while, but it's fine. Um, does Toy Cat have a greater proportion of cat people as fans? Yeah, the thing is, when people don't know you as a YouTuber, like, when people do first watch that video about, you know, 13 times Minecraft trailers lied to us, um, when people watch that, they're making loads of quick judgments about you, and your name is one of those things. Uh, a lot of people do just genuinely assume either I'm really into cats, or maybe even a furry or something, just, but just solely because, well, the name is has cat in it, so it must be, maybe it's even a tribute to another YouTuber with cat in their name. Be surprised how often how often that one comes up as an idea. And it's like, man, it's crazy, crazy ideas these people are, are throwing around like they're real. But also you can't blame people. When you give people just a username to work with, they're gonna make some assumptions. You know, like this this is the first impressions thing. We we have these brains built for analysis of like, is this a threat or is this something good? I need to find out right now or we're all gonna die. Um It makes sense that we're very intense in our analyses. Is analysis a word? I'll pretend it is. 
If you say anything confidently enough, it becomes a word. There's a life pro tip for you. Mm, so let's pick up this lava over here that went into the previously unbucketed thing. And now let's let's do this. Um, thinking of a YouTube name is so hard. Thinking of a YouTube name is easy. Thinking of a good YouTube name is hard. <laughs> um, yeah, I, uh, Playcat looks like a friend. He has a friendly face. I would steal your wallet if I would use if I could use it to buy a lobster roll. Speaking of which, this is an e-mugging. Put your hands up and give me the money right now. There you go. Let's just had to make that joke. I, I like making that joke so much, just like, yeah, some people e-bag, I e-mug. I am directly threatening your safety unless you give me money. You might think it's a it's a joke, it's a bit, but this is very real. The the threat to your safety cannot be understated. Um Okay, so <laughs> just stick with that. Just don't, don't even don't even clarify the joke. Um, okay, so I am out of clay. I mean, I've got a little bit of clay in here, so we could go get a little bit more. But first, let's actually. I've got a whole shulker box. If I just empty this from its logs, so these logs go in here, but at the bottom, and then. These logs go in here, but not at the bottom. Nice and easy. I, I was running out of birch logs. Now I'm not. Look how wonderful that is. Then these will go somewhere. Also, thank you so much. Here, here you go. Lobster roll. Thank you. Thank you for the for paying the e-mugging fee. Uh, your application has been processed, and you're found to not be in need of an immediate uh, murder. Thank you for uh, thank you for your contributions and support. No, th thank you very much. I, I appreciate it a lot. I, uh, I I I hope we're friends on Xbox now, Amandri. I don't know if that works that way, but uh, I I recently did a thing where I added members. I'll oh, I'll do it again soon, by the way. Don't worry. Um, but yeah, it's fun to have like it's that thing about like you know like it you, being a member doesn't necessarily mean you're you're always gonna be there. But it means it's it's better than like having to add someone than be like oh yeah. I haven't, like, they haven't, they haven't showed up in a live stream or a video comment or anything for years, like, oh, uh, should I, it's just a stranger that I have added at some point, right? Um, so it's nice to be able to avoid those situations. Um, move the oak leaves out of here and into their dedicated leaf chest. Apparently I have one. Here you go, I'll pay for my protection, didn't realize you're in the mob. You know what, All Station and Amanda Ree, you, you guys are, you guys are cool, everyone else. Getting e-mugged right now. Oh yeah. I guess I guess they're the ones that got e-mugged. You know, I'm not sure which way, way it works. You know, thank you for paying the protection money. Now you will be protected. Try and do something dangerous. I guarantee you won't die from it. That's because of the protection imbued upon you by me. Um, I live in America. I probably have a e-gun. I will call the e-police. Oh no. Uh, I have been mugged, says Bet Yamo. Thank you, Bet Yamo. I, uh... I I will take this money and use it for a good cause, i.e., you know, crime and other proceeds. People say crime doesn't pay, but this e-mugging is paying quite well. Um, you know, glad your hands are in the air, glad you're feeling threatened, but most importantly, glad I can buy lobster rolls with the, with the money from the threat. Also, there's so many glow squids that spawn here and then die. I don't know if I'll ever want glow squid inks, but just on the off chance I do, I'm sure I'll have appreciated going through the effort right now. Okay, so let's just get a little bit more. Um, let's get a little bit more of this shulk box thing going on. Um, oh yeah, we got all of this too. Okay, we're going in deep. Let's just just harvest the floor, all of it that exists. I've got efficiency. It doesn't matter that we're underwater. Actually, I've got aqua affinity, so it matters even less. I can I can shovel it all up just as easily. Get me a lovely batch of clay. A lot of people are big fans of respiration over aquavinity. Breathing underwater is fun, but you know what's better? Mining underwater. And so that is why I do precisely this. Um, you e-mugged me last week. Therapy rates, ouch. <laughs> I e-mugged you pretty hard last week. It was good. I appreciate you, appreciate you being such a, a cooperative e-mugging recipient. Re recipient? Not recipient. That's someone from 
from Cyprus, I think. Um, well, someone that is re from Cyprus, from Cyprus again. Nine year old in the room, now send him $5,000. <laughs> You know, uh, some would say that mugging a room full of nine-year-olds is immoral. Others would say, put your hands in the air. Um, I am a, I am about to, I am about to murder you if you don't pay up. You know, in muggings, they don't always say that. I, um, I, it's funny, I had a, uh, I read this, you know, it's, it's one of those things you read on Reddit, so who knows if it's real. But I read about someone who got mugged in, uh, in like a pretty rough area of London. And they're like, yeah, my, my phone didn't have any charge. So the muggers had to, like, send someone to going, like, they, like, held me, like, and they're like, okay, we'll send someone with a phone cable, uh, like, with a charging cable. And then once they got the charging cable, they made him turn it on, go into his bank account, and then send them money. I'm like, man, this is, that would, that would hurt on quite a few levels, uh, honestly, right? Anyway, we got ourselves some diamonds. Very nice. Um, I, okay, so... We're gonna still finish up all the clay we can around here. Because you never know when you're next gonna need bricks. I'm gonna make sure when I next need bricks I have a lot of them. Okay. This should be pretty good. We're also got even more diamonds. Add it to the pile. Um I use Aqua Affinity and Respiration Free. They're both compatible with each other. Oh yeah, they totally are. It's not one of those like it's not most intense versus things are like. You can pick one or the other. And if you, you therefore, it's, it's a lot more tribal. This one's just like, but which one's more important, right? Because they they sound like they do the same thing. What what which one is like actually the the good one? And the answer is, what do you think? You get to decide. Also, thank you so much for the tip, um, Juho S. Here's my emug fee. You know, Juho S. You can now put your hands. You can relax your hands again. You can enjoy the free drink that comes of the complimentary toy cat mugging. Here's the fun thing. All you have to do to redeem that free drink is go to your tap, use code TOYCAT, and you'll get 30%, sorry, 100% off uh, your next beverage. Uh, you're welcome. The funny thing is, is like, maybe maybe just this is me aging, but like I've paid enough water bills in my life to know that actually the water from your tap is not free. <laughs> they do make you pay for that. Um, I, uh, are there, there are muggings in Britain, aren't Aren't weapons banned there? Oh, sorry, yeah, my mistake. Yeah, weapons are banned in the UK. And as everyone knows... Wait, actually, you have muggings in America? Isn't mugging banned there? Isn't that... Didn't they make uh, crime illegal a while ago? I, I thought they did. I am surprised. I don't think I've ever resent so I can't more than the $100 therapy fee, but I remember someone sending 420 69 for some reason. I remember last year's Minecon Live, because uh, it was like, I decided to vote for, like, whoever bribed me. It went, that was like the craziest, like, tip day uh, in a very long time. <laughs> it was good. I enjoyed it. Okay, we're going to make 64 yellow concrete powder now. Just while we're here, we need, so, six die. Is it eight die we need, or is it four? It's four, so one, two, three. Um... Put this on the ground, and grab the yellow die. Is it four we'd need for... No, we, we need... We, if we're getting a whole stack, we need eight, I think. I have made a terrible judgment and error. Uh, and then we need some white stained glass. So, let's look at this inventory management, by the way. Just, I'm, I'm very sorry for it. I, I know it's terrible. And the worst bit is I'm gonna I'm gonna do it more anyway. It is gonna continue to happen. <laughs> okay, so I'll put this down over here again. So that I can load it into there. I think this is gonna be running just fine for a while though. Nope, don't want that. You just want clay. Okay, so we are going to have used up this furnace in its entirety, but that's okay. We'll refro some stuff into that. Pick up some bricks. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, a nice little pile of these going on. And then convert them into bricks. Okay, so my inventory might seem messy to the casual observer, but that's because you can't see 
the genius that's hiding underneath. No, this is just a, this is just a tra tra travesty, a tragedy. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the yellow concrete just to avoid. I've got all these yellow flowers anyway. Just, just to, just to free up inventory space, I'm gonna make more concrete than I think I need. And then worst case, I can just put it back. Okay, yellow dye, yellow concrete. See, now I got, now I've got free free inventory spaces. Well, look at that. What a luxury life I'm living. Um, Vraska was a good mob. He was very cute and deserved better. I support KMB 600 uh, verbal abuse. Even the rascal's name means he's a bad boy. <laughs> now the rascal was great. I, I think the problem with the rascal is it could have been one of the worst mobs Minecraft added. It could have been one of the best, and we didn't. We wouldn't have got to know until after we voted for it. Which is, you know, like I, again, Minecraft is teaching the world a valuable lesson about democracy. Two girls, one cup reaction wins. Says Status Kazan. Um, you know what? This is a really good question, is what I would say if it was a really good question. But uh, in the uh, in the in the absence of that being true, um, I uh, I used to I used to love like edgy videos like that when I was younger. Just like you know, I I used to love the sort. Yeah, it's the same thing with like why I mentioned earlier. Like, oh look, I can do that. Like, I just I I like when other people have this like unease that I don't have. You know, it's like a it's a reminder that they're apparently more human than I am. Which is nice. Um, yeah, it's nice. It's a nice reminder to know uh, that you're not the most human person in the room. Because being human sounds exhausting. I mean, it is exhausting. It's just, I mean, not. No, it sounds like I am definitely human. Beep boop. But um, yeah, you, it's, it's too much. Too much work otherwise. Okay, so the house fire is is getting along. Like it's it's going great. Is what I'm saying. And we we don't have quite the same amount of bricks as last time. I know we're gonna come up slightly short. Yeah, only 74 blocks. It just it just takes so long. We gotta we're gonna throw even more clay into even more furnaces to compensate. So this furnace right here needs a stack of clay. This furnace right here needs a whole stack of clay. And then we do something casual while we wait for them all to fill up. So, uh, chat, how's the weather? Is it good? Is the... Is the... Are there good things in your world? Okay, now we'll do a little bit of chest organization. Okay, you know what? Forever, I've had this shulker box full of skulk stuff. Let's make a dedicated skulk chest. Let's let's finally do this, chat. Okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna do this now. Get this. I'm gonna... It's finally gonna be true. Uh... What's Toy Cat's joke of the day? Uh... You know what the problem with... With... With the... With the weather is? That it's wait two minutes and it'll change. Aha! Uh... Every... Every place I've ever been to on Earth has that joke about their weather. And it's so annoying to me. It's like, clearly it's not very... You, you can't actually think you're special for having weather like this, right? It can't can't be true. So we're gonna place all of our, all of our chests in like a fun little thing like this, and then we'll place some skulk veins on the side of this chest. This this is as good as we're getting for now. And then we'll place a second chest over here because we need the the mud. Um, really, we should have another chest over here or something. And now let's move all of our skulk from a shulker box into there. Uh, read Mr. Toy Cat. Where's the third plant from Mr. Badgerman's leaks? See, that is a curiosity. Are they... Did they remove it, or are they going to... We don't know the answer. Maybe we never will. Um, and some In a way, that's beautiful. In another way, it's frustrating. Um, yeah, I, uh... Okay, now we can move all of these blocks, which I'd like to max these out later, like... Skulk senses do sound fun. Skulk veins? If we put one on the side of the chest, that doesn't quite work, does it? We have to put it, like, on the chest, maybe? We can't. If we put it on the ceiling? We can't. If we put it on the ground here? Not because of the sign. Okay, so just in front of the chest, here's a skulk vein. No, I'll put it this side of the chest. Just to make it clear, this is the skulk chest. Instead of needing a sign, it can use a version of itself. Then some skulk. This is a very inefficient way to move it. But I've needed to do this for some time, internet. 
Okay, let's go. And then we'll do something else we've needed to do for a while. Where, where do the hay bales even go? What do I do with four hay bales and a potion of regen? The potion of regen, I can move that whenever I move the chest. These four hay bales can go in the here. And... Okay, back to furnace time. We need a lot of furnace fuel and we need it now. Brick, 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 brick. Nice! Okay, by the way, thank you very much, Fusion Warrior. Davis and Emmanuel were always at odds, and they kept involving everyone else in their problems. They insisted that you either can or you can't. <laughs> Such a bad joke. But thank you for... Thank you for choosing to make it. I hope you're doing well, Fusion Warrior. That can be my joke of the day. Um, it's the best joke we're getting today, that's for sure. Um, yeah, no, that's that's absolutely terrible. That's that's the worst. You know, what? no, don't don't appreciate it. N big big anti fan. Okay, free free bricks there. Again, just just little little tidbits everywhere. Okay, whole stack, nice. So I'm talking about. Okay, two whole stacks equals another 32 bricks. And so now we'll make most of another stack. With just all the little pieces around the place. Three more. Three more. Four more. Have I done for all of them? I think I have. 24. Nice. Okay, so combine that with whatever's in here. 27. And then make sure we get a number that ends with like five more in there, so like on these two. Okay, here we go, chat. Let's do this. One last push. Let's let's make this work. Oh man, that was a that is a process and a bit. But now I am officially ready to go and make a house that is on fire. It's gonna be nice. Um, yeah, I think, uh, the, the big projects like this can be really satisfying to see their conclusion. Come on, chat, let's behave ourselves. I think that's a good idea. Oh, wow, uh, <laughs> oh, right, there's no mods here. I was like, oh, yeah, is this, usually if someone's, like, doing something crazy, they're, okay. This is, <laughs> someone's having a stroke. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm so used to chat, like, you know, being on... Been on its own, uh, been under control. I sometimes realize, like, oh yeah, what a what a crazy thing. Um, very tired, according to them. I think you know. Okay, this is this is this is a useful lesson for anyone out there right now, because some people would be like, oh yeah, I was just kind of tired, and so I acted like an insane person, or like, oh yeah, I I'm I'm not usually this bad. It's just when I get angry, I punch things. But like, I, I I'm not always angry. And it's like you. You don't control your emotions all the time. That's that's true and that's fair. But you control how you react to those emotions. If when you get drunk every time, you decide to start, you know, like, uh, you know, texting people mean things, you can be like, oh, yeah, sorry, it's just how I am when I drink. But it's like, you are the one who gets to control how you are. Uh, you know, you might think like, well, it's less control, isn't it? And that's, you know, it's true. But um, whatever, whatever, you to act like there is some emotion that happens to you that is an immovable object is to just remove accountability. If you get really mad and you punch walls, you sh you don't need to punch those walls anymore. If you get um, you know, if you get really upset and you start sulking and just ignoring everyone, you might be like, oh, but it's just how I get. No, that's that's how you're choosing to respond. Um. You know, like, you, you don't get to, uh, um, well, so, so do you think 1.20 will come in June? I, I do think actually so, Shigo. Uh, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure June. I'm guessing early June. I, I'm relatively sure on it at this point. Um, but yeah, I, also we're going to put this, I think I might have way more than enough blocks, by the way. I think I way underestimated, overestimated it. But yeah, I, I think, uh, you get to decide how you react in the world. Um, and a lot of people, a lot of people might like the attention that comes from deciding wrong. A lot of people might like the, uh, the fact that you have like a guilt-free way of doing things. Cause if you say like, oh yeah, I'm real sorry. I just get mean. 
Um, I just get kind of mean when I'm, you know, talked down to. It's like, don't be around people who talk down to you. Or, you know, resist the urge to be mean when it happens. Whatever, I, I don't know what that even means. But like, yeah, I don't know. I, I've, 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 I've seen some some concerning people from some, some concerning things from otherwise normal people. Because everyone has this, like, energy they feel they need to let loose. And it's okay if you need to. But just don't do it in a way where it hurts other people, you know? Like, other people aren't down to be your free therapy session. Have their day ruined. Oh, I filled in the, the, the window. That wasn't what I wanted to do. Free window house. You know what, chat? It's the free window house now. Such is life. I was wondering why that was there. You know, this is this is the Let's Play house now. We're not going to ask any questions about it. Why does it have free windows? Why doesn't it have more than free windows? You know, there it is. Um, I think it'd be nice to have like a little flower. Okay, let's just let's just have like a little. I didn't get the white that I needed here. Um, we'd have like a little black window over here though, just for fun. Okay, so we're going to line up this corner with that corner. Here we go. And so we'll just place a single black wall over here. We have, we'll, have like, we'll have like three of them. Like a clear indication there should be a window. Or maybe we'll, we'll just outline the window maybe, but then that only leaves four blocks in the center. You know, it's weird. <laughs> no, we, we have to do the whole thing, yeah. Okay, that's fine. It takes a full 32 blocks from me. We have to kill you. Kind of again in the way of my plans here, friend. Okay, so we'll just have a black window. And we're not going to question it, okay, chat? Um, we've been in uh, someone's emotional uh, punch bad toy cat. No, I, uh, I'm, I'm really good at not letting myself be. I, I think, like, people... Unless it's, like, family, because family gets the pass. I'm like, well, we only got one family, are these lined up correctly? The black square doesn't look lined up at all with these other squares. It's weird, right, chat? Look at the map. Is the black square lined up with the brown and the... Oh, uh, you know, I'm not going to question it. Family is weird. Yeah, right, like, uh, for some reason everyone says, like, Oh, family is a special thing. And you get, like, in these weird situations. Where you're, like, enabling, like, super unhealthy behavior for someone. And everyone's like, but that's fine, right? It looks close. To me, it doesn't look like they're lined up at all. I'm going crazy, though. It's an optical illusion. Yeah, I think the different color makes it... You know, I agree with Betyuma. It's just an optical illusion, and therefore we can ignore it. Because optical illusions are lies. Okay, so now we got a house fire map. Um, yeah, nice. And then we'll place, like, one more. Because this is, like, the simple summary, really. Um... You have like one more, and that one more will be over here somewhere. Okay, so item frames there. I'll obviously place all these other ones somewhere else later. So I need to place, I need to get two maps made now. One so I can put it in the chest for my other little story. Uh, so this should activate somewhere around about here. So one can be for here. And then one can be for these little corners aren't complete. One will be the one that I'm going to update for later. Okay, so now let's make a house fire chat. Okay, so yellow and orange and red. I have no experience doing this. I am just going to throw myself at it and see where it goes. Okay, so, so it's going to be to the right of the house because on the left we'll have the subscribe thing. Oh, maybe we should build subscribe first. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like maybe that. Green screen just starts playing up right now. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's so weird how that works. <laughs> okay, so over here, we'll just start building some yellow. The hints that maybe there's been a house fire. Just a little bit. Okay, so the... A house fire would be, like, pretty consistent in height. So, effectively, it'd be, like, a big square. Right? There we go. Yeah. Um, 
It looks a little bit weird like this, but kind of looks more like a flame now. And then we'd have like a little bit more dipping down on the side. I think it should be bigger than this. I think this is a very small house fire. So now we'll just add an extra layer around the outside of this whole thing. So this goes all the way up to there. And then this can go all the way over to there. And then that. It's a little bit bigger. A little bit weirder, honestly. I can't quite put my finger on why. But yeah, that looks pretty good, I think. Um, chimney vibes. <laughs> okay, and then we'll put some... You know, I, I brought all this extra yellow concrete powder. I've got to use it, don't I? Um, okay, so I'm going to just place it all around here. So there's... And then we're going to have some, like, casual dip down on this side. And then it's going to go a little bit further down over here. See, it looks kind of weird on this side. Like, I think that's kind of unavoidable. You know, I think I think that's about good for the inside of the flame. Okay, now we're going to do orange. So, because the flame is going to the right... Or maybe the flame should go to the left. You know, I'm not going to think about this. I'm just going to have a big orange outline now. Um... Make sure it covers the whole thing, all the way around. Okay, so we could go for an extra thick on the orange. No, we can't. We don't have the blocks for that. Uh, and then we'll have a big red outside of this fire. Okay. Yeah, this this is good. The fire, we'll start with just a layer around the outside, and then we'll see what else it needs. Oh, yeah. Oh, I feel like there should be red on the inside. Did I get this wrong? Is it meant to be red on the inside of the fire? Let's have a little bit in there, just for fun. Let's let's see what we create. If we just move a little bit of our red over here. That did not work how I was expecting. Um. Yeah, it looks way worse now, right? Um, yeah, something, something, something's a bit wacky about this fire. I can't quite put my finger on what it is, though. So I think a little bit more red around the outside. Maybe we'll do it. <laughs> okay, let's do that. Let's, uh, let's have, like, a taller fire up here. Okay, how's that, internet? Is the house sufficiently on fire? Looks like a chimney. <laughs> I don't know what chimneys you have. But you should subscribe to the Toy Cat channel to avoid having those chimneys, James Weston. Yeah, it feels like it should be maybe bigger than the house even, right? Looks like a convincing fire. It's probably a bit too far right in the house. I think it should have... Like, I think I was trying to go further left, but maybe it's gone too far right. And I think we should have some, like, Nevrak on there that's, like, actively on fire. Um, Fire is red in the hottest spot to yellow in the coolest area. Have I got the... Did I get the fire in reverse, then? You know what? Let me, let me Google fire. <laughs> what does a fire look like? No, it's yellow in the middle, red on the outside. Okay, thank God I'm right about that. Um, get your thumbnail guide to do it. Okay, let's see what... Let's see what the... Uh, let's see what the thumbnail looks like. You know, that looks pretty good. It needs... I, I, I clearly need some torches, though. Uh, I think that's what I'm missing. And now I need to get a little text that says subscribe. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna... I don't know where we're gonna do this, or how we're gonna fit it in so little text. But it's gonna be balanced around the middle. So the middle of subscribe... Sub... Scribe. It's the C. So the middle of the C should be... Right over here somewhere. I should probably use, um... I'll use concrete powder next time so I get it turned into that for later. Okay, so... I don't know how I'm gonna even make subscribe with this little black wall. We're gonna make it- we're gonna make do of what we have, okay, chat? So this is gonna be the middle of the C. Yeah, I cannot make it at this lettering size. Um... I mean, I can, I just gotta get more blocks. Okay, C... <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's good enough for now. See what happens. 
Do you see chat? Uh, yeah, 3 by 5 is probably about as small as we'll get. I hope you see what you've done. <laughs> the house fire is crying now. Um, yeah, I could have, like, subscribe be at the top, and then I could write in tiny letters at the bottom, or else. <laughs> I think that'd be cute. Okay, so this is my last in-progress map, I think. Um... Yeah, we'll, we'll put, so the 300 map, 339 goes in that. And then also 340 goes in there. All of these maps can be put together somewhere fun to tell a story. And then we'll take all this concrete out and we'll put it somewhere interesting. Um, make sure we're still smelting up our, our, our goodies. And the clay is finally coming down. I, I think I, I got very close to the right amount of clay. If I'd gone one fewer trip, I'd have ran out, would have been embarrassing. Um, although it looks, it looks like I went down anyway, just to move clay around. Um, happy to see you, big salmon. Everyone's happy. Is you know, is that is is that a big salmon, or are you just happy to see me? That the, the the new shirt that we're working on, big salmon, is called Big Salmon Energy. I uh, it was decided today. I think it's a good idea. Um, I just remember to remind you to get your beacon from the forest. Okay, let's let's go get the beacon from the forest. Um, okay, so all of this concrete powder can go in my handy concrete powder box. Also concrete now. Plenty of concrete options. Um, now we're going to get a bunch of black wool. We could probably get some... I know it's like an easy color block to go with it. So yeah, we need like three, four stacks. Um, what's a nice colorful block that we don't need colors to do? Um... I I like the idea of deep slate. I bet I bet like a uh, one of the one of the deep slates looks like pure. No, it has to be colorful. Colorful. What's a colorful block that we have a lot of? Um, Neverac. No, end stone. It does look interesting. Um, you know we'll, we'll just use black text. Black text is simple. Keep things simple. Big salmon is always happy to see toy cat though. So. <laughs> Find 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 you a salmon that loves you as much as as bedrock salmon loves me. That's the that's the real pro tip, everyone. Um, okay, so we'll move the scaffolding in here for now, and then we we have to do a little bit of a fly around the world uh, to get some more. I, I need to go pick up my beacon because otherwise it's going to stay there forever. So I'm really low on uh, fireworks right now, but that can be fixed. If you don't know, I made an automatic creeper farm forever ago. I like making things in fun locations, and so my creeper farm is over here. If I had a higher simulation distance, it would run all the time. Oh no, actually, this is one that isn't based on simulation distance, so it can just basically be wherever you want it to be. Um, check the chest. Oh, that's probably a secret for something or other. And now, let's see what's in the chest down here. Please tell me I've got spare gunpowder. I still do. Nice. Um, and now we got 48 more fireworks, which means I can fly around the world and pick up beacons with no concern. Okay, let's go. And then, gotta run, dude. Great to see you, says SentryNet. Thank you for showing up. I do appreciate it. Okay, and then, while we're over here, we're gonna pick up the, the beacon and the emerald blocks below it. I, it's funny, I, I made a beacon, and then I used it precisely zero times. Absolutely love that. Um, and uh, <laughs> it's very, very amusing. And then we're going to go fly and maybe pick up the map. So I can update that at the same time. You can see it all happen at once. Yeah, that's one of my favorite things. Good beacon, bro. You know, very effective beacon. Got a lot of use out for it. Um... We'll definitely come back for this at some point. This project does need to be done. But now is not the time it has to go. And then we're gonna fly, okay. Did I get all my beacon blocks? I got nine, I got the beacon, we're good. Now we fly all the way to my big map wall. Using a lot of these fireworks along the way. Purely aesthetic beacon. <laughs> the beacon is solely there, so people can't tell me to use a beacon. And you've gotta admit, it worked great. Zero people popped in today and said, Toy Cat, you should you should get yourself a beacon. 
So give him, give me some credit for that. And then here we go. Let's make ourselves. Honestly, lava looks really good in the map. Okay, now we're going to grab this map, which is currently just ocean. And we're going to do something fun with it. Okay. So I'm not going to open this one till later, map 124. Instead, I'll open a different map. I have to be careful not to do that because I want to see the full update all in one image. Lava isn't orange. I expect it to be orange on a map. Never expect logical colors from your bedrock maps. It won't make any sense. It just that's that's just the life pro tip. Okay, and now we are here, and I can open up the new map. It actually looks kind of cool from above. Like I think I, I I like the look of it just as much. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, and now we're going to write subscribe from three by five letters, because that's about as small as we can manage. I'm going to just put this in my inventory so I don't play with it by accident. Okay, so sub, so there's an S over here. I think an S is a tricky one to make. Well, it's like a weird one to make. We'll see how it looks, I guess. Ouch. Always a drowned wants to ruin my day. Okay. Four, five. This, this is, this is the last big step. Chat. Are you excited? Wait, what's an S look like? I think I got it wrong. Okay, just, it's fine. Didn't notice. Just accidentally making a six instead of an S. Oh, it's also not tall enough. I made it. I made this six by three instead. Or well, six by. You six by. I think yeah, this is six by four, and it needs to be three by five. So we'll go four by five, and it's fine. Just remove these blocks. You know, I'm, I'm writing... The, the six with, like, the weird thing on the top looks like a Cyrillic character. Like, you, whenever you see that, you're like, oh no, this is... This is some Cold War thing that I'm about to be hit with. Okay, and then we'll have an R over here. Can you do an R in 4x5? Let's find out. So the R would be, like, up here, and then... Over, over there a bit. Then, oh, what did I just do? Okay, remove that, remove that, remove that. And that's uh, that's an R, right? That's a really good R, I think, okay. So then we just remove the weird, the errant part of the six. Immediately becomes an S, skrr. <laughs> okay, and then before S in subscribe comes B. And a B is also relatively doable looks a bit like this. Uh, it looks too much like an 8 unless you remove these bits, I think. It looks like 8 screw. So, how about that? Actually, is the S five letters Y? Oh, yeah. We made a mistake. Oopsie. So easy to do this. When you've, when you've been streaming for, for five hours, apparently these mistakes start making themselves. So then we have to move everything in the B one letter forwards. Yeah, because I think I made it an E. E screw. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll pretend that's not the case for a minute. Oh, wait, yeah, I could have just only put in the ones I needed to there. It's fine. Okay, that's that's what we're actually going for. B screw. And then we'll go over here for the I. Okay, so an I at four letters is really odd, actually. Maybe I should do a just purely standing up I. So if I try to do this, it'll be oddly wide, right? Yeah, you know, it's fine. It's a scry. We should just make it one less wide. Yeah, we just have one 3x5 character. That's fine. We can mix those in there. Biscree. <laughs> okay. Um, my inventory is full enough as it is. Now I've got to carry slow falling potions. Yeah, you gotta you gotta have a lot of uh There's a there's a lot of stuff you could be carrying on you to make your life easier. I think regeneration potions if you're playing bedrock, like those are a must. Okay. Before before B comes U. Okay. You know that's that's also what I believe about you as my subscribers. If they if someone said gun to my head, either all of my subscribers die or all the bees in the world die, I would say Kill the bees anyway. Even if this is a hypothetical, please kill them. Also, I think uh, I think I missed worked out where the middle of the subscribe would be. 
Oopsie. You know, let's pretend I didn't. It's fine. Okay, subscribe. It's fine. It's happening. It's happening. Happening, chat. Uh, we're almost here. It took us five hours and seven minutes, but after all of that, I think you'll find I am victorious. I might not be able to spell victorious correctly. But you better believe I can write it down. Okay, subscribe. Two blocks here, two blocks here, two blocks here. Block in the middle. Block in the middle. Then remove both of those. Th by the way, these efficiency shears doing some heavy lifting today. Okay, so one last letter goes over here. And E is a really easy one to do. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Subscribe! <laughs> <laughs> nice. We did it, chat. We made we made text that says subscribe. I think it's kind of like I figured we'd need like some outline or something. But this kind of works as far as I'm concerned. Um also yeah, the middle of subscribe. Oh yeah, I did it correctly. I just made a mistake of that somewhere. Isn't this nice? Oh, oh you can't see your map. It looks so weird like seeing that not take up a corner of my screen, right? Anyway, yeah, with that said, subscribe. But I would say we're done, but there's one thing we need to do. Your green screen is bleeding through. Okay, um, th there we go, fixed. Okay, so it's real nice. I hope you like it, chat. But there's one thing that we need now, um, and that is, you know, hopefully, hopefully obvious. We need a little, little bit of text just to let people know that it's not an empty threat. I think. You know, I like it. It looks. This just looks like a house that's on fire. Doesn't look like anything too special yet. So what we need to do is just have a little bit of text about a similar distance from the bottom. You know, I would say. And then under this text, at this text, we could have it say, um, or else. So or else, the middle of or else is the e in else, I think, right? Yeah, the middle of or else is the e in else. Do do. Do you, thank you, Leo Castrojohn. Uh, oh no, Josh Jones. Thank you for gifting five memberships to people like Leo Castrojohn. Do 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 do. Okay, it's finally happened. So, what should the space between two words be like? Three? We'll just make it be a three by five space. Do 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 do. Okay, so this can be an R over here. Do 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 do. Thank you so much. Okay, this is this is this is good. And then do 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 do. Thank you for watching the stream, Josh Jones. Love love to see people like you all the way here near the end. Spawn a lot of familiar names throughout the stream. It's been a journey. Thank you for all joining me on it. Um, okay, so then we remove the block over here, as well as the block over here to make the R more convincing. And then we remove all of these. Subscribe or E, chat. That's what you gotta do. If you don't subscribe, E will happen. It's gonna, it's gonna happen. Place your bed under the water to represent the attic. <laughs> I, I was thinking of making like a little secret thing in there somewhere like you put trap doors here and then make like a little secret down there It'd be a lot of work that no one would ever appreciate But I think it's fun Um But yeah, I uh Love it. Thanks for being hilarious. I'm glad I'm glad you've been liking the stream Yeah, subscribe or eat chat. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen to you. You better believe is there a jack lantern on the roof? <laughs> yeah, that I was thinking that too, uh, KMB. Maybe actually, wait, I've got the orange. No, I don't have the orange. I've only got. I don't know why I left my red with me. I could take. I could place the. Uh... Yeah, I think. I think having a little little jack lantern on the roof would be a lot of fun. But yeah, thank you very much for watching today's live stream. Hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, no, we gotta. We gotta finish your house. You can't just have part for fret. You've gotta finish the whole thing. Subscribe or E is a. Um, 
who 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 believes in e chat who believes in it that's that's my question for all of you okay let's um oh hey <laughs> subscribe or e i mean we all know it's a consequence you just better watch out for it hey thank you uh for of you <laughs> thank you so much pookie i'm 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 very appreciative of your proudness this is this has been a uh, five and a half hour project, but it finally comes together, and it's enjoyable to see. So this is going to be a bit of a weird L, I think. So I'm going to make this three wide instead of four again, like the eye. Um, yeah, it's just too long if we put the fourth one in there. Then we have another S, which is I've learned how to do now. There we go. Nice and easy. Oh yeah, the fret's coming together, chat. It's coming, it's getting there. <laughs> okay, and then one more. Oh, thank God I brought that extra stack. I was like, this is too much black wall. But I just knew I gotta stick with it. And I'm glad I did. Okay, subscribe or else. So this is my, you know, this is my picture, this is my, you know, picture warning for people who maybe, you know, are hard of reading, hard of hearing. Um... Now people know <laughs> that they can subscribe to the channel, or else, you know, I'm not I'm not making any correlation between someone not subscribing and what you see in this picture here. I'm just saying that you can do it, or that happens. <laughs> so yeah, this is absolutely beautiful, uh, and this is all you need in your life is a reminder that subscribe or bad things happen. And now just for fun, let's look at it from the sky. Honestly, this looks really, really good. Like, the this, like, typeface really fits the design. So let's go up again. Could have done that way better the first time. Okay, let's fly over here a bit. Let our pipe stabilize out. Remember to subscribe or else. I hope that you enjoyed... Oh, wait, wait, wait. One, one last thing. One last thing. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. But the thing that's more important than enjoying it is enjoying what you're about to see. Okay, chat. This is... This is the moment of satisfaction. If you watch this stream for anything, it's solely for this. Okay, on on the you're gonna you're gonna see a map right now. And what's gonna happen with the map is it's gonna go from what it was five and a half hours ago to right now in one moment. Oh yeah, it appeared all out of nowhere. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed today's live stream. I know the sheep certainly has. If you like the sheep, want to see more of these, then Make sure you subscribe. <laughs> no, I think you got the message by now. I think we've, uh, I think we've been pretty clear about the uh, the potential consequences. But um, I hope that you all enjoyed it, regardless. If you did, don't forget to see more of them. I do a lot of live streams on the channel. You can check the unlisted live streams playlist down below, which will let you see more live streams, but also see when the next one's happening. I'm probably streaming tomorrow, and then I don't know what the schedule is after that. So make sure you come and check it out. And uh, yeah, also I can put one of these in my chest and I can make a fun little progression of all the things that happened during the house fire. So I've got three copies of this map now. One goes over here. Isn't that nice? You can see the, this is like two point progression, but then I've also got all these maps, which I can then use um, to show. Also wait, that's the wrong map. That's. This is map 124. I want to I want to keep the maps that are on the uh, the wall kind of sequential. And then this is the map that can go over there. And now I've got all the maps that I need and we can just put this one nicely back together in my big list. Thank you so much for coming along. I hope you all enjoyed. I don't know how to do outros. I need to eat some food though. It's like 6 p.m. I was going to go out for an early dinner. I uh my the thing I was going to go to ends at 6:30. So, you know, I sacrificed my dinner plans for you tonight, Internet. I hope that you appreciate it. Hope that you have a good time in your life. And uh, if you like long streams, let me know in some way. Um, and so, yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you... Okay, wait, 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 wait. I'll see you next time. It's a nice addition, right? I think so. Bye.